welcome everyone to another Thursday. That's right for Let's Talk Photography. I really appreciate you all checking in. This week we have another stimulating topic, or at least I hope it stimulates some conversation. And um, we're going to be talking about what should photographers be investing in, not only at the beginning stage, but also as a professional. With that said, let's get to it. All right. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. That's right. We are in the house. We are in the house. Okay. So that's just to wake you up. If you aren't awake by now, well, I got more sound effects for you. So don't you worry about it. Okay. Um, let me, before I get into everything, let me, let me take care of the business first and then I will introduce my friend, uh, who's, who slowly is turning into like a co-host around here, but, um, let me turn this puppy off real quick. There we go. All right. First things first, if you haven't already, please, please, pretty, pretty, please go ahead and follow me on Facebook at Robert Silver Photography. I'm also on Instagram at Robert Silver Photography, and I'm on a TikTok where it never stops with the crazy dancing at Robert Silver Photography. And I'm on Twitter at Rob Silver Photog. And I'm on LinkedIn and everywhere else. All right. Um, I will be hosting a natural light portrait workshop coming up soon in a beautiful botanical garden of San Francisco. I haven't set a date yet, but you can find out more. Where? Right here on my website at robertsilverphotography.com. So tune in. Okay, folks, tune in. Um, so one way you can support this channel, a very simple way, folks, very easy. Right now I'm hosting a special where it's absolutely free to press that like, that share, subscribe, and of course hit that bell, line, no, uh, bell icon to get notified of upcoming shows and all my live shows, but most importantly, my uploaded videos, okay? I got some great reviews coming up, some gear reviews, and right now, I'm working on my um, a portrait lighting tutorial video, okay? I'm going to be talking about a specific kind of lighting. You have to subscribe to stay tuned, all right? Um... If you're feeling really awesome, you go ahead. You know, I don't. I won't mind. Show some love. Send us send a uh, super chat, super sticker. I accept all the above, even though YouTube likes to take about thirty percent. So don't think us YouTubers are getting rich off that. But it does help because the more uh, more help, the more I'm able to commit to this channel, the more content I can get. And trust me, I have relationships with particular brands, and I want to be able to leverage that to bring you all fantastic content all right so your help helps me help you does that make sense so anyway if you can if you can't don't worry press the like at minimum subscribe to the channel that's all i am asking for all right i see uh what little bit of okay before we get to the photography news all right let me introduce my friend undercover Co-host of Let's Talk Photography, the one, the only, Derek Ben. Yeah, brother. Oh man. Okay. Woo. Undercover uh, host, huh? Uh, well, it's gonna. It's slowly turning that way, <laughs> you know. So you're welcome. To, well, <laughs> you know, you're always <laughs> welcome to join, and if you can't, that's cool. But that's how it's gonna be, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Hey, uh, it was just funny, like how we almost had a let's talk photography before a let's talk photography. So, mm -hmm. um, but let's revisit what we we're talking about later on. Okay. okay Those are some sure. good stuff. Yeah, 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 for sure. For oh, sure. Uh, first, let me, uh, congratulations, uh, congratulate you on your 5,000. Uh, oh so my God. Really? What? Thank, man, thank if anybody has to know how hard you've been working on that, it's, man. Well, I know you know, you know, you know, <laughs> you, you know, you know all the uh, what do you call it? 
the uh, secrets, you know, where the where the bones are kept, the bodies are kept. So I really appreciate it. And I thank all of you out there um, supporting the channel, folks who may have found me through AP Studios. Shout out to Chuck um, and, and Vahagen over at Vahography. They've been really supportive and welcoming me into their community. So I thank everybody. I plan to just go even harder. Derek knows it. And um, I want to take this channel to the next level and buy um, and get more sound effects to annoy you all with. OK, so sorry. Sorry about that ahead of time. Um, real quick, we have a few comments. Let's go check these folks out. We got Coley in the house. Hey, hey, first one here. Always. I don't know anybody that ever beats him. He, 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 he This is at 417. OK, we go live at five. He's there at 417 talking about, oh, the, yeah, that's crazy, okay? So I have to give him a Mario coin for that. Um, and then he also says, hey, today's May 4th, Star Wars. May the 4th be with you. Yeah, I'm trying mm -hmm. to uh, see what I did with this sound effect. Let me see if I can switch it over to, hold on. Okay. There. Yes. May the, oh. May the 4th be with you. <laughs> so there you go. All right, Cooley, that's for you. And then we got Chuck in the house. <laughs> Eating supper, listening to Robert Silver. Thank you, sir. Salute to you. And um, I jumped on the live with him and Vahagen uh, earlier. It was real interesting. We we're talking about, uh, of course, the Z8 was a hot topic, but uh, it was good conversation. And it was a good way to get away from the work I should have been doing at that time. So... <laughs> <laughs> uh Greg Greg Corker comes in. Hey and uh uh good afternoon, evening all. Oh, there we go. See, I, I'm wondering if this time works better for folks. I know Vic Vic might be um hey, what's going on, Vic? Um he he's in Florida, I believe he said. So with that said, that that means we're it's eight o'clock over there. So I'm trying to be find a nice good time. And if we do go longer, then ultimately, <clears throat> maybe I'll be here at eight, nine o'clock, and that's still a three to four hour stream. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I've realized anything less than two hours, you know, is it going to happen? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no home conversation. Yeah, it's just not going to happen. I, I, Dude, what I do now, I, um, I literally get my water, my protein shake. I got it right here. Like, I got everything ready. So when I'm I sit, I could just like I'm good to go. Kind of like Chuck with his uh with his M and M's. He got like a bag of M and M's only like. <laughs> oh man! If I had a bag of any kind of candy next to me, I'd in a you'll see me in a coma before anything. Yeah, uh, you know what? Your lighting looks incredibly better. I oh, just noticed it? that. Yeah, you low. Did you lower the uh, intensity of that light? The yellow oh, yeah. light. Yeah. I yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, before it was like a a hundred percent. Now it's like ten percent. Yeah, that that looks. Yeah, and you know what? Anyway, it looks good. Yeah. Um, Malcolm, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Malcolm. <laughs> Welcome. And he says, "Why the two hours?" Well, at first I wanted to, to try to keep it at two hours because um, when I first started, I was just talking, and it was just me mostly. You remember that, Derek? It was just mostly yeah. me. And um, my voice, I'm not going to lie, two hours of straight talking to keep it engaging um, was tough. It was tough. After two hours, bro, I would hit that pillow like a rock. Uh, mm -hmm. But now I invite Derek. He At least he's more available. And anybody else who wants to jump in, you're more than welcome to. Matter of fact, let me go share this link. De let me see if I can make you a moderator, Derek. That would be fantastic. Hold on, brother. Oh, man. How I think there's a way I can. Um, where I can make you a moderator. I got to figure out how to do that. <laughs> Clearly, I don't know how, but um, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll fi I'll figure it out. Uh, but I know there's a way I can, and then therefore you could control um, comments, but also um, like how this stuff pops up when I highlight it and everything. So that's why Malcolm, uh, but after I've learned from the Obi-Wan uh chuck over there you know two hour of stream is his warm-up so uh mm -hmm. and the first time he jumped on my stream it was four hours right with him and vahagen were you there derek that four anyway it was four hours before i knew oh, it, it was 
four hours, oh. but I know it gets into like past three hours usually. Uh, Malcolm says he'll jump in, but in a bit, making dinner. Fantastic, man. Yeah, when you're ready, let me know. Um, let me go ahead and post this link for anybody who wishes to jump on. Uh, join the panel. There we go. Hey, Wayne. What's going on? Thanks for uh, checking in. There we go. That's the link. If anybody wants to join, you go ahead and click that link. It is all good. All right, let's get to some photography news. I got a few things I want to share, and um, it's actually pretty interesting, okay? So let's get to it. Oh, wait, wait. First, let me set it up first. Okay, I got a show to run, and unfortunately, I'm the only one running it. Um, share the screen. And the first thing is, yes, this one is a cute one. Okay, we'll, we'll start with whoop. Why is it doing that? There we go. Cool. Now let's not do that. Oh, okay, cool. I just gotta pull up this. Sorry about that, everyone. They like pulled up another. Cool. There we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, so here we here we are. Look at this. Check this out. Um, Jennifer Lopez, this is from Petapixel, directs photographer on how best to shoot her at the Met a gala. What the hell? So this 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 definitely caught my eye. Um, this was I believe yeah this was in the recent newsletter. I'm signed up to like every. Every every photography blog, I, I just sign up for it so I can get news about whatever is going on. Mm -hmm. And this one here, brother, this one stuck out to me. Look at her. She's out there like, er, no, you didn't. Oh, she's got the figure up too? Wow. Okay. She, but is she going like some kind of like pop rockish type style or what? Oh, uh, well, have you seen the photos from Met Gala? Oh, you got to go check out Twitter because some of the outfits are outrageous. But um, oh, yeah. Doja, Doja Cat, like, done up like a cat and she just meowed oh, yeah. to the whole did you see that she one like, <laughs> she looked more like uh uh that one uh that one stephen king movie have you seen it oh uh sleepwalkers she like one of those Woo -wee. yeah she, <laughs> she meowed like did you hear the interview though no oh okay well she she literally was meowing to the interviewer for like it had to have been a few minutes on the on the on the uh red carpet. So who 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 did that dress for you? Meow. <laughs> oh really? And and she oh it was just buffoonery. Anyway, but it was it was hilarious. Nah, um, she like, did she like that anyway? Yeah. Well, she 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 did it up. She for sure did it up. Uh, wait says all oh, good. Grabbing some breakfast. So in listen mode right now. All right, brother. Well, if you ever want to jump in, you're more than welcome to. I'm glad you're able to stop by and hang out. Roy goes. No, number one thing to in uh, invert in it is in lighting. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Because we're gonna be talking about the main topic. And Roy, yes, you're already ahead of us. Absolutely, we want to invest in lighting, hundred percent. But let's get into details of specific lighting. So we'll get to that in a second. Um, Cooley, is there a bad angle on it? Is there a bad? Well, let's, let's, let's talk about it. Okay. Let's bring it back up. Um, she says, uh, Jennifer Lopez directed a professional photographer on exactly how to shoot her at the Met Gala, which is like the biggest fashion event in New York all year round. In his video shared by Glamour, uh, uh, Lopez was filmed giving a photographer detail, detailed instructions. Woo -wee! Wee! At the Met, I wouldn't want to shoot her wedding. I'll tell you that right now. That would be an L. Um, How many weddings would that have been then? Oh, she would have to pay me big money. You'd be talking about <laughs> what angle I need to shoot her. Uh, at the Met Gala held at the Metropolitan Museum in Manhattan. And then um, we're not going to watch the video because I don't want to get a strike. Lopez is seen instructing the photographer on how she wants to be shot for the full-length portrait. Hmm. 
tells the photographer how to first go lower with the camera, then tells him to shoot up with his camera. Woo! Woo! She is not playing. I tell you that. Man, she looked good though. Gotta give it for that. Let, hold on. Let me get let me get. Yeah, that that definitely deserves a coin. <laughs> uh Lopez is seemingly uh still not content with the camera angle that he's taking, and she tells the photographer again that he has to tilt the camera upwards. Maybe she knows how to shoot. You know, shout out to her if she does. She's like, you are clearly a newbie. And gestures at the camera and tells the photographer, you have to point it up. You have to point it up. Ooh-wee. That's so embarrassing, though. Um, when she is happy with the camera angle, Lopez puts her hand on her hip and happily poses. So I'm guessing this this is the shot, maybe. I don't know. But, I was um, waiting for you to say that uh, she grabbed his hand and pointed it in the direction that, he, that she wanted him to shoot it. Oh, because that's what it almost sounds like. Yeah, like she was about to take the selfie herself. You know what yeah, I mean? Right. Um, <laughs> it is Jennifer Lopez, so you know who are you to argue. But at the same time, I'm like, ooh, that's a diva move, right? That's a mm -hmm. that's a power move. Okay, telling these photographers, but know what time it is. Um, is she hire? Is that that's is that the uh, photographer she hired? No, I think that's the red carpet. You know, photographer, uh, red carpet photographer. You know, mm -hmm. and from the picture I can see. Hold on, let's go back to it. That's that's definitely uh oh there she is. Look at that. Damn, she looks good though. I'll give it that. She doesn't look as crazy as Doja Cat. Um 3.4 million views exposing expert Christian Bozan broke down Lopez's instructions to the photographer. Basically, she was asking for the photographer to go lower and then tilt the camera upwards. Okay, the posing expert says that a lower camera angle will make the subject look taller and longer. She also, which we all know, right? In portrait photography 101. Uh, she also adds the camera will be held at the height of one's stomach, but the device should be tilted back slightly by the photographer. When you're shooting a lower angle, you don't have to go all the way down to the ground. Instead, no. Dan, you're giving him a lesson or her or whoever it was. <laughs> Woo! Well, everybody out there and, uh, in the chat what do you think about that okay what do you think about a celebrity of jennifer lopez's status like how would you feel would it break you down would you want to just retire right there crawl into a little hole let me know post it down below okay anyway <laughs> i mean she's probably promoting her doctor because she probably got a lot of that under there like taking out a lot of the fat underneath uh, well that's already i mean she looks let's be honest she looks pretty good <laughs> i mean she does get like surgery, I, i'm not gonna you know there's a lot i would like you know i i can't deny she looks she looks amazing you know um yeah. but she's jennifer lopez and uh you know if anyone was gonna boss you would be her or oprah you know what i mean but at the same time i certainly would be like i'd feel some kind of way but there's a little bit of me that would be like I'd want to, you know, hide. <laughs> like, damn, that's embarrassing. You know, I don't think I would. I think I'd be okay, okay with it. Oh yeah, well, you're a stronger yeah. man. You're a stronger. No, nah, because I mean, you're there. You're already in high regard anyway. How many people go there to shoot? That's true. That's true. Well, I mean, the the person if they're hiring someone to be there, they I would figure they already know what they're doing. This is Met Gala. This is Vogue's. This is like the biggest fashion event all year. It's the it's the playoffs, yeah. right? So the who's who's are there. So if I'm a photographer hired to shoot that event, I would assume they've already done their homework. This person is, has the caliber, and the, mm -hmm. and they could trust them, right? And yeah. so that just that's just particularly what she wanted. It's not particularly what they wanted, for sure. Oh, c clearly. Uh, Cooley yeah. said, beam me up, Scotty. I was going to get Star Wars sound effects, but I would get flagged. I used the sound effects uh, two shows ago. I got flagged, and I had to, like, uh, delete parts of my video so I could get monetized again. It was crazy. Wow. So, but may the fourth. Oh, well, excuse me. May the fourth be with you. Um. I wonder Shop. how, how do they, do they got like, they got major teams like working through YouTube to, to, you know, catch people and they must have an algorithm or something to check. No, this isn't, no, bro, this is during the show. What do you mean? 
You said during the show? No, this is like as they're walking into the event, the red carpet. The okay. photographer is there, you know. Hey, Jennifer, hey, hey. And she's like, no, lower, up, lower, up, up. Like, <laughs> in front of the entire, everybody, the press. Uh, Roy says celebs egos mean that are uh, mean that are fantastic are absolutely everything. Yeah, I'll give you that hundred percent. Yeah, their ego, and plus it's it's their it's their uh, their ego. Uh, so I I'll, I'll have to give it to them. Some of their ego is also to protect their brand, right? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. You know what I mean? So you you know if it's Jennifer Lopez, that's why I said at first I'd feel some kind of way, but then I'd be like, yeah. damn, it's Jennifer Lopez. But then, damn, I'm being corrected in front of the fashion world you know so that that's not cute either um it might hurt a little but at least she told them 100 percent. yeah absolutely um because whatever if that was his photo that's being used right now well it does look great and if your photo looks great and she's happy with it and it's of jennifer lopez it certainly can't hurt your career <laughs> right i don't right. think so uh maz comes in and says Aloha. <laughs> Thanks, Good Maz, man. Cool. Appreciate you checking in. Um, looks, uh, look, that's a power pose, and that's what she was after. 100%. She already knew. She already knew before she showed up exactly what she wanted and how she wanted it. Absolutely. And Chuck comes back. How's that? F oh, he's talking to, <laughs> he's talking to Maz. Uh, yeah, uh, Vic, Vic said, girl, you are from the Bronx. Stop it. Keep it real. Oh, yeah, you're right. You know, um, she's Jenny from the block, but um, Je Je she's worth a few. How, I wonder how much she is worth, but she's definitely up in the mills. You know, now she, she her block is pretty nice. <laughs> it ain't the Bronx block. That's for damn sure. Uh, let's see here. Oh. Look at Chuck showing some love to everybody in the house. That's what we're talking about. I love that. Um, let's see. Okay, cool. All right, everybody's looking good. <clears throat> let's get to the next story. I got another one. All right, celebrity celebrity gossip when it comes to photography, I guess. Oh, this one might break some folks' hearts, but I don't, you know, we'll see. Check this one out. I'm not sure if people know about this one. Okay. Look at that. The camera store in Canada. Remember the camera store? Camera store in Canada hit by burglars over 300, oh, I think it's 300, $30,000 worth of gear. That's sad. That sucks. Um, it's happened to a lot of local stores, like a store in San Francisco. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And then, um, Mike's camera, um, San Jose camera, it happened to them. So the Bay Area is very, um, a, I don't want to say accustomed to it, but, uh, you know, we we know about these situations happening. And here, this is Canada, which is supposed to be like America minus the violence. And then here they are doing the same wild crap up there, um, stealing gear. So let's take a look at this article right here. Okay. One of the most popular camera lenses and photography equipment retailers in Western Canada suffered a break in May 3rd. So that was just yesterday. 30 grand worth of Sony Nikon, sorry, Nikonians, and DJI equipment was stolen. Wow. I would play this, but I'm not sure if I would get flagged. You know what I mean? $30,000 were like, how much, how much time did they have? That was a lot of, that's a lot of gear. Well, from the other stores, oh, hold on, hold on, I think we got something here. Oh, look at the, oh, gee whiz, I tell you, hold on, we have the man, the myth, the legend, photography. Hey. Hey. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hey, Mark, how are you, man? Good, good. What's going on? Rock and roll. Hey, you know, we're, uh, uh, you know, my buddy Derek. Have you met him before? I met him last week. Okay. 
Was also here yeah. when he had him as a guest. Uh, again, nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, we're uh, we're just going over some photo news. I'm not sure if you saw, but the uh, the camera store. You see, did you hear about that? The camera store right here um, got broke into, unfortunately, and um, thirty. Can you, can you play like a little small segment of it. You don't have to play the whole thing, right? I'm not sure how it works. I know like some people do fair use, but I'm not sure exactly how to use it. And I, I don't want to get negative strikes on my account. Does that make sense? Hmm. If I play somebody else's video, because this is the camera store's channel, you know, I mean, feel free, folks in, in the chat, educate me. If, if there is a way for me to do it, that would be fantastic. But um, I, I don't want to get strikes. Vahagen, your um, title that says rock and roll. I love the fingers. That's that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. You might get demonetized. I would not play it. Yeah, I'm not going to. All right. So yeah. I have the um, you go check it out, folks. You see, it's it's it, this was posted yesterday. On a Petapixel, check it out for yourself. Um, according to surveillance footage, uh, which can be seen above, two individuals broke into the store about 5 a.m. and smashed display cases, wide range of equipment, and then then stuffed it stuffed in uh, into what appears to be shoulder tote bags. Uh, they look like male and female can be seen grabbing stuff. Ooh, they got the ladies involved. This is a tough world. And uh, the two who are dark clothed, blah, 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 they all seem the same. Same, same attire. Um, look at that. Camera equipment. Yes. Like I said, in the Bay Area, for sure, that's happened in the Bay Area. And uh, unfortunately, that, oh, look at that. a wedding photographer attacked by gun wielding thieves. Pa oh, yeah, that, that happened right in San Francisco. I remember that. And this one here for 35. Gr oh, my goodness. Um, that's why I really recommend folks to make sure you at least have PPA membership. Like, please, folks. Uh, Vahagan, do you do PPA or no? Uh, it's a photography uh, association, right? Portraits mm -hmm. and Photographer Association, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to be a member, but I, don't, I think it expired a long time ago. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, let me just, uh, I'm going to, I, I, um, was updating my info, but look, check this out, folks. I'm not, this is, I don't know them. They don't, they certainly don't know me. Okay. So I don't get anything. You can see it has my, um, oh wait, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm not showing it. Okay. Here we go. Check this out. With all this thieving going on, folks, I just had a photographer friend yesterday when I was visiting Mike's camera, um, found out he went to a party. He was shooting a party. Okay. Friends, family party, whatever. Had a Z9. His, his uh, I think a twenty four to seventy and a uh, speed light. He put it down for two seconds. Somebody came up, threw a shirt over it, and walked out with this entire thing, and like lickety split. And they found they saw it happen on camera after the fact. So, <clears throat> if you have uh, you you get all these sorts of things going on when it comes to uh, PPA benefits, but most importantly is you get like you get coverage. Up to, I want to say, uh, here we go. Let me see. Will it let me or do I have to like log in? It? Okay, here we go. Look at that. $15,000 in equipment coverage. Okay. And to cover that, the first deductible is $375. All right. You have deductible for equipment repairs. Uh, oh, full replacement. Excuse me. $350 for full replacement of equipment lost. I really recommend it costs, I think, $27 a month. I pay it. You know, it's on automatic pay. But for, you know what? To cover 15 grand, what's 350 bucks? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, right now, it couldn't hurt. It certainly couldn't hurt. All right. It wouldn't have helped camera store, but it may help that wedding photographer or my buddy who had a Z9 lifted from him at a friend's house party. So anyway. Uh, that had nothing to do with the show, but I just wanted to recommend to folks that like that is one way to keep keep your ass your ass ass covered. You know what I mean? Oh, PPA. Sorry, man. I <clears throat> I was thinking of something else, but uh, yeah, for Professional Photographers of America. That's right. That's right. There was yeah. something else very similar. It was Portrait and Photography Association, but no PPA is. I got confused. Sorry. No worries. <laughs> Uh, I did do their, uh, they have limited liability, like commercial coverage. What, what is it called? It's called the uh, 
it's called something else. And uh, oh, here we go. General liability. So like if you do weddings inside of a lot of big venues, hotels or whatever. And um, so I've used that last year. But since I'm not doing as many weddings, I, I didn't pay for it this year. Anyway, let's get out of this madness. All right. Oh, you got so a lot can... of people in the chat. Can I? Yeah, Hello, go for everybody. it. Greg, Mozman, Roy, Vic, AP Studios. Everybody, man, this is great. What's going on? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah! <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! Uh, Roy says, uh, "Years ago, all my Ellen Crow gear was lifted from the from the boot of my car." No, I've used Godox since. It's expendable. Yeah, uh, that's that's one of the that's one of the good things. Like if I'm on field, I'd like to try to stay with the AD two hundred because because it's so compact and. Um, the AD600 is just so big and wieldy, and it says, hey, I'm a professional photographer, so I try to leave that at home. Which, uh, <clears throat> and, and in San Francisco, it's really picky because they'll call you a commercial shoot real quick if they can, and yeah. therefore, they want all those licensing and permits and everything. So the um, best thing to do is just have your assistant hold the light, ironically, mm -hmm. because as soon as you put anything with legs, it's considered a commercial shoot. In, 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 in. uh-huh as soon as that leg goes down the tr three tripod the tripod legs bloop, commercial shoot uh which is the opposite of new york which is we really don't care as long as you don't block the whatever so um how is it in la hagen like when it comes to photography and using strobes and stuff outside yeah they're uh <clears throat> you know depending on where you are same 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 thing i mean once you have a tripod you know and all that they come and uh where's your permit you know mm -hmm. this and that but i think if you stay in the sidewalk you're pretty good but it depends on where you're at like if you're in a major city like in you know um hollywood you know where all the tourists are walking by you gotta be careful there you know um hey how's my mic is it sound okay yeah you sound good okay, okay. all right it sounds like you every time Cool, cool. Meaning like the levels and everything. Yeah, yeah, levels and... Uh... Mm -hmm. It's not hot. All right, cool. I got it right here. I'm looking at everybody's level. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much what it is here. Um, Oakland, you can get away with murder and murder. Um, but uh, the... <laughs> <laughs> the, the uh, but the... But photography, they really don't care. Um but oh yeah, San Francisco. That's like give us the money, give us the money. Um, look I at that. I think if you have like if you have like an assistant holding your your um, strobe, you're better off. You know, uh, exactly. Use the tripod. Just have it in on you, the camera, and then that's it. Just have an assistant tell them, okay, hold it there with the little maybe monopod or something holding it up like that. Yeah. No. I it's a lot quicker to uh to put set things up if you just have it in your hand just there you go yep my buddy yep. sith he had a westcott 400 watt light on a mini softbox nothing too big i think it was like a 20 20 inch softbox with the grid and he was using his westcott light trigger on the z9 boom perfect he was holding it up like that he, and, he was just holding it up like this, yeah, on the side, and then no, the cool. shots that we took on my eighty-five one-two review, he's holding that light, you know, um, when we're taking pictures oh. of the model, so it was Man. perfect. Yeah, that's that's what I have to get more accustomed to doing as well. <clears throat> um, sometimes I I just do natural light just to avoid all the madness. Rory comes in, says camera gear isn't cheap. Thirty dollars isn't that much gear. Thirty dollars. Yes, that isn't 30, 30 grand. It's not, you may not think it's much gear, but I mean, it's overhead for them. And it's a loss to a small store that they get very little profit from these companies. Believe it or not, it's really, really bad. Um, the camera bodies that we buy and we complain about all online, <laughs> um, the, the, the overhead, the uh, margin is very small, like very small 10%. Like it's, it's, 
it's downright disrespectful. Where they make their money is the accessories, your Pro Master accessories, your camera bags, uh, stands. That's where the stores make the money uh, and other ancillary, ancillary uh, services, prints, stuff like that. That's the truth because I, I know because I worked at one for a few years and um, even the lenses, like you think Nike, you were looking at all these uh, prices. And they don't really make a whole lot off of those camera gears. It's everything else, the workshops they host. So it really is a hit for them, uh, for these, you know, it's kind of like running a restaurant. You know what I mean? So. Roy uh, says Westcott gear is really well, his gear is really well made for the price. Yeah, it is. I love the interface. I really like Westcott's interface. The screen on the, on the flash unit. Uh, right. I think it's the FJ 400 light we were using. And that thing is nice. The interface is easy to use as well. They have that thing going on, like the Pro Photos with the, the like 5.0, 5.2, you know, the power. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Remember that, yeah. Derek? When yeah. we were shooting uh, and the power of the Pro Photo was like 1.2, 1. 1.3. 1. Yeah, 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 the, the digits there. It's, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool lights. Um, Doing a good job, you know. Yeah, I know a photographer. Uh, what is he? I think he does Ellen Chrome and Westcott. And he may anyway. John Grease in Chicago. Shout out to John Grease. Um, he's a phenomenal studio photographer. So check him out if you ever can. But I think he does those two things, and uh, they use the same kind of power metering, if you will. Um, but Westcott, you know what? Uh, I use Fotex for a lot of my soft boxes, aside from Godox. Um, and the quality of their latest version, their capsule version is, um, really, really good, like really good, the manufacturing of it. So I'm hoping to get my hands on it. And when I do, I'll do a review and it's much cheaper, but it's really good. So I, I want to just share that with all of you when I can, um, we see, we have, um, Vic says joining PPA and ASMP uh later this year just gotta go get some other things in place that's what i'm talking about yeah ppa hey 15 grand is 15 grand that's at least your z9 in two lenses you know what i mean and right now for 27 bucks we almost can't afford not to be um a part of ppa also they're a lobbyist they lobby to protect our copyright as a photographer so you see how the Screenwriters Guild are all lobbying to fight for their rights? That's what PPA does for us photographers in America. So we have to put our money where our mouth is and in those who are fighting for our rights while we're complaining about gear online. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, what else do we have? Okay, that's a comment there. We got, um, oh, look at this. What uh, the Westcott 400 looks to be a copy of the Godox, but better made. V you know what? V very could very much well be. I mean, they all. I mean, quite honest, dude. When I was at WPPA, uh, WPPI, I was talking to some people. I'm not going to say their brand. And I'm telling you, they all come. They all come from the same place, somewhere in China, Taiwan, somewhere, wherever. And if if they if we're thinking that one piece of plastic or I'm not sure what your umbrellas are made of, polyester or whatever. It someone didn't re someone didn't uh, make a better version of it. It's just probably they just paid more for that but higher quality and thus called Westcott and then charges you a premium. But they're not coming from some magical place where Santa keeps all the good stuff exclusively for Westcott. I'm that's just, I just don't see it. I mean, am I Vahagan? Am, am I just ranting now or no? I I use uh they're pretty much all like you said good. Um Westcott, I have a Godox 8600 which I really like. Mm. As far as soft boxes and octa boxes and all that stuff, uh modifiers. Last time I was out shooting, I was actually using a Aperture Dome 2. Yeah, oh, those okay. you know, those aperture lights are for yeah. video make video videographers. Yeah. What would you think about that? Dude, it worked great with my 8600. It's a That's big, cool. it's a huge umbrella. It's really big. I'm not an umbrella. It's a dome. It's the dome two, you know? Yeah, I and, looked at uh, that the filmmaking. It's, an, it's nice. It's very nice. It's got the double diffuser. Mm. Uh, the mini diffuser 
that you put in the inside of the softbox. Uh, it looks like a mask, you know, with the little uh, uh, Velcro strips. Yeah, yeah. And then you got your front diffuser. And then I have my grid over that. So it, it really softens the light. And with the 600 watts of power, you can pretty much shoot in the daylight. And, you know, uh, with your high-speed sync with the Z9, beautiful, okay. beautiful shots. Fantastic. Now, um, real quick, I don't mean to cut you off there. We have a living legend of the photography community of the photography community with us joining us his name is his name a lot of people may have but a lot of people are not him he's the one the only chuck from ap studios here we go <laughs> welcome chuck to the show oh man i get music too man that's great <laughs> Hey, first, I want to say hello, Robert. Hello, Derek. Nice to meet you. Uh, I saw you on the stream the other night. It's nice you have a sidekick, Robert. It's always helpful. Uh, well, and, you know, I, I always have somebody helping me, but I really need a Steven. Are you a Steven, Derek? I need a Steven. <laughs> Are you willing to re relocate to Connecticut? Con Connecticut? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's only a few blocks away. Don't worry about it. He, he, he's on his way. <laughs> what do you uh, have I think first? as far as west uh, east that I've been is uh, New York. So maybe Connecticut will work. Yeah, we're we're. Uh, I'm only an hour away from New York City. I hate mm. to say that. It's really a shame. But anyway, 17 people in here. Come on, man. We, we, we're we're going to lift this up for you. Uh, we need life, and life is here. Yeah. Uh, well, that's that's what I'm hoping. You know, uh, I tried the five o'clock, as you may know from last time I, I announced um, to help folks out over in the East Coast a little bit. Yeah. Um, and uh, what I can do is tune uh, turn on turn on the lights, you know, and um, that's all I can do. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure what what's the deal. I noticed that in my analytics, my uploads and my shorts get tons of action compared to. Um, well, they just don't know, man. You got to start telling your people that are subscribed to you specifically. Let them know that you are on live and you are consistent. Consistency is everything. I mean, look, you already got what seventeen folks, eighteen folks in here now. Yeah, and uh, so let's let's bump that up to about. 70 or 80 folks in here that's what i'm talking about everybody we're, if you can. we're gonna find out what you're made of when that happens because <laughs> now the chat gets radical i bet and my fingers will have me tapping these buttons all damn day um, yeah. <laughs> um okay, anyway, well, I'm, 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 i can cut you off it's your show but i'm gonna cut you off right here for a second go for it go for it you said something about two two hours that's not a live stream oh no I, that's not a live stream, man. A live stream has to go beyond two hours. I'd really cap it at about three. Mm. Oh, so you stop at three? No, no, I don't stop at three. I, sometimes I want to, but people won't let me. Oh, God. <laughs> so, God, uh, you know, you, you, that that's what makes it, man. All the people start showing up. You get people that rotate through and come back. Hmm. Gotcha. I don't know if that's a okay. second. I don't know if that's a second <laughs> view, but you know, <laughs> like I said, you suggest a, a what is it a, a ten hour uh, live stream? Yeah, I, I would not suggest that to anybody. I got goaded <laughs> into that, um, and then I mean, come on, it, 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 uh, three o'clock in the morning. If Peter Gregg shows up in your show, I mean, you, you can't stop, right? Mm. Yeah, that's true. I'll uh, make a Greg, suggestion. Oh yeah, go for it. Uh, just. Like Chuck says, stay consistent and, uh, you know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about the analytics that, it, you know, if you broadcast, they will come, you know, so be patient. Um, and also keywords help on the title. Like if you need to add an icon, something, something rather, you know? Yeah, I know. I, I, here's my thing about that. I thought about that today. I'm glad you brought that up and Chuck that you're here. Here's the thing. Uh, first of all, uh, Greg says he's just stopping by. I just want to say thanks for stopping by, Greg. Uh, what's up with brand lighting? You get you are buying into a system, so choose carefully. Hundred percent. 
Um, here's my thing. <clears throat> if you if you talk something about Nikon and then Chuck does and then I do, then we're like almost yelling down the same tunnel saying this. You know what I mean? Like we're just it's just different time. You know, Chuck's in the morning and you're in the afternoon and I'm an eight. You know what I mean? So like I try to come up with thick like today I want to talk about like what should we be investing in? Right. Uh, as beginners, what were some things that perhaps we should have spent more in, whether it be lighting gear type of equipment, et cetera. So I just try to change it up now. Sure enough, unless you're a photographer looking for that kind of advice, you may not get it. And if I put, Hey, Nikon Z8, what the hell people probably would tune in more, but I also want to, I don't know. I actually want to add stuff to the conversation. A, a, absolutely. And you know what? You're, you're a smart guy. You're going to do what you want to do and, and be happy doing it. And that's the big thing right there is be happy doing it. However, there are certain <laughs> things that come oh, up during right. different times while the, while the iron's hot, man, you got to strike. And right now people can't get enough of, oh, there are some that can get enough of, and they're going to let you know that. But I mean, you know, Z8 is a hot topic. I'm not saying talk you're about right. it. I'm just saying that they can't get enough. If there were nine live streams on throughout the day, there are people that would be watching all nine live streams because they can't get enough, even though it's all the same information over and over and over. They just want to talk about it. I know it's, it's, it's hard to balance between like, okay, educational, like I actually want to help you, um, content. And then if we just do gear, then I know it's going to get the views. I know it's going to get that, but I also want like, I want to add some substance to the, to my content uh, as well as the gear. I love gear too. That's why I tune into your guys show as well. Um, yeah. So that's the balance I'm trying to figure out. The, you know what I mean? For, I and, tried to do the, the educational thing a little bit, tried to do an on uh, a live stream photo shoot. And let me tell you as a one man show, you don't want to try that. It, it's, it's tough. Um, but yeah, I mean, everybody can go everywhere on the, uh, YouTube, everywhere on YouTube and find educational content. You yeah. do it all the time in your videos. And I think that's where that works best. <clears throat> I don't see it working well in live streams. <clears throat> Excuse me. Unless you can get a dedicated bunch of people that exclusively want to talk about a subject, but even then in a live stream, how easy is it to stay concentrated because you're answering questions, everybody's talking to you and everything else. Um, and, and this is where people get to meet you, yeah. the Robert Silver. They don't get to meet Robert Silver in a video. I mean, you know, it, it, it's not the same person because here they get okay. to know who you are and, and everybody that follows you, tell me that all the people that follow you wouldn't love to have an opportunity to sit down and chat with you. That, you know, no, and you're that's right. exactly what goes that's on in these live streams. No matter what you're talking about, they're here for you more than they are for the subject or the topic. Mm. Hold on. You deserve a Mario coin um, <laughs> for that. Uh, no, I think you I think you hit it on the nail there. You're like use the live stream to literally, you know, connect and kind of loosey goosey. And, you know, this is not they're not coming to. Uh, yeah, I think you the way you said it sounded really good. That does make sense. Keep the tutorials to my videos that I'm doing. I have a new one coming out soon. I can't wait to show you all. And then um, keep the educational there and then come here and open it up and have That's fun and have yeah. fun and be Robert, you know, yeah. uh, for, for all the folks that follow you. Absolutely. That's what premieres, which I don't really care for premieres. Most of the time, mm -hmm. I don't think they're done the right way. However, if it's a single topic, I think it's okay. But the chat goes away before people can start answer asking their questions, you know, and you're yeah. in there watching the chat, uh, obviously during a premiere, but it's okay. It works as a tutorial as well. But you're already putting out great content when it comes to teaching, lighting, uh, posing, and everything else. And let this be your fun time. I don't want to tell you how to run your channel, but I guess no, I am. No, I, I, no, uh, I always enjoy getting, how can I say, um, healthy critiques and uh, recommendations. Because I can tell you care, right? Yeah. And you're not trying to be a... Um, in a, a, a rude person. So Not I, at all. 
I, 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 so I'm taking this in positively because Derek and I talk about all the time. Hey, how can I better this? What do you think? And sometimes it's hard for me to see, right? Because I'm in the driver's seat. Yeah. So, so to hear from you folks, my colleagues, uh, you and Vahagen, it, it, it is important to me. And uh, as you as well, Derek, you know, you know, I take your input a lot. So um, I'm, I appreciate you sharing this because that's that makes it it takes some weight off my shoulders because setting this all up and preparing and boy, you know, and then come up with a topic and then how do I. Yeah, I get into teacher mode and that could in, do a in lot some of your videos. Problems. Just you just need to mention, hey, I also do a live stream on Thursday night at whatever time. Uh, join me over there for more conversation. Uh, okay. But you got 5,000 congratulations. You got 5,000 subs, man. That's fantastic. And, you Thank know, you very much. Happy, happy for you. I'm happy for anybody that increases their subs or whatever. Uh, I've got I've got 1,000 subscribers. Who am I to tell you? And you have 5,000. Well, you, you get a lot of people tuning in onto your live streams. That, uh, well, so. that's just it. There are some wonderful people out there. And that's one of the things about a live stream. If it is, uh, if, if you, you have that continuity and, mm -hmm. and it's consistent, that uh, people just come back for the chat. Just come back to, you know, listen and, and talk and, and whatever. Hey. And again, like I said, who doesn't like yeah. seeing if you're on a live stream, who doesn't like or watching, who doesn't like seeing their name pop up on the screen with their comment That's right. or their question? Who doesn't like the opportunity to come in here and sit down with you and chat one on one as a guest? And you invite people and, and you know, that's what it's about. And, man, you, you're, you're you're on a roll, brother. You, you, you got you got it going on, man. And you got a great sidekick here, Derek. <laughs> Derek. Yeah, he's uh, he's my homie. So. <laughs> Um, hey, can I say something though? Uh, I know you mentioned Chuck's, uh, you know, his numbers. It didn't. It didn't happen overnight. I'll tell you that. Mm -mm. It didn't happen overnight. It took some nope. time. Yeah. No, I, I'm noticing from YouTube what YouTube. I'm picking up what you're putting down, and yeah. I've just been doing the stream. I want to say this year, right, Derek? I've been really going hard with the stream. I tried it last year, but it wasn't consistent at all. But recently, um. I got some free time on my hands and I just, I'm just going all in on YouTube big time with my photography. So mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, we have somebody in this, in the, in the lobby here and guess who it is. It's the one I'm I, whose comment I have up right now, the Wayne. Okay. Oh, oh man. All right. So hold on. You know, I have to do my intros. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have the uh, South East Asian Wayne Gretzky of photography in <laughs> the house. Uh, all right. All. I want to see Wayne Gretzky of photography as I do video. I can offer oh, some Sony oh, advice. Bad. Okay. <laughs> well, I saw Wayne, so I just, anyway, there you go. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. There you go. Hi, uh, Wayne. Welcome, welcome to the Morning, club. guys. Morning, V. Thank you. Thank you. I'm outside here like and uh, went to the hotel. Beautiful. I feel like the first man that walked on Mars making the, the media rounds because it's it's been one stream after another for the last two weeks. And, but that's yeah. all great, man. That's great. I don't want to take it away. Yeah. Get back to it, Robert. Um, let me get let me catch up with all these some of these comments. We've been uh, uh Paul, Vic comes in as policy buff celestial caught my attention, but they ran out of them quick. You know, Paul, Paul Buck, you know, um, Gosh, I wish they were able to keep up tech, 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 their technology um, as quick as Godox took over or created a space for themselves. Godox is like the ultimate third party, in my opinion, when it comes to lighting gear. Now they're into video. They do fantastic professional LED lighting for film, film scenes. I mean, it's crazy what uh, Godox has done in a short amount of time. And Paul Buff just kind of you know, after the old man had left, the innovation and everything else kind of like they just disappeared. And the mount, that S. Bowen's mount was the way that Godox was able to take over because they beat yeah. folks on price. And then all of a sudden they, they worked with the universal mount and killed it. Paul C. Buff was the Godox, Godox of the past because mm. that was the affordable, good lighting. And that's what a lot of people grav, grav, ah, gravitated to if they were just starting out. Even the pros kept it after they had started out with it. So, yeah, I mean, that was the affordable, 
or more affordable lighting system that was out there. So, yeah, you know, I, I liken it to Godox. That's how Godox started. You know, they got they kicked it off and they've knocked it out of the park, just like <laughs> uh, just like Aperture for uh, constant lighting. Oh, you know, yeah. uh, uh, they're they're actually probably the most purchased lighting uh, for commercial uh, videography and uh, sets and everything else. So, yeah, man. All right. I'll shut up now. No, yeah. I, I, I wish I can afford more aperture, but guess what I have plenty of? Godox LED lights. That's what I'm yep. using right now. Yep. 150 watt right here. I have 260 watts. I have, Anyway, Godox. Shout out to them. And they did it all without brand ambassadors. Now, that's pretty, I mean, that, that means they were doing something right. So, sorry, Paul C. Buff. That is just the fact. Um, you know what also is a good uh, a good investment? Uh, grabbing some reflectors, especially if you shoot in natural light. Some reflectors, oh, yeah. uh, some three to, uh, three to one reflectors, and some diffusers for the mm -hmm. natural light. Those go a long way. Then they're cheap. You don't have to buy a flash. And let me plug Cheetah Stand. I love their uh, oh. their their products are great too. That's all I have pretty pretty much uh, back here on all my lighting. Oh, so fantastic! Yeah, I've heard another product as well. I've heard a lot about Cheetah, and I think they had a, a booth. I swear they had a booth at WPPI. But um, shout out to Ch it actually did. Um, it was close to the B and H. I think. Uh, I was good to go. Is there a is there a monkey in the set? What are I think it's Wayne's. Oh, I'm sorry. No. I'm putting some mute. It's the birds all over here. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I was I like, wow. It. No, it's all good, Wayne. It was just funny. I was like, huh, how do I work around with that? Uh, uh, Cooley says there's no Santa. That's right. There isn't. Okay. Get that insurance, buddy. Uh, yeah, Wayne. Oh, everywhere. Wayne. Well, Wayne's right here, but he said lots of stuff made in China. <laughs> Absolutely. It is what it is, you know. They're our they the, China is our Walmart, is the world's Walmart. It's just what it is. Um, Greg, it sucks when they use cheap zippers on bags. Yeah, you know what? That's why I love uh think tank, think tank photo, because I have tons of their cases, shoulder every I have so much of their stuff, and they make such great durable products. They're right here in Santa Rosa. So shout out to American brand. And they use that good old YKK zippers, you know? So that's why I, I like Think Tank. Does anybody else use Think Tank at all? Yeah. That's yes. Yeah. Ab absolutely. Why am I frozen? I, no, you're not. I think it's you, probably just your side, Chuck. Wait, you're, you're moving on our side. Okay. All right. <laughs> I just caught up. All right. No, you're good to go. Um, so, yeah, that's – so for cheap – we get what we pay for, right? Um, yeah. But well, there's there's Wayne again. Yeah, it's the Einstein's. You know, those were my first studio. Uh, the studio I first rented had Einstein's in it, the 640s or whatever, the E640s. Those, those things and are great. They're great. Only thing is that dome would pop off and crack on the floor all the time. You know, mm. uh, really? Putting on the well, because. Because that little dome was only held on by like three little spring thingies, right? Like little, if you put the dome in, and if you don't put the softbox, I was new at photography, I wouldn't put on the softbox right, and then it would fall off. Mm -hmm. It would hit that little dome, uh, it'd crack on the floor, and it's glass, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, the studio made a lot of damage. Oh, that, no, well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're better than me. Okay. I love it. We're uh, on the set of Daktari. Uh. Yeah, we got Jumanji going on there with Wayne. <laughs> uh. It's nature, my friend. This is this is what wakes me up in the morning, and hey, they're like you. all right in front of me in the tree. Wayne, we're gonna see you next year. I'm already looking at uh, flights and everything. So I'm telling um, you, let me know when you come in. Uh, I heard I May. Friend, and we, we can meet up. Oh, huh? Is May good? Is May a good month? Yeah, you probably what you want to go. You want to go to Chiang Mai, you want to go to Phuket, Bangkok. What, what's your plan? I was thinking Bangkok and then Pattaya, just because I know it's like what, like an hour or so away or something like that. It's not like just be prepared that it's hot. Like Chiang Mai is up in the mountain right now. The days here are up to 101 degrees and it gets humid. For the down south, it'll get hot because you're, you know, you're close to the water. So unless you actually buy the water, the humidity is going to as well. Copy that. 
Okay. I'll bring so the shore. I would say maybe March, April will probably be the better time. It's no rain. It's still kind of cool. Me, you're entering summertime. You can see me sweating right here to sitting outside. Yeah, I, I see that. I love hey, warm weather. Hey, Wayne, is it true you don't have no permanent residence on there? You just... Correct. Sold everything and moving around. And it, it kind of sense, um, some of our stuff went to Mongolia where my wife's home is. So we kind of hang out over there from time to time. We spend the summer, like from June. Well, this year we're going uh, next week, week after. We're going from there until like October. And then we'll probably bounce to Malaysia because they're like three months over there. And then try to check out some of the other places and see, you know, which one we like. So we love Chiang Mai except for the um, burning season, which kind of happened early this year. And it was really bad. The pollution was horrendous. So if you guys are on Instagram and saw some of the stuff I posted, it's been bad here for the last couple of months. But it's it's cleared up. It's one of the reasons why I went to Kuala Lumpur and to Hong Kong to kind of get away from that. Mm. Wow, you're living a dream. I'll tell you that right now. Hey, folks, text your friends and tell them that we're live over here and that Robert is rocking the house with a lot of great conversation. And let's, yeah. let's, get, let's get some more folks in here. Just text yeah, your friends. I met two of the Sony stuff and I invited him and he was in here like the first or third person I think I saw in the chat. So that's a Sony person that came in that I met on the Sony side. So I'm trying to invite everybody, get them to come into the live stream. And, you know, you guys show up on trucks of a channel, they're going to fly you around to different things. So, uh, um, Chuck was saying, Robert, keep doing mm -hmm. it. This is where we get to know you. People get to see you, you know, know who you are other than just the videos. And it's a connection, I think, that's yeah. going to make people stick with you. Copy I, that. Po I posted on my communities tab, so the link. Thank you, there sir. You go. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate it, everyone. Um, I didn't get the luxury to, uh, to, to meet him on a uh, YouTube or anything. I had to go to his, his workshop. To, um, yeah, he had, to pay, he had to pay to meet me. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, man. Sorry. Uh, but no, um, but he he came ready to rock and roll. Um mm. he wanted to be an assistant. You helped me out on some stuff. That's okay. great, oh, man. Always super dependable. And then we just became really good friends. Um and then here we are. So that's that's fantastic, man. Yeah. I think that's the way it should work out. And we lift each other. Um, I share so much with him, but at the same time, he keeps it real, kind of like you do, Chuck. And that's what I need. And then, um, but, and, and I've paid him as, for events that I get too. So it's not like I just ask for free work. So, hey, you know, uh, Roy, it. Kevin, James, the link is in the chat if you guys want to jump in, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, Let me yeah. post it again. Let me see if I can post this. Back All right, here. Robert, you can tell me to beat it any time. Uh, you know, I like. I, we, I like. I, I, just, um, uh, I just. Let me to, let me drop off for a minute. We go inside to the air conditioning and get set up on a laptop. I'll see right, you guys okay. <laughs> um, let me catch up with some of these chats because we're we're going bonkers here. Uh, By all means, do that, and I'm going to go let the cat in. Be right back. Copy that. All right. So Greg says, "Chuck in the left corner in the house." You know it. <laughs> And then, um, yes, thank you. Thank you, Wayne. I appreciate that. And, of course, Fred. We got Fred in the house. Warriors are coming on. Oh, well, that, that oh, probably wow. is part of my stream right there. <laughs> are they playing today? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're playing game two. Is it today? I swear it was today. Um, yeah, it is Eric, today. But it does. Is it today, Eric? I swear it's today. Yeah, it's, it's today. I'll and see. I think it's a home game, too. I think it's a home game. Yeah, and yeah. I think it's. Uh, I think it's on now. Wow. It, no, it didn't start yet. It didn't uh, start. But yeah, they better win this one. Yeah, uh, Warriors. You know, they. You know, well, they they eked out the last. Uh, what was it? The uh, with the with the Kings. So let's yeah. be honest. They, that do that. they do that for the championships, uh, the finals. They do that. That's their thing. They like taking it down to the wire. You know, I I, I almost thought they were going to, I'm not going to lie, I thought I, it wasn't looking pretty. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, let's see. Greg said, to tell to enjoy the stream a rough day. I'm not sure what that, am I, am I getting some conversation here? Oh, oh, here we go. Time to enjoy the stream. It was a rough day. <laughs> Absolutely. 
Um, I have to be careful with these sound effects. Make sure they're not copyrighted. <laughs> you know, Vahagan, I got copywritten for my sound effects. Not from the music, not from anything else, but one stupid, like, 10 seconds something. And yeah. uh, on, a, on a four hour stream in 10 seconds, I have to remove. I'm like, are you kidding me? That's the only, anyway. Uh, Vic well, you know what happens? Sometimes, sometimes you get a warrant, like, it's a message saying uh, the monetiz monetization is reviewing or something. And then you click yeah. on review, right? You have them review it and then they approve it. Well, um, it didn't say, uh, it said something, but it said, as long as you remove, remove it. So I clicked, okay, mm -hmm. remove that six seconds right mm -hmm. and then uh in the back end it'll take about a day but they stitch it they'll t remove that six seconds and just keep your video or they blink whatever they do to it um and that's what i did then my monetization turned back on so mm -hmm. either way it was fixed it wasn't a strike or anything but it was just like it i was like okay i had to delete those sound effects the particular ones um one was like kenny g saxophone oh, uh, that's what it was yeah it was like, -na -na. and I was like, oh, yeah, that's the lens. I love this lens. Um, the other day I watched AP Studios live stream for a good while, then went to bed, woke up, and it was still going. Wow. Yeah, I don't know how you guys do it. I really, I really am quite astonished by you all. I really am. Uh, you have folks from Chuck's and Vahography stream. Other folks will come in. Thank yes, absolutely. Thank you, Wayne. I appreciate that over there and the uh, dealing with his cockatoos and whatnot over there. Uh, and more people will come in time. Absolutely. Uh, oh, here we go. Greg says invest in good glass because that was the main topic of the day. It was like, what should we be investing in? Okay, of course we like to we like the drama and the gossip aspects, but what should we be investing in? Um, Greg says when I bought my five hundred mil. F4, I never regretted it. That's what's up. I would never buy that. Not for what I do, but if you do birding and stuff, 100%. Um, I know folks that shoot like airplanes and stuff like that, and they need those kind of lenses. Do you use a lens like that, Vahography, or no? Yeah, I do from time to time. I used to own the, um, the 600 F4 and the wow. 400 2.8. So and would, you, would you shoot with it? Uh, just for fun. Oh, know, okay. Uh, just uh, occasional bird stuff, like for fun with Mosman. And we go out. And if I got, like, if I get a job saying, hey, can you cover my daughter's soccer game or whatever, I would do it. Uh, it's fun, you know. I nice. would love to. I'm just, I'm just saving up for the new modern TC lenses, which oh, are going to wow. cost a, a pretty penny. So that's going to be expensive. <laughs> there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Um, oh, look at this. Oh, oh, yeah. He uh, Wayne agrees with Chuck's sentiment. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I, I got you. Loud and hold on. Okay, uh, loud and clear. Uh, Fred says, and all you do, and everyone you come in contact with, you should always learn something. Yes, it's a balance. So, but I think a good balance is like what you guys are suggesting. It's like leave my upload videos, tutorials, education, and then loosey goosey have some fun um, on Thursdays. Right. Well, 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 let's pick Derek's brain on that. What do you think, Derek? Uh, as far as uh, amount of content, well, okay. well, what Robert, Robert just said, mm -hmm. like. How how do you feel the live stream should go? Um, I think the live streams are fine, actually. Uh, the you live streams, right, Derek. they go around four hours, maybe. No, no, no. However oh. long it goes, I'm just thinking about the format of the live streams. What do you think? Oh, I like it. I like it. I like the format of uh, everything uh, in order and everything's in order to me. It, I don't have any kind of problem with it. I actually don't have a real good uh, uh, sense of what YouTube is like. Uh, okay. so, um, jumping into YouTube, like I'm going to start my own YouTube as well. So um, I'm learning a lot of things too, um, you know, as we go through this and seeing him grow and seeing you guys grow and 
seeing the contents that you guys put up is it's actually do you, a, do you a enjoy this inter, do you enjoy this interaction with uh well you you talk to him every day but i mean uh the interaction though with him uh how do you how do you feel about that uh he is exactly how you see him here this and is Robert here for for uh every bit of the time that i knew him you know uh, this is Robert. So and that's what makes him Robert. genuine to everybody that subscribes and follows him and all of his other content. You be, he becomes real. You know, he's yeah. the real deal. There are people on YouTube who I won't mention any names who are not the real deal. They're right. one thing on, uh, you know, on their videos, but there's somebody different when you talk to them mm. live or, or whatever. So uh, I, th I think it just shows who you are and everything else. And it's fun, man. And that's the big thing is, keep keep it fun and if everybody else is having fun then that's all that matters all right i'm not trying to convince you of anything or am i no uh i'm sure someone's listening uh the, the folks that are tuned in so i hope they heard you manila comes in says hello from the philippines hello i always appreciate when he jumps in uh um, we always talk we always talk about like uh oh man if only we had the live stream going right now, all the conversations that we have about things, all the yeah. uh, stuff that we talk about here, same thing. We just don't have all the all the time in the world to talk on live stream. Well, well, well to that point, Chuck, yeah. uh, you know, sometimes we have some phenomenal talks. We have debate. We go at it because we're friends, so sure. we don't take it <laughs> personal, but we'll go, you know, neck to neck, all, you know, knives out <laughs> on a particular t point. And, I'll, and then we'll stop and be like, damn, we should have recorded that. That would have been such a great talk right there. But and, that uh, kind of stuff is what makes a live stream really pop. Everybody enjoys that. I'm not talking, you know, bashing or whatever, but yeah. a debate on any subject or whatever. People like to weigh in with their thoughts too. And, and that's fantastic. That That's what people tune in for is that interaction. So and anyway. look at this. Um, well, Greg says he loves the panel. Uh, I have somebody in studio for a hot, uh, and give me a second. Um, and then uh, Miles comes in and says, glad to hear what knowledgeable folks have to say. Yeah. And I think to your point, it's like, keep it open, share, um, and then um, let folks enjoy the, the the free flow of it. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, oh, Kevin comes in and says, what's up, Robert? Hey, Kevin, appreciate you stopping by. And uh, Maz says, what's all the squeaking? Oh, that was the birds <laughs> earlier. Okay. That was <laughs> Yeah, we had a wild situation over there. Uh, and then last comment before I let our next guest on, I mean, next panel uh, guest. I got to have up to 10 on yep. this one. I'm paying the, um, I forgot what package that is. Um, I have the Godox V1. Haven't had the chance to test it out outside with the model yet. Any tips on outdoor portraits with the speed light? I have a 3BTW softbox and a magnetic dome diffuser. Okay, well, you're already doing the right thing, which is if you want to learn, uh, you have to learn one to master them all when it comes to, you know, lighting portraits. So <clears throat> I started with the 8600, bought one to see what it's about. Plus, there were like 550 a pop at the time. So, um, but that really forced me to really understand and how to shape and manipulate light, right? So, this is actually a golden time for you to really hone understanding how to manipulate light, okay? We're using that one light. Um, and then when you add two or three or four, before you know it, you'll be like Joe McNally adding 20 freaking lights to a set. So, yeah. uh, but it starts with that one light. So take your time, have fun, and not everything has to be high-speed sync. Let me say that again. <laughs> Not everything has to be high speed sync. Okay. Learn to balance ambient and artificial lighting as well as just smashing it with your lens wide open with high speed sync going. So those are some two, two tips. Anybody else has any lighting tips for this gentleman from miles? No, I would just say the fact that he wants to go out, he wants to do it is, is the, the number one thing. Yeah. And then just uh, you can follow so many different people. I, I'd suggest, you know, absolutely following uh, Robert here. But there are many people that you can follow and just start emulating what they're doing. And then you'll develop your own 
you may find something in lighting or a certain way to light. Believe it or not, all things have not been discovered yet. So 100%. And, and go for it, it man. Go for no, it. no, do it, man. Do it. Absolutely. There's almost, you almost can't get it wrong because it's art. Right. Um, there are certain things you don't want to have bad habits of, but even if you step into quote unquote a bad habit, but you understand it's a bad habit and then you're using it to your will, right? Then then you might be onto something fresh and new and creative that'll help your work stand out. But you should understand the fundamentals, the basics, and then break all the rules and do what like Chuck Stream does, which is free flow. Okay. And that's yeah. fun. Um, I started out. I started out with a uh, Godox. Uh, what is eight uh, sixty? Oh, the eight. Yeah, the V eight sixty. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah uh, uh, C light, and that worked out pretty good. But you know, balancing a uh, ambient light with uh, flash, a little smaller type flash. But yeah, any way to get to started, like uh, Chuck said, if you get started. Get started. I just All right. you, it becomes a money pit. Lighting does. Yeah. Because you can't get enough. Hundred <laughs> percent, man. Hundred percent. Don't even get me started. Real quick, <laughs> let's introduce a couple of. Well, we got Wayne back. Okay, we like that. Okay, that's always good. Um, I could see you look much more refreshed in that space, <laughs> and then um. And then we also have one of our regulars on all of our channels, actually. Okay. <laughs> he is the guest, the myth, and the legend himself. Okay. Cooley's in the house. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome, welcome. Cooley. Hey, Cooley. Hey, you guys were talking about the one thing that you invested in that, that well, at least for me, made me money. I, I picked up a... Uh, eight by 10 dice up printers. So what I would do is tether to the laptop, bring the packages up, print the stuff on location and, you know, cash is king. You know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got some, uh, here we go. Uh, oh, look at that. Uh, agreed. Never think you are better than anyone. Always watch, listen, and learn hundred percent. Thank you, J rod. I appreciate that. And then, yep. uh, maybe you can die. Oh, oh, John asked for the sound effects to be down. You know what? My sound effects may seem loud a lot because guess what? I use them a lot. Um, but they are pretty <laughs> down on this here. And guess what? They're part of my stream. And sometimes, you know, it is what it is. I do apologize ahead of time, but at the same time, I don't. Okay. Um, hey, that's you, man. That's you. That's you, man. That's yep. it, bro. Sorry that's about you. that. Hey, by the way, J Rod, where you been, man? Why don't you come on camera? I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, you could join. I have space. I have uh, anybody too. else. We got space. Go. Click that link. I believe I posted it the second time. Um, if if I haven't, let me know, folks. If you can't find it, here we go again. Click that link right there to join. Okay. Um, oh, he says it's good to see live streams being fluid enough to go where they need to go. Okay. All right. I'm here. I'm reading. I'm. I'm starting to understand a, a common denominator a pattern here. Okay. Uh, J Rod, uh, I would love to be a second shooter for a pro. Too bad everyone is so far away. Where do you guys know where J Rod is? Maryland. Yeah, um, that's a little dry for me. I do know a photographer. Um, it depends what you want to do. I know a good wedding photographer. I know her. She's her, Tiffany. She was uh, a guest on my live stream. And uh, she's doing a lot of family and wedding portraits. And then I do know another one. His name is Luis Rivera. He's a um, he's been in the Navy for like, I think I want to say 14 years or 16 years, long time, but he, he lives out there as well and he shoots portraits and stuff. So J rod, feel free to inbox me on Instagram and I'll share their contacts with you. If you want to connect with folks over in your area, they're both in your area. Okay. I just spoke to her yesterday. I want to do a, um, for, for mother's day, I want to do a women's in photography, women's of photography, um, special live show. So I'll, I'll I, I so she'll be on a show later this month. Anywho, sorry about that. Uh, I like when the stream format is mixed. 
staying on a subject can get a bit boring if it goes on too long. You know what? That's what I think um, might be the case because I notice when we, we get when we get more free flow, more folks are obviously way more engaged. So 100%. Um, at the beginning of each live stream, I like doing the news, talking about some topics real quick, and then talk about a particular product, which I didn't get to talk about this week because everybody jumped on. So that kind of went out the window. Uh, I have two lenses that are already shipped on its way to me that I can't wait to review. Uh, one is the latest Sigma, the Sigma 16 to 28 uh, F 2.8 DGDN lens. It's a compact, wide, and, and nice, nice little uh, street photography landscape lens that I can't wait to do some street photography with. And um, it comes in S, it comes in Sony E mount, and it comes in L mount. So I'm, I apologize, you Nikon shooters, but um they sent it out to me today so i'm I, i'm excited to bring that to the channel you know uh, nikon shooters can be excited about it too because sigma it has brokered a deal with nikon and uh, we get a chance to see all these lenses that could possibly roll over into the z mount so there you yeah go. man that's that's great awesome i can't wait to sh it's nice and compact but it's still art quality and yeah. um yeah so that's what's coming up i want to share that uh, news with you folks earlier, but we just kind of got you know carried away. So there you go. Um, I think I missed that. I'm so sorry. What was the size? What was the the millimeters on that one? Oh, it's the hold on. I'll pull it up for you right now because I have the tab open. It's this lens right here. Okay, let me switch to there, and then this one right here. So it's a nice little Sigma's 16 to 28 millimeter f2.8 DGDN lens. And I just like that it's compact. And since I'm traveling later this year, I'm looking for like what what would be the two lenses I would want to bring. And this caught my attention. And since I shoot Lumix, they have L mount. And um, I wanted to just review it because depending it, on the yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Is that APS-C? No, it's full frame. It comes full frame. Here, look. Full frame. Right there. Right. Nice. You see? And look look at the price. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. What's the price? Eight ninety nine. Okay. Is it oh, okay? Wow. Eight ninety nine. Are you out of your mind? You're right. I mean, that's... that's <laughs> Uh, for a low, low price of eight ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Of eight ninety nine. Um, uh, I don't think any of us got to photography to save money, did we? Uh, you know that, right? That's what, <laughs> Man, that's a quote right there, Derek. That's a quote. That needs you know, to be a shirt. Taste good money by good whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's at a, least at least at least we get how much you spent. Um. Okay, so so it has no stabilization, um, mm -hmm. elements. It weighs right under a pound. Mm -hmm. Okay, so seventy-seven millimeter. Oh, oh, seventy-two millimeters. So this is nice and compact. Yeah, I'm excited to take a look at this. So anyway, that that was the product highlight of today. Okay, let me remove right. that. Sorry yeah, about that. The lens I'm on right now is a sixteen to uh, thirty-five from Sony. Same 72 millimeter mm. thread. And it, it probably about the same, maybe it's a little bit longer from what I'm seeing with the lens with on it. But yeah, that's a it, good lens for video. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I want, uh, that's the one side. I have a 24 millimeter prime art for mm. my L mount, but I don't have something wider, right? Mm. And I wanted something in the 14, 16, even a 20 millimeter. And that, that I think would be nice. And um, good for just good street photography too, you know, 16 to 28, and it'll be fun. So we'll see how that works out. Um, and it's weather sealed, by the way. It's weather sealed too. Hey, um, uh, Robert, can I comment on your your topic today just real quick? 100%. Go for it. So things photographers should invest in. Well, they could invest in – well, they should invest in good glass, number one. Glass over bodies. But they also could invest in beginner photographers 
could invest in a one-on-one -on -one course mm. with a seasoned professional that's done it one-on-one, -on -one, maybe a workshop. Try If you are investing in workshop, try to stick to the ones that are, have not too many people. So it's a little more hands-on and personal with Better the connection. with the teacher or the photographer. But right. those those workshops, the right ones can go a long way for your you know your journey. So you I could like invest it. in that. Should you? I mean, that's up to you. You don't have to, but you know. But definitely lenses, and a one-on-one -on -one with somebody that is cool and, and hands-on like that you know a uh, beginner photographer mm. yeah for beginners i definitely um a good prime lens <laughs> at least a 50 mil 1.8 any brand it's going to be 200 dollars or less a 50 mil 1.8 outside of your kit lens i recommend to be your first lens you buy right out the gate you can never go wrong with a good 50 or 1.8 lens uh, if you have the EF Mountains Canon, it's $110, and you can't beat that with a stick, whether you like to or not. Um, Sony's E-mount, I think it's only $199, you know, and uh, it's just a hell of a lens to have. It will take you very far for portrait photography, and um, until you're ready to get a 1.4 or, or a 1.2, it, it's a great purchase. It'll be the best money you spent. Yeah, you know that's just my thing, and then um, you can also do yeah. uh, you can also get used really good used pro lenses for portraits. Um, if you don't care about speed, mm. you know, and the quietest focus around, you can also get like these older D, uh, lenses. The eighty five one four D from Nikon is a great lens. Copy that. Uh, a few oh. hundred bucks. Uh, Real quick. One eighty. Real quick, folks, uh, we have someone in the building, okay? I love it. Now we're we're going to be up to seven people here. It's going to get a little... Uh, what was that, Chuck? Remember you had the uh, the blocks? Remember that show? Um, the yeah, the Brady, show? Brady Bunch. Or, or, well, that or, the, <laughs> yeah, or Hollywood Squares. Hollywood yeah. Square actually going in. All right, we have J-Rod in the house. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome yeah. to the show. <laughs> There he is. There he is. J Lo pose going on down low, up shooting up high. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. J Lo critique. <laughs> J Rod, nice. did you hear that article I shared earlier about that? Oh, no, no audio. <laughs> oh, they. Oh, we still don't you hear. hear me <laughs> we hear you. Uh, I think that was you, right? Say something, Gerard. No, go to your settings. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, check, check your settings. Yeah, check the settings. But we, well, yeah, that was great at troubleshooting the audio in live streams. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Shout out to him. Because I, I was having video issues. That's why I couldn't come back on so quickly. I had to keep rebooting the camera and, and stuff. So I got that sorted. Have, so it could be something with them. Do they have mic. good internet over there? Yeah, um, the hotel, it's like 20 megabits up and down. Uh, okay. They have 5G. That's like 225 on the phone. But the upload speed when I'm uploading stuff, I don't use the hotel stuff. I use the phone because I go to like 57. With, you know, I would have loved if it was the same 220 something as the uh, download. But yeah. Oh, pretty got decent. it. Okay. Isn't Wayne uh, a guy that you just love to just chill with? Like just have a beer and hang out, you know? Say again? Yeah. <laughs> Wayne, you seem like a guy that is really cool to hang out with, you know, have a beer and play a poker you know, with. Look at this truck. Roy says, I am cool, relaxed, even going person. I don't drink anymore. You know, my, my liver is like partially shot. It's got like a leg in the grave, they're telling me, but um, I have to get away from that. But yeah, my Trini friends are back on the East Coast. When I was in Virginia, you know, we did a lot of parties in the weekend, Friday, Saturday, sometimes on the Sunday, Jack Daniels and all that stuff. Oh, now wow. it's like you need to calm down. So yeah, all the games and all that stuff I play, hang out with. But now do you, you, know, do you smoke chill. the occasional doobie. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, over here. Hey, 
in uh, Chiang Mai because they're still kind of debating whether or not they should legalize it. But stores are everywhere. There's meals. Really? There's, yeah, drinks, all kind of stuff around marijuana. Hmm. Oh, my God. It's medical stuff know. over here. It's not, know. you know, to get high. There's stores you can go in and buy different quality of stuff. You guys should check out my um, video I did on the, the Sony Cine EI as it has some stuff in there with the whole – check out the whole stuff on the Sony in the Chiang Mai area because I tried to, to put the camera stuff with some of the local stuff inside of it, and you'll see just about everywhere I've been walking around, there is like marijuana store, marijuana store, marijuana – oh, restaurant, oh, place you can get drinks. Yeah, all over here. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm Jamaican. I do not partake. Of course. Um, <laughs> uh, Chuck, what do you think about this right here? If you believe that, you'll buy this watch. Well, <laughs> Jim can't um, go too too long. Well, I, you know they really can't. But the the person hosting it, uh, you know, may have a limit. I know ten and a half hours was my limit the other night. <laughs> that uh, I can't even say it. You're That's just warming crazy. up. Clearly, that's why I said earlier, two hours is a warm up. Um, he said <laughs> lenses, new toys. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, oh, okay, Roy, that's blasphemy. 10 hour streams or bust. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, hey, guys, real quick. Um, I lowered this down a bit. Is that how's that sound right there? <laughs> No, Man, no, no. Be louder, go home. Can you, get a, can you get a little bit lower? Yeah, it's a little on the higher side, so. Is it? It's a little high on yeah. you? Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here's a test. I think there you go. It up. That's good? No, I'm just cranking it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Right. Your, your ears aren't bleeding. It's not loud enough. <laughs> hey, that's, that's, rock, rock and roll photographer made like that sound. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, uh, Vahagan, I was actually looking for a rock and roll uh, snippet of some sort I could throw on this, but uh, to be continued, my friend. <laughs> you okay. get, uh, no man's land to record something. Uh oh. Look, J. Rod said this. I just saw. I just saw this. He said, "There's no M and M's in the backstage." <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, oh, we st still can't hear you, James. No. Oh, he's cheating. He's using a fake background. Yeah. <laughs> he's, in, he's in Tahoe somewhere or something. I don't know. It looks nice. Oh, uh, he's in a handsome summer mansion. Mansion. The summer mansion, you know. Go out and come back in, J. Rod, and, and check your audio before you come back in and see if that solves it. See if that works. Yeah, and then, uh, Chrome. I was on says, the VPN and it switched to like, a different location for me, then that works. I usually use Hong Kong, that sometimes it's faster, but I switched to mm. Thailand and it's not working. Greg Corker's in. How you doing, Greg? Good to see you, man. Loving your yeah, comments. He popped, he popped in earlier. Uh, late to the party co uh, comments. We got a lot. I gotta have Derek do this. Uh, do, Vahagen and uh, Chuck, do you one of you moderate for each other or no? Do you have it set up that particular way or no? No, um, yeah. we oh, we okay. just kind of try to watch the comments if you're in one of the other streams to because it's so hard to keep up with it yourself. Under yeah, that's why I was trying to because if if I could, I'd I'd, I'd have asked Derek to help me with that. Uh, the Nikon one eight thirty five mil. It's such a good sharp lens portrait lens for portraits. Yeah, uh, that is nice. I like it. Uh, but the fifty, you can't beat it. It just works for so many situations, and uh, that that's just my opinion. If I was going to recommend the first lens out of your kit lens, aside from your kit lens, a fifty one eight can't go wrong. Um, Roy says the thirty five mil focal length is great for street photography. So I don't like it. Oops. Whoops. <laughs> no, no, no. There we go. <laughs> Wrong button. Kevin, uh, Kevin says, Robert, every time you do the horn, my kids start racing across the living room. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's Come hilarious. I, I want to take a picture of that and put it on Twitter. That's funny. <laughs> uh -oh. So, I really didn't make that curve. 
Oh, he said, don't bring up anything important. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll we'll hold our breath for you, okay? Don't you worry about it. Um, okay, as a native photographer, I find there are a ton of useful information shared as these live streams move from topic to topic. Hmm. Well, that's good. That's awesome. And that's one of my things is what I tried to mention earlier was like, yeah, uh, Chuck has his sh show on AP Studios and then Vahagen has his uh, Vahography. And it's like, I'm just trying to find a happy medium where we're in which we all have our rhythm and we're all providing um, uh, useful content for all of our viewers in the community, you know? And um, I don't want to be a parrot, but at the same time, I do want to be, um, how can I say? I Look, wanna, you're you're not being a parrot if you're, whether somebody else talked about it or not, if you want to talk about it, then you're not being a parrot. You have your own views and your own you know, discussion to have. So okay. that's just the way it is. I mean, what can we talk about that nobody's ever talked about with photography? Anybody got a clue? I don't. <laughs> no, that's a good point. That's a very good point. j Rod, can we hear you? Let oh, no. No. I think his sound card on his laptop is busted, maybe. You think that's what it could be? Maybe if he's going on the settings and choosing the... Uses, uh, are you using an external camera? camera? Or are you just using your... Huh? I thought I heard something just now. No. No, I don't hear anything. Hey, if there's anybody in Indiana, though, I would if they want me to help them with learn stuff, I'm more than willing to help them out with that. So. Oh, there you go. If yeah. anybody's in Indiana. Hey, can I give a shout yeah, out to one Indiana. of my? Can I give a shout out to one of my subscribers? Uh, yeah, please do. Greg Corker, what's up, brother? He's uh, actually he's a member of my channel. So oh, that's what's special up. Special shout out, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, jo that's the the join button, you know, that's cool. Greg Corker, yeah. rock and roll. Uh, let me say something real quick. You know, yes, all please. of us who are on here, we have been helping each other's channels out. Well, how if you just hit his uh, twelve thousand? Was it twelve, right? Or was it six? I forgot. I hit my thousand. I'm not sure mm. what Rob is, but as you're watching the, 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 the stream, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not. If you see other people that are in here that has a channel, help them out by hitting the subscribe button on their channel so they can grow. As you watch That's the content, right. you watch, you see us on the streams, it's a good way for us to interact in the future. And you know, you can always ask questions of each of us when you get on our channels, but then you can get to see us on the live stream. Thank and you. where else can you go and be a participant on the channel? nowhere on youtube but these channels yep absolutely and, and, and one more comment i want to make on just to piggyback on what chuck was saying about do it your way but hey you know what you, you put your own spin on things it's, it's okay if other people are doing that thing you do it your way you'd put your spin on it your way we had this discussion with another youtuber he was yeah. worried about you know we're doing live streams he he was contemplating doing one or not and we're like, hey, you want to do it? It doesn't matter if we're doing it. You want to do it? You do it because you have a different personality. You have a different style. So don't even worry about that. Don't even worry about parroting or whatever you were saying, Robert. Okay. I appreciate that. Um, you know, I don't want to step on folks' toes and whatnot and be rude. Um, Greg comes back. The power of this live stream format is both in the amount of experienced personnel presenting and how the moderators purposely court engagement from all wow that's that's a that deserves a bomb drop um thanks greg and yeah I, i'm noticing that too as well um having their shows vahagans and ap studios rocking and jumping on there and vice versa it's like it's like an honestly it's like a photography network we got going on thank you i want to sure. i'm coining a phrase we are a um uh, uh shoot a community made up of many channels mm. it's still the same community but many channels are now banding together for the sake of just photography talk that's right 100 and bringing I all and bringing all the brands together mm. hey chuck photography yeah. talk and vahography talk sorry yeah. i have to say that <laughs> <laughs> you know that goes into a segue on uh uh, the the topic at hand uh which camera brand should a, a new photographer go for oh 
Wow. And, and that is a tough question to answer. It really is, especially considering almost everybody has a brand that they're that they prefer. And my advice is always this: uh, don't listen to your buddies. Don't listen to anybody. If it, unless they have a camera that you think you like, handle it. But the best uh, advice I can give is: all cameras are good. Pick them up, each one of them, before you buy. Get a chance to actually hold all the different brands. And I think you'll find the one you like just the way it feels in your hand. Sounds crazy, but you can't go wrong that way. If you're, if you're happy with the way it feels in your hand, the aesthetics of the camera, you're more likely to continue to shoot it and learn and, and do what you need to be doing rather than just chasing brands all over the place. Your buddies will steer you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you're you're it's absolutely right. touchy feeling, man. I'm telling you. Um, to, to it, complimentary to what you said, Chuck, I would also add to it, um, that also look at the functions of the camera and does it help you to create the work you like to create or want to create? Uh, cause some brands may have a little something that another is don't, and you might be buying into a camera cause some you dumb YouTuber with a black hat on, uh, not you, but <laughs> me, uh, you know, says, hey, go go get this. And then, um, but the features do not complement your vision. So look but for you the don't, But Robert, you don't know that if you're a new photographer and you're buying your first camera, it's hard to tell. You can, you, I agree with you okay. if you have any experience at all, but by holding it, feeling where the buttons are, that tactile uh -huh. feel, and just the feel of the camera in your hand that will at least give you the confidence to go out and use it. And if, and it'll probably keep you in that brand for a long time to come. What you don't want to do is listen to your buddies, you know, get this and, and you get it. And then you pick up one of those other cameras and go, wow, I like this better. It's not that it functions better. It's just the feel of it. I mean, how many people here actually like the brand they're shooting just because of the feel of the camera? Oh, yeah. I do. Right. Number one, ergonomics for me. Number two, the files. Yeah. Uh, the files need to look right. And uh, I'd say test them all before you make a decision. But yeah. I, uh, I'd go into uh, the, I would be kind of cliche. I would say like whatever camera you have in your hand, if you start with a cell phone uh, and you get used to uh, composition and, and all that, uh, I'd say go for Go for the style of what you want and figure out what camera that you, you know, want after that. After you figure out what you wanted to do, what style that you want to shoot, like your, the, your phone is the best camera that you're going to have. Hey, hey, hey T-Mid is in the house. Hey, T-Mid, click, <laughs> click that link, brother. I want to talk to you. Uh -oh. Yeah, jump on. Uh, let, here, t I, I'm going to say it's timid, but sounds like it so here's the link i am id tim id right tim -id. you know come, join the live and help us understand how to say your damn name okay <laughs> <laughs> help us out okay <laughs> anyway shout out to him i love watching this stuff um i actually inboxed him or i believe i inboxed him before um oh look at this right you know he loves Nikon ergonomics. Absolutely. The Z9 ergonomics was awesome. And to your point, uh, Vahagen, a lot of people were like, it's got to feel good. And that was one thing that kept me that very good. Kept me, but there you that, go. That's what kept me away from Sony was because of how it felt for the first like three years or four years. It just didn't feel right. And uh, so that's. And I can say something there on the Sony. It's not that I have it. You know, the FX uh, 30, when I got it, I had to move it into a different format and how I utilize it. Because mm -hmm. trying to hold it as a regular camera, my hand will hurt. It gets cramped after a long period of time. The same thing with the FX, sorry, with the a 7 5 But strangely enough, when I utilize it now, I can have that screen that flips out and I'm holding it a different way. And it, you know, it's not as bad. If I'm shooting all day long with the a 7 5 it will definitely have some issues. And my camera's having issues. I'm trying to switch things around to get a, uh, different things. So that's why I'm not on right now. But both of them works. Oh, here we go. Both of them works very well. 
I just moved it to the A seven R five because I wanted to be. I don't have to keep looking on the computer and looking up there. Um, it works very well. It, the, the quality of the pictures, the stability for what I need for video. That's the real reason why I got it, and it's doing all those things for me. So there are some quirks, yes, that I have to work through, and it's the one of the reasons why I want to get back into Nikon because, as everyone saying, the ergonomics is definitely better. It's a small camera. It's nice. It's always lighter, but you know, the cramping in the hand after a period of time kind of gets annoying. So I, I hear everybody else, and you, you, you shot also, Robert. So you, you know the same thing I'm talking about. Quality yeah. is good, tech is good, ergonomics, yeah. Yeah, that's that's. But for uh, for me, sometimes my shoots are super long. I got it has to feel good in the hand. And that was one thing I mentioned in my uh, 85 f 1.2 lens review was how well it felt balanced and it didn't feel heavy, even though it was a heavy setup with the Z9. Um, yeah, yeah. So it does matter to me. And I, I don't have big hands. I have see, a big see, mouth. I, but I don't want to get technical about picking it up and holding it. I mean, literally just picking up and holding it. Any camera is going to get heavy over a long day of shooting, mm -hmm. you know, or, or whatever. Uh, but just holding it, just the fact of holding it, it you, you immediately uh, think I like the feel or I don't. And it can be even in the texture of the grip on the camera because people talk about that as well. But just pick it up and hold it. If it feels good, pick the other one up. Which one feels best? You can't go wrong. Can't Choose go. the one that feels best to you. There you go. Okay. I might and that was one of the reasons why I didn't go A7R4 when I was getting ready to travel and I sold off all my gear. I had a Z6. I decided to stick with the Z6 II because it was better grip. It felt better in my hand and the screen was better. Even though all the tech was in there, I didn't realize what I would really need in video because I was still in the photography mindset of what I've been shooting for years with Nikon. So I'm hoping that this new camera, and I wish it would jump back into the Z8, but I'm hoping that it does come up with some stuff that will, you know, make Nikon get back up in the top for video specs other than the Z9. There you go, Davy boy. This is what it's all about right here. If they get engaged, man, now you're going to make coffee. Speaking yeah. of which, I'm going to have to go get there you coffee. Go. And you know, I, I was thinking the same thing. I have my uh, protein <laughs> shake, but uh, but the coffee. Uh, you know, I think I may stick with the five o'clock because look, even though we're just touching two hours, uh, wait, a wait a minute. Yeah, yeah we're, we're hitting two hours. two hours. Wait, I'm hearing an echo. Somebody have a um, who's something open? open? I don't know. Test. Not Does me. Have a, oh, J Rod. J -Rod. Hello. We, we can hear you, but I think now we have an echo. All right. <laughs> Poor right Do you I'm have? An I, and I'm an IT guy. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> you know what? I think I know what the solution is to that. Turn off Turn the, off YouTube, the YouTube, YouTube tab. The oh audio. yeah. Pause that. If you go to X, the uh, echo uh, cancellation. Oh uh, yeah. Yep. yep. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And bye. There you go. No. no, it's still there. What I used uh, to do is I, I uh, mute the YouTube tab and just only do the stream. Try, try it now, J Rod. Check, check one, two. Yes, yeah. Oh, we've, we've been chatting a lot on, in my uh, video comments, so it's good to meet you in person. I can hear you. You can, you can that's come in. <laughs> uh, East, East Coast rules. Whoa, look at this. Yeah. RB Jake is in the house. Oh, great. Yeah. So checking in from the 313 Detroit. Well, brother, if you're in Detroit, you know you need a PPA insurance. So go ahead and pick that up and uh, keep yourself safe out there. No. Uh, and an armored personnel carrier. Uh, uh, RBJ has a, a cool Instagram. So, folks, if you can check him out on uh, Instagram, he's, he's out there working, putting in the work. And uh, I'm, I'm glad to see him jump on. I believe he jumps on on Chucks, too. So show every once in a while. Yep. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, coffee, 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 100%. Absolutely. Yes. Hey, uh, uh, what's up, yes, Robert? Sir. Yeah. Hey, I got to take a phone call right now. Uh, but okay. I'm going to sign off real quick, but I'll be in the chat. Copy that. Thank you, All sir. Right. Appreciate right. you. Hey, thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Right, if later, if later. I finish early, I'll come back on. Okay. Cool, baby. Thank cool, you, man. Rock and roll. Yeah. Rock Somebody and roll, roll baby. Here. Rock and roll. This is right, uh, so for him on the way out. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
So a little macho man Randy Savage never hurts. Um, he says Nikon has <laughs> colors, man. My all-time favorite camera was the D850, the best DSLR of all camera brands. <laughs> it, um, never regretted not spending one penny on it. And you know what, Chuck? When you were talking about battery life earlier. I mm -hmm. never had an issue. I just brought three batteries. I've never had an issue in weddings. Um, right. I just don't know what the whole. So the know, only thing I could guess is, is people. This must be people that that are worried about the SEPA rating on the Z8. They're they're people that have never shot a Nikon camera before with a an EL15 in it. Because yeah. I mean, come on. So anyway, yeah. Yeah. A lot of people are all about the specs. They just read the spec sheet and they go by that as opposed to actually use the camera. Because we've mm -hmm. seen the numbers, and I know I've gotten way more shot than that. Absolutely. 100%. And the Z9, I have two batteries, and I've never gone through one mm -hmm. on anything. Yeah. So yeah. it's I, I, sh shut up, <laughs> you know? Um, <laughs> those, processors um, are, uh, those processors are nice. Those uh, Even have a Fuji... Uh, Sometimes I have to switch up the battery at one time or another. The processors and the Nikon, they they run pretty good efficiently. Yeah, and well, I think that's, that's what I keep that. telling people is, you know, you don't know what kind of secret sauce they're going to come up with next. It may yeah. sound hokey, but uh, obviously they're finding ways to, uh, you know, uh, extend battery life. I mean, look at the, the mirrorless cameras. Uh, you would have expected them to have half the battery life of the DSLR, but they don't. So, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of tech out there that goes unseen that nobody sees. And get ready, man. Tech is coming to all the brands. And mm. I wouldn't be surprised if here soon, within the next couple of years, we don't have any shutter shutters anymore in cameras. I think that's, well, that's the that's going away. It's yeah. Nikon, Nikon is uh, a test could attest to that. Sure. Yeah. Well, you know what? And, and smart on other brands that sit back, let Nikon be the guinea pig. <laughs> well, Maybe. many people like to say that Sony is the one who's making a sense. And I keep reminding folks in my chat and online, it's Sony Semiconductor, not Sony in the imaging side. Nikon mm. spec what they want. And if yeah, Sony was going to do this, because this is what they do, they make the semiconductors, why wouldn't they first the market with that kind of stuff? You know, look, I don't want to bash a brand or anything like that, and I'm not going to here. But when people say that, I say, well, how is it Nikon gets so much more out of that uh, sensor than Sony did? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and, and I, I, that's only in retaliation to that stupid comment about, you know, it, well, they're, put, you know, everybody thinks, not everybody, so many people, they're uneducated. That's what it is. They mm -hmm. think that Nikon just goes, hey, give me that uh, same sensor that you've got in your X camera. And, uh, you know, that's the one I want to use. Well, no, that's not how it works, but I'm not going to go into it. And you, I, I know you, yeah. you, you explained it too, Wayne, but anyway. Yeah. All right, I'll shut up. I'm a 60 megapixel sensor. I don't want it. Uh, there's one thing Sorry. I do want to mention is that uh, let's not forget, let's give them the uh, Nikon their flowers. They came out with an 8K, 8K camera, zero overheating issues right out the gate. So, hello. So, um, Canon didn't do it. They had to, you know, catch up, but caught tons of bad news about it. So, uh, if, but the, I think they wanted to hurry up and get that, get it on the line, get it out there. But Nikon did that. And well, everybody's going to say it's because of the larger body, but they're about to get tested because if the Z8 isn't that large body, which it's not going to be, and it has 8K, then uh, that's going to be proof uh, as to whether they can do it in a smaller body. I think they yeah. will. They found I some secrets. Tico um, Raw. Because yeah. the Z, that Lumix S5 Mark II, I'm trying to find the other one so I can show you real quick, but on the top where the uh viewfinder is right mm -hmm. there's vents on both sides so that it can do unlimited 422 <laughs> 60 frames a second 4k and um unlimited recorded so therefore that's where it's venting from so well i'm i saw it has so are there fans in there there yeah yeah, it, yeah in the lumix so i'm yeah. what i'm saying is the technology is available to make this happen and to keep it in a compact form yeah. Does that make sense what I'm saying? 
Yeah, yeah. but do it without a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying well, that is you know, it. <laughs> who knows what kind of secret sauce Nikon has? You know that um, 3D printing company that they get. I keep thinking maybe they'll utilize that to build the bodies of the camera. I mean, they can build stuff for aerospace. Why couldn't they make something for their own stuff? Touché. Touché. You know, so there's a lot of things that people don't realize because Imagine. when they hear Nikon, I think imaging. But Nikon is is a global company in eyeglasses and uh, medical stuff in manufacturing they're like in so many different things the mm. nikon umbrella consists of a whole lot of other companies other than just the photo side some people are like oh they don't have enough money i'm like that's only one arm and mm. nikon is not going to put something out that's not going to perform well canon and sony have video they've come from video background the stuff that they're making they don't want to basically encroach on that and have issues so they kind of slowly roll things out Nikon don't have that kind of stuff to hold them back. They can go full force in what they're doing. I mean, with Canon, yeah. like, hey, here's 8K and R5. Oh, but you can only like 30 minutes. It's going to you. Hey, hey, somebody said something today, and this is completely off the subject here that you're mm -hmm. talking about, Wayne, but talking about, you know, uh, Nikon has the best glass. Nikon has the whatever. You know what? I can't say that. Mm -hmm. I'm a Nikon shooter, but I can't say that. You know why? Because I haven't shot all the other brands. I haven't yeah, shot all the other glass. I haven't experimented with, it. nor do I want to, honestly. I'm happy where I'm at. It's not because it's better. It's better for me. I can't say it's the best, though. And I refrain from getting in those discussions where, well, you know, Canon glass is the best or Sony glass is the best. You're not going to hear me say, no, Nikon's glass is the best. I can't say that. You know, and, yeah, and I yeah. I dare say that people that make that statement haven't shot Nikon or Canon or Sony if they're in another brand. So, you know, again, if we can get beyond all that, man, we can have a great time in, in a community of photographers, mm. not branders. Mm. I'm sorry. No, Brand no. It's all right. This is what it's yeah, about. I started out with uh, Nikon uh, when I went digital and. I stayed with Nikon all the way up to the D810, and the D810 was an amazing camera. Yeah. But, yeah. That, you know, yeah. And, and again, I can't say, you know, the D850 is the greatest camera ever. I can't say <clears> that. <throat> I didn't shoot all the other ones. I loved my D850, but, you know, so, uh, but, but we get hung up on stuff like that. And also on the box, we were just talking about specs. You know, 61 megapixel sensor gets an upvote over a 45 megapixel sensor. Why is that? Mm. Why is that? Is it, I mean, does it should mm. then everybody go to a 61 megapixel sensor? No, just because the number's higher, it gets an upvote. You know, it beats anything right. 45 megapixels. So that kind of okay. stuff, I, I wish we could get away from it. I really do. Yep. More megapixels doesn't mean more, it's better. Well, yeah. higher, yeah. higher. Yeah. Higher no, ISO no, no, no. rating, you know, if, if, yeah. if we go by that, if we go by numbers, then the D5 was the greatest camera ever. Why? Because it had a million two ISO native. Yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous that we get into this, you know, was it the greatest camera ever? No, but, you know, hey, by specs, got to have it, right? But yeah, unfortunately, that's, that's what marketing is. is. People will look at the side of the box rather than care about what's inside of it. That's true. That's why they lead with these little, uh, how can I say, like crumbs, if you will, that will, how can I say, um, easily satisfy the masses. You know, it's 20 yeah. frames a second. Oh, my God. I need that for some odd reason. I never knew, <laughs> you know, and, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, so absolutely. Uh, RBJ, he's been PPA for five years. Absolutely. I've, I look back. I, I think mine was 2016 when I joined. Um, agreed. Uh, J Rod, oh, there you are, J Rod saying global shutter for all. Uh, Roy says full frame global shutters are not going to be cheap. Well, digital wasn't cheap either, but the more technology keeps going, man. There you go, absolutely deal with it. Um, save up. <laughs> I know that's for sure. That's the one thing with all these price guests. I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe we're talking the price range. It's only going higher, you know, yeah. uh, to get the prosumer bodies. Uh, Nikon's move to being up first with shutterless cameras is a bold move, a small but significant industry leading thing. That was pretty bold and it worked out. Who would have thought, right? All yep. the naysayers. 
Um, I've never noticed a performance difference, right, gentlemen? I've ne mm -hmm. I've been worth every penny. This well, season. it's just like the EVF. A lot of people didn't want the EVF, and when the first uh, they they looked at Sony, Sony was the, the first to begin that. Of course, Nikon and Canon hadn't really started into it, and uh, of course, Sony has progressed. Uh, it would have taken Nikon or Canon the same amount of time probably to progress as Sony has. But the point is, is nobody wanted an EVF. It was I, an OVF or nothing. While I love the OVF. I'll tell you, the Z9, and I'm not saying this to brag about the Z9, but the OV, uh, EVF in it is fantastic. So here we go again with 3 million dots or 9 million dots. Which one actually gives you a better picture as you're looking through the EVF? And I'll tell you. I that, never understood. Yeah, that, that uh, the, the uh, Z9 EVF is fantastic. It reminds me of a uh, OVF. Uh, Except for, I will grant, at night, if you're shooting in very low light, you can see the pixelation and everything else. But that's okay because with an OVF, I couldn't see anything. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's you know? a good upside. I'm happy to use any camera that does the job. Absolutely. That's yep. the point. There you go. At the end of the day. He says, I've shot all four plus Leica. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want a new iPhone. Oh, the iPhone is. Hey, you know what? I went on a hike and I and I prepared for it. I was like, oh, bring this, bring that, that. and I shot everything with the iPhone. The uh, iPhone. Oh my goodness! And <laughs> it's just convenient. You can't knock it. it it's yeah. good for what it does. Oh no! And, I, I um, won't knock it because the majority of my videos, when I first started traveling, and I started having issues with the um, Z6 and focusing, were actually done with the iPhone. The photos mm -hmm. are definitely most of the photos will be from the Z6 too, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the iPhone was doing also the video when I'm outside. Well, when I'm inside sitting like this, it's yes. the that takes to basically on a, on a tripod. Yeah, but you I know, can't even, I can't even vouch for the iPhone because I still use the iPhone yep. eight. Oh, <laughs> oh. So, so my my two hundred dollar Fuji can do something my six thousand dollar Nikon Z nine will never be able to do. <laughs> Tell me, what's that? What's it has a print button. Oh, <laughs> and I love it. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. I, I got a sound effect. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, what okay. Fuji is that? Huh? The, the, the mini, the Instax Mini Evo. Yeah. Uh, the Instax. Oh, oh the Instax. Guys, you know, yeah, I like yeah. I, I own the Z9, but that little Fuji Instax goes with me most of the time because it's a digital camera. Plus, it can print. Yeah, so you you can That's very fun. You can connect your phone to it. You can transfer things to it. Move pictures all over the place and print anytime you want. So yeah. when you're out in the field, hey, here's a hard copy. <laughs> yeah, and it's kind of a, it's kind of cool, nostalgic, right? Being it's able to really do cool. That is cool. Uh, Vahagen comes back like a Zeiss and Nikon make the best lenses. You know, uh, um. I haven't Zeiss shot with Zeiss, kind of to Chuck's point. Like, if I haven't shot with it, I can't really speak on it. But one thing I've been noticing is that Sigma has been coming out with some mag ma magnificent, sharp, affordable lenses for F1.4. And you can't, can't beat the price point. You cannot beat these price points. And um, so shout out to, to Sigma. Uh, I wish I could have worn Leica and Zeiss lenses, but it's definitely... I'd need a lot more super chats, folk. Come on. <laughs> Remember, only, only the people that care really even know or see the difference. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, a great it's, point again, a great tough. point again, because too many people shoot for photographers and not clients or themselves. Mm -hmm. the, that's a fact. Everybody's worried because photographers are going to go pixel <laughs> peep and call out everything yep. they can find that's a negative. And, and 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 most of the people that will look at the image will say, "Man, that's great. Yep. That's beautiful, great. or whatever." Mm -hmm. So I I don't shoot for photographers. I don't care what photographers think. You either like it or you don't. Yep. Leave it at that. Don't pixel yep. peep. Don't whatever. <clears throat> Bottom line is that's what we all should be doing again. Man, I'm trying to change the world. <laughs> <laughs> we got a uh, like a glass is fantastic, but too expensive. Well, for me now as well, I share that sentiment. Uh, Maz, I believe, already landed. Didn't he land when he said hi earlier, Chuck? Didn't he? 
Uh, I think he, no, uh, he was. Uh, I think he was waiting on a flight. Uh, everything's uh, delayed. He did mention that he's not going to be able to fly into OC. He's going to have to fly into uh, uh, LGA or L or LA, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. LGA is LaGuardia. So yeah. oh yeah, yeah, that's right, LaGuardia or LAX. Is he go? I thought he's going to LAX. Fly. There you go. But he uh, said man. he's going to. He said he's going to turn it into a positive. He's going to get a hotel room rather than drive back tonight, and his girlfriend's going to meet him there. So he gets a mini vacation. Yep. There so you guys, go. I need to make it short. My. Uh, Wife and daughter are almost home, and some of us have to get up and work in the morning. What? All right. Good to see you guys. It's awesome. Yeah, Jay. Thanks know. a lot for 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 jumping on in and being patient, figuring out the tech so you could you could join the convo. You're more than welcome yeah. to jump on next week, and yep. and I'm sure Chuck would love to see you too. And, and if you guys yeah. want to stay married, don't watch your time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give that a win. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. You got okay, guys. Good night. We'll see. All right, you sir. Good there, right. James. Good, good to night. see you, brother. Bye. Um, Four there? seats available. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we have. We have. Who was that? Uh. Oh yeah, we have available. You know, we're paying a premium here for folks to be able to jump on. Man, and, uh, come on! Don't 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 hang this on Robert. He's paying for all these seats, and they're going to come waste. On, people, come on! What are we doing here? <laughs> we got twenty people uh, watching. So should we have to get some more folks up in here? Yeah. yeah. Uh, do I need to drop a, a link again for folks? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe put another link in there. All right. Let me put another link. And so we can get Roy in. Who else is hey, in there? Hey, hey, Robert, we're gonna plug this. You're going on. You're going on again next Thursday at five p.m. Correct? Five p.m. Pacific. Yes, and don't leave me. Don't leave me hanging, man. Because oh, here, here, here's I'm the thing. Chuck, Chuck. I'm going to try to get a bunch of folks to come over here. Okay, yeah. cop, okay. Check this out. I, I that day for Lumix, we have to work a camera store event. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's the only tricky part. I may have to do six o'clock. Uh, okay. All right. So. Uh, uh, okay. All right. Are you, you you know you're going to come in. You're not going to be too tired. You know you're going to at least go by six, or we'll do it yeah, the I'll, next I'll week. Do six o'clock. I'll do six o'clock because I want to talk about and recap. Of course, you already know May 10th is big, so I have to go online uh, Thursday for us to talk about yeah. it. And, I, and but um, it may be six o'clock. That's the only okay, thing. Okay, no problem because I'm going to be on all day Wednesday, and you know that isn't going to end this discussion. I'm not live on Thursday, and people are going to want to continue to go down that road of talking about it. So I'll make sure that uh, you know I let everybody know. Hey, get over here. Yeah, fill the absolutely. Seats. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll put out the um, what do you call it? That thumbnail. I should yeah. do that ASAP. Probably by Saturday, I'll have it up just so that folks will know there. And if you need to point, they'll see that it's already on my um, YouTube. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, because yep. I already know that'll be the talk of the town. And um, we all have something to say. Nobody's going to be tired of hearing about it by Thursday. That's for certain. Matter of fact, the conversation will just really start rocking probably after sleeping on it Wednesday night. So. Well, Thursday, I may while I'm at the camera store, I may have to put a deposit. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get the luxury of at least seeing it before you do that, don't you? Well, they, I don't have that kind of plug or anything. No, I, I don't mean physically, but seeing the announcement and what it is and everything. Yeah, well, I'll get the announcement. I think I'll get it when everybody else does, just because of MPS or whatever. But the... Um, well, that's but, what I mean. Thursday, okay. you will be in the camera store. Wednesday, we get the announcement. At least you get to see it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And then they're like, oh, you're here to work. Yes, I am. And here's $100. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Man. It's a real good funny joke when they walk in. They're like, you know, I. it's funny because um, – of course, I update about Lumix and everything, but I talk about other stuff too. You know. Anyway, I, I love photography. Who? Yeah. Oh, I think we have someone. We have Roy trying to join us, but his webcam yeah. is not working yet. All so right. Once he's good, then we'll we'll he can join us. Uh, give me a few. Cool, Malcolm. Yeah, definitely. We got you. Okay. I'm getting hopped up on some stuff over here, so we're going to be good to go for a while. 
Uh, how do y'all yeah. feel about how do y'all feel about uh, internal uh, memory on cameras? Good question. You know, uh, let me say this: if it's implemented correctly, it can be done well. Johnny, she's wife Diana. She has the um, Hasselblad. That's that what has I was built thinking. inside of it. Mm -hmm. And when we were in Hong Kong using this, hers locked up a couple times when we were out there in the hot sun. Now I looked up the specs on it because I used to work in tech in IT. And they're using the little small, um, the small SSDs that we have, almost like the Wi-Fi cards in your laptop. Mm -hmm. And with no fan, and basically where it is, I think she always shoots with the screen on. And I was telling her, you know, pull the screen off of it because you have to get some air behind it. It's a similar thing with processors inside um, these cameras now. The first my Z ever, sorry, my Z6 ever um, overheated was when. I was recording something and I had the screen on the camera because I had it overhead and the ninja on the side so I could see what was going on until it locked up. When I took it off, it went longer recording because it had air to go behind it. So a lot of these smaller cameras that we've had before, this newer generation that are coming out with cameras built into them, while they record 4K, they do get hot. So you're talking about another thing to add to the camera that could generate heat. And for those people saying, I don't want video on my camera, I don't want a fan on my camera, manufacturer looking at ways to simplify things for us. You'll still have a port, because the camera have a port and you can put the mem memory card in, but you can have the built-in stuff, which basically simplifies things for them. It's like, you can keep everything in there. The tech is great, the tech is good. It's not something that's gonna break and like, oh my God, you know, I have to open my camera and take this out. That's not the kind of memory that they put inside of this stuff. So, yes, you can start off with not going out and spending a couple hundred dollars to buy a memory card because it's already inside it. The Hasselblad is one terabyte. Someone else, I think it's the M11 monochrome. Theirs is like 256 gigabytes that's inside yeah. of it. Mm -hmm. So it's coming. People have saying we don't want it, but more and more cameras are putting it in there. And, you know, I'll say this. If the ZA come out with memory inside of it, I'd be freaking mind blown at this point because... <laughs> You know, everybody else is doing it. Nikon is going to like, let us just take this route. We can record raw internally. We can put it in the memory card internally, and we can cool it out with whatever they're doing. Yeah. Uh, everyone is looking chair now. Uh, real quick, I want to say thank you for everyone hitting the 25 watcher count. So thank you, everybody, for that. <laughs> and... Um, Look at that. Yes. Z8 festivities day before me, day off for Chuck and a day after for Robert. I mean, it's going to be a bonanza. Absolutely. Um, Chuck, you know, maybe we should come up with like a little something for our community, a name of some sort of because uh, it's we're all working symbiotically to support each other, you know, uh, a network of some sort. Um, thank, thank you, Vahography. Appreciate that. Um, what happened if went from 19 to 18? I think we should have some more uh, people give some thumbs yeah. up here. Yeah, let's get some more likes, please. That lets the algorithm know that what we, what we have going on is what people want, and it put, helps to push it out some more. So all you got to do, it's a special. I'm running a special only for today. It's free 99 oh. to press that like, that subscribe, and, and, and share, okay? That's all you got to yeah. do. I'll tell you, folks, if you're in here and you're enjoying it and you're enjoying the show and what's going on and everything, then uh, definitely drop that like, because that's what Robert's looking at to see. Is this being, you know, uh, appreciated or should I change everything or whatever? I mean, you know, let him know that this is what you want by dropping a like. John Ishi's in here. I know John will take a chair because Wayne's in here. So, <laughs> John. John, you need to get in here as well. Shame on you. Get on in here. Okay. Uh, the link, if just scroll up. Oh, yeah, the scroll, it's just right there. Just scroll up. The link is there. Anybody could join. This is what it's about every Thursday, Thursday evening. Let's talk photography. And guess what we'll be John talking about? With I'm sorry. John is a man with toys. I get to play around with his, with his toys when I over now. Malaysia and see his oh, wife stuff in Hong Kong. What toys <laughs> do you like playing with? What does he have you like? I love the Z9, really and truly. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite on the like I said. I still like something with a grip. And I also like the Hasselblad, the X2D. That was like a camera that I actually thought about maybe that I would bought, you know, like a 
I want this as my, you know, street camera. But again, the lens are freaking expensive and huge and that stuff. And the images are great. Though. I can't complain about that. The images are really great from that camera. I like the right. format. Uh, Manila Martin comes in. Thank you for checking in from uh, Manila. Uh, the number one reason I was staring at the Lumix S5 II is the fan. Yeah, the built-in fan. Uh, they hit it out of park with the um, <clears throat> with having that built-in fan with the S1H, the first one. Of course, mm -hmm. everybody had something to say about it because it just added a little bit more to the body size. But for those who really understood, they were onto something at that time, and they made it even smaller this time and not increasing the uh, flip screen, the back screen, because that's what they did like last time, and they were still able to maintain the same performance. So, yes. So, hopefully, Martin, I think he checked out the video I posted about the S5 II. So, um, what is that? You have the camera with you to show? Are you well, using it to record? Uh, I'm using it now to stream, but I have another one. You know, all right, guys, give me a hot second. You guys just talk your stuff. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. We, we want right. to see the stuff. Man. All right. <laughs> we won't burn the house down. We'll take it over. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's the thing. You're talking about fans. Look, I'm not opposed to a fan, but if you're a stills photographer, the last thing you want is a fan for whatever reason. It may it may not even be founded, your reason, but you don't want a fan. So uh, if, if a camera has a fan in it, it's definitely going to cater more to the video people. And I think that right now camera makers would like to have one camera that does it all without alienate, alienating one side or the other so again you know here you go here comes a big test the z8 will definitely show us what can be done and can we do it without a fan or does it have a fan so it's going to be interesting to see wednesday you know it really is or is so there to, to that or is there two cameras i don't think there is wayne but i don't think knows? personally yeah. i don't think well i don't think my time is going to pass about the opportunity to be like the other guys i think yeah. they're going to do the same thing it would make yep. a lot of sense for okay. them. Can I do something for video right? and you keep your photo guys happy? It's still going to have video because it's going to be a hybrid camera, but they get the no fan version streaming. and the version that doesn't require them to do a lot of video stuff. And then the other folks can get one with either fan or really good video stuff. So, so the only reason I would oppose that is then is that going to delay the next camera by oh. having two bodies in production now? So I don't know. I don't know. All right. Sorry. We no worries. To, uh, my my twin brother was knocking on the door, and I had to look like a crazy person. So as you can yeah. see, talking about fans, uh, Manila. What's yeah, the I big screen, uh, um, Robert? I'm yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So for the center yeah. area, so we can see it. All right. Cool. There All right. Go. So you can see right here. Yep. Um, the fan. Let me get to it. I'm sorry. The way I'm like. Okay, is actually right above. It's right in here. Okay. okay, you see it right there. That little yeah, right there it's on both sides. The intake, right? Yeah, it's there right it under is. the sensor mark. Yeah. So you see, it's not adding bulk up here, and with the S5H, it came out. It was built back here, yeah. right? So it added more girth. So they kept the same size. Okay, hold on. There we go. It kept the yep. same size and has added it here. And that's and now that it can shoot 4K, 422, 10 bit at 60 frames a second, unlimited, and does 6K up to 30 frames a second, zero overheating. But that, that 6K like is 30 a, minutes. And it, it looks like it's exhaust above the here. lens, right? I'm sorry? It exhaust above the lens. The exhaust for the, for the venting. Uh, yeah. Uh, hold on. You see it? There you go. Oh, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Oh, my God. I have two dust particles on my sensor. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> naughty me. Um, Thank you, Chiel. Get to it right away. Uh, but but nonetheless, that's that's what's on this. But it keeps it the same form factor. Here's the GH6. Look at the form factor. They were able to keep. Here we go. Here we go. Sorry, guys. I'm, like, getting dizzy here trying to. All right. So you can All keep right. the same size roughly. But have um, the fan built in, and it's not adding to the girth. So what I, my point was that the technology is there, and if yeah. Nikon, you know, was checking that out, that would be a good come up for them. Remember the, uh, you know how the red frame 
of your when you press record, there's a red yeah. frame around it. Yeah, Lumix yeah. was the first camera to have it. It was a G G100, a small little camera. Mm -hmm. And then after that, Sony adopted it. And now they have it and on their consumer brands, uh, consumer yeah. line, right? So what I'm mm -hmm. saying is um, hopefully they noticed what they did with their fan for this. They can easily do it for the Z8 and yeah. maintain high in performance and 100% um, reliability. So there you go. All right. So sorry about that. And uh, yes, we need more ladies. I am going to introduce more ladies onto the panel. Um, again, I'm going to have a special with some female photographers I want to invite Cool and, uh, for Mother's Day, you know, women in photography. Let's do that. Uh, they yeah. are shooting and I do notice them. I see them on Instagram more than anything. And um, I went on her live stream. Her name's Tiffany Lime Tree Photo out there in uh, Maryland around there. And um, I joined her live stream the uh, two days ago just to, you know, you got to support folks. The Hoggins next two uh, uh, live streams, Vahography Talk, is uh, includes women, both of them, significant oh, sure. women in photography. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, can't just be a bunch of testosterone here. Tiffany Lime Tree. Yeah, Lime Tree Photo, and her name's Tiffany. She's great, and she's out there killing it, working hard, and go. She goes a lot on her Instagram. And uh, she's really cool. If you see her, just say, hey, Robert sent you, you know. Uh, but she's really cool. Um, she's got work work ethic for sure, um, which I appreciate. I respect that. Uh, Hank, right before we, we uh, let our next guest onto the panel, uh, Hank says, how will we react if all specs pushed out my NR is true? Enough excitement for you? Am I, am I reading that right? How will I we can react if? Pushed out by oh. Nike and Rumors. Oh, if, if, they, yeah, if all my, the Nike and Rumors is true, yeah. I would be excited, <laughs> but just I not will, some of the prices I, that they drew out. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, as I, I explained in my, my video, the forty-five ninety-nine basically is not a direct correlation for U.S. prices. I think people kept forgetting about that side of it. So when you look at, you know, what the, like the A7 R5 that I have is priced at here, and over in Europe, it's like 4500 and this one is uh, 38 over here. Nikon, I think, would want to undercut everybody or at least stay in that same level, the 38 price point, R5, yep. A7, R5. So yep. I think that's what's going to end up. Yep. Or Vish 2 for the $34.99. Yep. Uh, um, I actually... So you're, your to the you're coming to Hong Kong, and we're going to have lunch. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> Uh, before we get further, let's let's welcome our next guest on the panel. Okay, all right. Uh, oh, look at that. He sounds like one of the most expensive retailers out there, but it's not if you understand how to spell his last name. Okay. But we have Killer Kevin in the house. <laughs> all right. What's going Mr. on, Kevin? Kevin? What's good, everybody? Oh, how you doing, good, man? Buddy? I'm doing well. Just put the kids to bed and it's uh playtime. Now here you go. We got Canon in the house. We've got uh uh Panasonic in the house, Nikon in the house, uh Fuji Sony. in the house. I mean and Sony, Everything. yeah. Yeah, and Sony. How much how great is this as a community? It yeah, really is. And we're not it's throwing cool anything at each other, man. This is it. This is this is Nirvana for photography. This hey Wayne, I, yes, I want to give a uh, I want to uh, just congratulate you on the 1,000 mark. You're doing some uh, some good things over there on your channel. Thank you, sir. Good yeah, boy. absolutely. And uh, how's everybody yeah. doing? Good. See, I see you get your cups. Can you prepare for the long thermos? <laughs> What's up? I said, "There's a dedicated YouTuber, man. He brings a thermos." <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I just so now, fill it up and. Uh, one time, I don't have to keep going back and forth to the kitchen for coffee. <laughs> All right. With hey, that cool. said, I'll be right back. Cooley, I like that shirt. Let's show that off real quick. <laughs> there we go. It's a That's weird shirt. May the fourth be with you, brother. Uh, John, <laughs> John comes in and says, e, uh, I'm at a coffee shop. Don't want to bother any folks. Oh, okay. Well, you're always welcome to jump in, so don't worry about it. You know, 
a matter of fact, I need to top off my coffee right now. Um, so what's up, Vahagen? Sorry, I missed you, man. Yeah, he was on earlier. Yeah, he he had a phone call. So. Uh huh. Oh, did yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. He's just he's, he'll pop in the chat from time to time. Yeah, oh, he's okay. sorry. Yeah. Are you? Oh, Hank asks, are you a buyer for forty five hundred dollars for the Z eight? <sighs> nope. I mean, at that uh, point, I might as well just buy the Z nine. But that's just that's me though. Yeah. I I think that's way too close. Once you add the grip, extra battery, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's just, yeah, that's just not going to work. I was praying for 35. Uh, Roy says closer to 35, you know. And my max was, I mean, 35 I'd be happy to. If I have to do 38 or 4, I wouldn't be happy about it. I don't know if I would rush as fast to go get it, though, to be honest. Right. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Yeah. There's some other cameras I'm actually looking at right now that's in really good heat. Uh, the Lumix, uh, there is the Lumix S5 2X is something yeah. I was really looking at. And and if Nikon does the super high price, I may just double down on on um on that the Lumix. Awesome. Yeah, because I do filmmaking and stuff, and to do internal ProRes and all that stuff, that's pretty cool. And for yeah. it to be so small. It could be a travel for camera and a videographer. Yeah, uh, it's a win. That's what so, I'm hoping for the, the Z8. I mean, they got the 8.3K RAW all the way up the top, which you can get ProRes all the way up as well. So why the heck not? Most of us are probably not going to shoot that, but I look at it as a camera that you can keep long term. I started doing this more and getting better at it. I don't have uh -huh. to worry about something else. It can do my photography stuff, but it can do the video stuff. But at the same time, in my mind, I'm thinking I probably will still hold on to the FX30. Because that's the audio handle. If Nikon doesn't come with some kind of audio solution for that one, then I just probably keep this one because it's you know it's a built-in. I have the microphone for it, and I have the, the vlogging microphone as well. So uh, both of them works if I want to take it out and use. Yeah, having a good hybrid right now just to me seems logical in our landscape, and uh, that's half of the that's half the cost. Think about it. Half of the new features, it's it's all video based, and yeah. um, otherwise, looking at a new camera, what you need forty frames a second now. Like, how about, it gets to a point where it's still photography, you're just playing yourself, um, mm. and you want to throw money at the company. Uh, so that's why I like looking at the video specs. And again, if that's that's why I'm looking at the S5 two X, it's pretty remarkable. And, um, what, are the, what are the screens on those? Is it three point two also, or like three inches like Sony? Well, old uh, Sony. The size of the back screen. I I want to yeah. say three point two or three. It, it's around there. Oh, hold, hold on. Yeah. Oh no, I don't have it pulled up. Um, but it's around there. I've never had an issue. But I use external monitors. Like right now, I have a seven inch on top of it, and then I have the camera, and then um, mm. I I have tons of monitors, like four monitors. So I'm always using a monitor somewhere. I recommend you doing that anyway. Um, oh yeah, I got the Ninja, the, Sh the Shinobi Five, and the Shinobi Seven. I'm trying to oh, downsize okay. as I travel around. I have a traveling studio. I'm trying to downsize. <laughs> <is my> thing. <laughs> and since I've been utilizing the Sony cameras, when I was in Malaysia, I didn't take out the, the um, Shinobi because I could sit right in front of it and I could see everything. But because this table's a little bit longer, I need the external monitor to see what's going on. Well, you know what? With the, um, you know, they have an app. Okay. I think mm -hmm. you may have heard of it, but it's called the Lumix yeah. app. And when you use this, I use this to monitor. So if I wasn't close enough to to cue myself, I use that and uh, to the Lumix, and I can set the frame. You know, I can set everything and lock in the uh, focus. And that's one thing I would do if I was on the on the move like you are. You know, that's just a little something. Anyway, um, look at Roy mentioned that when I got the camera, they gave me the. Uh, Xperia 1 4 with it, and I just started using it. Been sitting in the box all this time, so it was part of their deal, I guess, to clearing out stuff. And I'm like, it's like a thousand dollar phone. I'm like, wow, okay, I'll, I'll take it. But over in Thailand, it was $4,600 for the camera, and I'm like, well, the phone is included, you get your tax um, back when you leave the country, which is a cool thing. So I wasn't really much, the 4600 was everything included, tax, you know, anything when they say in this side of the world, VAT. 
value added tax is always included. Unlike the US, where the price is quoted, then plus tax. So that's what the cap gets about, you know, 4,600 with that. But you get this. Oh. And so I've the actually put a on it. Go ahead. So their price is the price. There's no extra on top of it. It is what it is. It, right? Okay. Yeah. And then when you leave, then you get the, your, the tax back. Is that what yes. I'm what I'm here? Oh, okay. yeah. Mm. Hong Kong is the only place where it's basically, you know, the price, there's no tax, but I always negotiate with an Asian country. My wife was talking one thing. Everything is negotiable. Copy so that. Take, take the price off of it. They'll throw in a memory card. They'll throw in a bag. They'll yeah. throw another stuff inside of it. So like my Z6 II and the DF when I bought it, I got memory cards with it and filters and some other stuff they gave me. So when I tell people, I said, hey, the camera was this much in the U.S. plus taxes. I got it for less than the U.S. price plus gifts. All right. Well, with that said, let's welcome in. Uh, oh, OK. If it's a mini Z9, I'm going to pass. Wayne, if I pass, you want mine? OK, well, there you go. Well, we, we can talk, John, because we're still <laughs> talking about <laughs> uh, Let's introduce our next guest on the panel. Name is Malcolm, and he's not in the middle, folks. That's right. That was a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kind of. Like that. Don't there it is. Know. There it is. I was yeah. waiting, Robert. I was I waiting. Got, yeah, I got so many to go, brother. Let me tell you. All right. Let's welcome Malcolm in the on the panel. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, Malcolm? What's good? What's going on? Cool background. Yeah. That background is always dope. It does look nice. It does look nice. Thank you. And it conveniently uh, complements your shirt. So there you go. That's a win. <laughs> yeah. Color matching. It's all important. It's all about the brand, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. It's all about branding. You better believe it. Uh, See, I saw in the picture you the, uh, on your thing, were you using a strobo frame? For, for what? On, well, no, not the... Uh, the picture of you that looks like you're holding like a struggle frame with the camera on a struggle frame. Oh, on my, on my, uh, my, just my, my YouTube handle pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's just me and holding the uh, FX30. Oh, uh, that's cool. See, when there I shoot weddings, know. I always use the struggle frame, but you know. John has the FX30. I need, I probably need to get one. Huh? <laughs> I, I was just using it this weekend, uh, doing a, a charity event, and I shot a, a few of the concerts that they had there. Uh -huh. And I was, I'm genuinely blown away at, you know, the base ISO 2500 in dark concert settings, how, how well it actually looked, the footage. Yeah, I hear nothing but good things about it. I watch, I follow a documentary um, director, filmmaker. And his name is Mark Bone. Check him out. He's out of Canada. He's yeah, phenomenal. I've, I've and, watched uh, him. I've started following him. Yeah, he does the FX30 and stuff. He, I mean, the work. his work is just, ah, it's crazy. It's really good. Yeah. Very inspirational. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, with that said, uh, Vihography comes in. Sweet looking cameras of the cameras I showed earlier, I'm guessing. As long as the Z8 has an LED lit buttons, a 10 connector, <laughs> and an EO. 18 battery grip otherwise they can keep it there you go yeah, what is different what is what is going to be different about the z8 that the z9 is people look at it as a semi-pro or a um prosumer prosumer version of the professional z9 because nikon's always kind of done that d700 d300 what is it d3 time frame so you always kind of had that you know, DX camera back then, or well, actually the 700 was full frame, but a camera that's similar to the professional one, but not at the same price without the built-in grip, but you can get an extra battery grip. So the price is a little bit lower. Lighted buttons on the back, you know, if you shoot um, Astro or anything at nighttime and so on, or in any dimly situation, that helps. Because most cameras don't have that, and you don't realize until you say, I want to go out here and I want to shoot something, you're like, what the crap? You put out a flashlight, you mess up with your night vision, and then you have to readjust to take whatever you want to take. So that was one of my things for jumping on the D300 and then later on the D500. So 
not that I really needed the camera, but when I looked at the other ones and knowing that what I was going to do, it came in handy for those purposes. So most guys who are doing photography and if you're doing it professionally and you've moved on like Roy, you still want some of those things that you had in the old cameras. And I think most cameras nowadays, they probably don't have them unless you go to the top level version. At least Nikon had one level down. My A7R5, which is, I guess, third level down, doesn't have lighted buttons. Mm. Derek, the most uh, enticing uh, piece to the it being like the Z9 is the fact that there are a lot of people that wanted the Z9 and it was way out of their budget. A lot of people wanted it, uh, it, it even though it might have been within their budget, they don't want a vertical grip camera body and uh, they wanted a smaller size. And that's what the Z8 is going to give everybody that was on the fence about whether they get a Z9 or not. And the argument right now is if it gives you everything the Z9 has, then are people that have a Z9 going to be mad because you're getting it at a lower price? I'll answer for myself, no, I have a Z9 and I want the Z8. And if it's just like the Z9, that's fine because I like to carry two cameras. And oh, how nice it is when the ergonomics are exactly the same from one camera to the next. So, you know, it, it's it's going to be a camera. It, not only that, but people are also complaining about, well, if it's 45 megapixel, megapixel, that's an old sensor. No, it's not. There is no other sensor out there right now that matches the, the stacked 45 megapixel sensor. So, uh, you know, it, it is a new sensor in the sense that it, it's not all over in every brand right now. So, yeah, man, I mean, the, the, it, it's going to be very similar. Obviously, body size has some limitations. It's not going to have all the landscape on it, you know, to put every button and everything on it. But it will be so similar that it'll be a familiar camera for people that have a Z9. And again, a camera for people that just couldn't stretch it to get the Z9 or it was too big for them. So a lot of, you know, there, there's so much similarity. Well, we think right now the specs, uh, the, the rumored specs say it is a baby Z9, but I'm going to quit calling it that. I'm going to call it folks. Everybody that was waiting for the mirrorless D850, here it is, the Z8. <laughs> and so much better than the Z8 ever was. And I know I'm going to catch a lot of heat for that, but we're in the video era, and this camera will bring video specs that every person out there that shoots video would love to have, you know, it, even though they may not buy it, but they would love to have the specs that are in this camera. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't overheat, and that's going to be the key right there. We'll find out. We will yep. find out. Well, I noticed uh, when I was using uh, Robert Z Z9, uh, the weight uh, of the, especially having the actual camera with a nice lens on it, the weight of it was uh, crazy. Uh, you pretty much had to hit the gym in order for you to actually use that camera. But what I will say is, uh, <laughs> it does uh, work really well it's with strong, like, cool, yeah. flashes. <laughs> It is so fast. The pro photo flashes. Uh, keep up with it. It is, yeah, amazing camera. Yeah, it is pretty amazing. Uh, let me get to some of these comments because they are just piling up here. Okay, I gotta get Derek. We gotta figure out this admin thing because I know there is a way for you to be a moderator. Anyway, um, what do you think of the Lumix L mount glass? Uh, the L mount glass is fantastic. Only downside. Okay, first of all before I mention the downside, Lumix comes with a heavy, very successful background in video. Okay, broadcast, cinema, great cameras with their um, Vericams, and um, that's what they're pushing their uh, color, their um, color science into these consumer grade cameras. And um, so the lenses are really made with a, video, a filmmaker or videographer in mind. So they have certain features like a focus clutch and stuff like that, which no photographer really gives a damn about. But if you do cinema work or videography work, that's awesome. Okay. So, but with that said, there's an additional cost to L mount lit Leica uh, lenses out there. So you do get that. You do get that Leica does approve a lot of the lenses saying, okay, this is, this is allowed to have our name on it. We, we it meets their standards of high quality manufacturing, whatever. But 
um outside of that they are expensive look i'm looking uh they are they tend to be pound for pound more expensive than a, a sigma l mount that's just as native uh so that's why I, I recommend and i review more sigma glass because they are more affordable i want to show you that you you don't have to uh pay more to get more uh but if you can get the get the like uh the, get the lumix but for sure you won't be hurt by getting a sigma as well okay so i know that's a long-winded explanation but since i i work for them i want to explain that there are differences so if you're going into filmmaking and everything else you may want to pay that extra that's why cine lenses cost what they cost it's yep. how it's made okay so um but if you're just trying to take a photo you know you're, you'll be good to go with a sigma or something okay uh hey yeah, robert hey robert real quick yes sir yeah, uh, I totally agree with uh, the Sigma Glass. I mean, a lot of people give it hate, but uh, I have the uh, M, the Canon M series, uh, M6 Mark II, and I know they don't, they stopped making those. Uh, however, for photography is concerned on a budget, you really, you can't go wrong with the Sigma. I have the Trio, the 16 1.4, the 30, mm -hmm. and the 56 1.4, and they're just, they're, they're great pieces of kit, man, especially for street photographers. They're very small, oh, compact. Shit. The contemporary series, go. oh my yeah, the God. contemporary series, yeah, that's hundred percent, hundred percent. Um, I I hundred percent agree. That I'm a huge um, I love Sigma. I'm not gonna lie, their glass is just stupendous, and you can't beat it. Can't beat the price. Uh, with that said, um, so there are alternatives. So if you can't do the Lumix glass, just do Sigma. You'll be fine. All right. Uh, most importantly is getting that Lumix technology. The bodies, they got some great features in there, okay? Uh, I wish I could get Matt Granger. That would be awesome. Uh, <laughs> Canadian Nikon Ambassador Armad, uh, Zara Mod this coming Tuesday. And next Tuesday, the Snap Chick in the house with Vahography. Okay? So go check out his channel. If you haven't been subscribing to him, well, you've just been living underneath a rock. Under that, underneath a rock. <laughs> That's in a dark, deep cave. Okay, so once you crawl yourself out, go subscribe to Vahography. All right, and then um, oh, he says he's digging a vibe of all these folks. I'm sure. And he says uh, he said Kevin and and Gucci in the house. Okay, I'm guessing we're looking pretty sweet around here. I'm telling you. Uh, let me see if there's anything else before we we ramble about something. Uh, oh. Sigma lens that uh, eight or was it eighteen to thirty five millimeter one point eight? That was a genius lens. Yes, like, yeah, it was. Well, yeah. yeah, it was. Like yeah. when I seen that on a can on a Canon, and I seen the quality of uh, photos coming out of that lens, I was like, wow. I wanted a Canon for a second. <laughs> I, you know, before the Z nine, I hate to say it, I'm gonna have to admit it. Sorry, Chuck. I was so close to going over to Canon because uh -oh. uh, before uh -oh. the Z9, before the Z9, because I, I needed that autofocus and I needed good video, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God, I just, I need this because I'm getting more into video, but I also, you know, anyway. And then when the Z9 came, I was like, audio, so I'm fine right, right, right where I'm at. And uh, I said, Canon what? So. Um, but that was just my experience at the time. I was just so frustrated for waiting, but ended up being worth the wait. But still, ooh, it almost scared me. I was looking at the R5 like, hmm, that's looking pretty sweet. So, Brother, don't be sorry. You know, uh, I'm all about, man. Everybody needs to get what they want. You know, if you can't wait for somebody to make what you want, but there's uh, another brand that has it, by all means, go do it. There you go. Well, okay, we have two guests. One has four legs and a tail, and uh, <laughs> and another one that's almost that's uh, on our panel. Hold on, Malcolm. Malcolm just dropped from us. He says, uh, "I'm guessing his connection." We have the R, the B, and the J in the house. Yeah, RBJ Photography. RBJ. What up? What up? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Put a face to the name. Right. Yeah, face to the name, baby. Man, Robert, <laughs> Robert, you're getting the full panel tonight, boy. Hey, I'm trying I to know, hey, right? you know, Chuck and Vahagen, you good. know, they, they uh what do you say? Birds of a feather yeah. flock together, you know. They eagles do. hang out with eagles, baby. So <laughs> yeah. uh, 
Robert, thanks for tuning in and check it. I know you were hanging out with us earlier, uh, but thanks for jumping on. Really appreciate it. No problem, man. Glad to be here. Send you want to give a little background about panel? you? Oh, I'm so sorry. On this esteemed panel of, uh, oh, you know, okay. amazing <laughs> photographers. Yeah, sir. I'm glad you can see that. Uh, yeah. but, uh, <laughs> can you give a little background about yourself? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm in the Detroit area, uh, RBJ photography. I'm in the, you can see the Golden State Warriors gang going on back here. Kind of excuse that. But, yeah, uh, I'm uh, what? in the Detroit area. Uh, Detroit area. I've been shooting photography for 15 so years. But uh, just started doing it on a uh, professional level since 2018. So hey, congrats! Um, yeah, man. Uh, I'm trying to get the YouTube channel going like you guys, but it's struggling right now, and it's it's, it's mainly because of myself. So, but uh, I plan to get it. I plan to get it back popping soon. So I got some stuff that I got coming up. Uh, yeah, you just got to jump in with that, out. man. I'm trying, you man. Gotta, you got to just jump in. That's it. <laughs> yep. yeah. No floaties. Just, just on though. Just <laughs> right in the deep end. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Kevin, real quick. I'm sorry, because uh, I'm more familiar with everybody else. And uh, can you take a second and uh, introduce yourself? What you do, what you uh, shoot, etc. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm uh, Kevin Nordstrom. Uh, I'm a wildlife and nature photographer. Uh, probably about 40 minutes um, east of uh, Toledo, Ohio, uh, right along the lake shore. And I shoot birds, wildlife, eagles, hawks. Uh, that kind of stuff. And I really got into photography uh, about three years ago um, after uh, combat tours to Afghanistan and Iraq. And I wanted to, I guess, try to <laughs> try to uh, find a good coping mechanism for anxiety and PTSD mm. and uh, uh, depression. And uh, so that kind of landed me into photography. So, well, and I, I started a YouTube, I started a YouTube channel as well. Yeah. Oh, sure. send me the link. I'll make sure to uh, sub to that. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice, you want to nice. post that in the comments? We'll we'll sub we'll sub to that for sure. Yeah. Um, awesome. I don't have a salute button, but I do have yeah. a Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, yeah. Good service, brother. <laughs> good stuff. All right. Good stuff. Thank you. Oh yeah. So Rob, I did forget to kind of say. My bad. I'm. I'm yes, so sir. I'm slacking. So yeah, I do I do headshots. Oh, definitely headshots. I do uh, senior photography and um, headshots, seniors, and um, I'm trying to get more into uh, editorial modeling. You know, but I'm trying to the route I'm trying to do with the modeling is I'm trying to get in. The, I'm trying to become a, um, a preferred uh, agency, you know, a preferred photographer for the I agency. Know. That's thing. That's where you're gonna make the money. At. You're not gonna make the money just shooting models because they're broke for most nope. of them. <laughs> they're all yeah. broke yeah. trust me yeah. that they're all yeah. broke sure. they're all, i don't i don't mean no disrespect by that it's just it is what it is yeah. no you got to make a living man right. so yep. have you come up with some sort of like a marketing plan and all that stuff for the for your new business and everything or i didn't hear you said it again i said have you come up with some sort of like marketing plan for headshots and stuff like that and yeah, yeah, I do. I do. I mean, in terms of marketing, I have my plan of how I do it and how I set it up and how I go after uh, the people in this area in the Detroit area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I do have a plan for the uh, for the models as well. The the way um, when I'm not trying to do agency shoots, the the best way that I found for models is you got to put together a package, right? Uh, right? Some type of portfolio building package. This this um, that's attractive to them, right? And it's more and less the um, more and less it's the beginner models, right? They need to, they need to build that portfolio. That's the best way yeah. to get in. It's the best way to get in. If you do TFP, Rob, check this out, guys. This thing that I came up with now for is so I got to give somebody else the credit. Uh, her name is Monique, and uh, okay. you know because most of the time when you're shooting models, I want to shoot actual models that that are they have uh they want to they want to pursue the business of modeling not the models that have been given the title of being ig models because they have a body mm. and a face mm. I, I don't i don't I, no, no offense to them but i want to i want to provide something that's a benefit to my portfolio and i just find that the best way to get the best portfolios 
is to work with models that really have a passion for it. So mm -hmm. what I've done when I'm when I'm starting to do now for TFPs, my thing is if you don't have a comp card or digitals, then I'm not gonna work with you because that's the way that I know you're serious. Models that are serious, they have their comp card updated and they have digital. So if you want to become serious, then you can pay me to shoot your comp card and your digitals, and then we can start working from there. But I, I need to start, you know, dealing with models that have some skin in the game that, that want something out of it other than just free, amazing pictures to put on their Instagram just to be beautiful. I need people <laughs> that really want to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. yeah. That's that's kind uh, of approach. smart. So are, are you shooting other things besides headshots? I mean, are you shooting weddings, doing anything like no, that? No, um, pictures or no, no wedding. I do headshots. I do seniors, okay. and uh, I don't do yeah. I don't mess with the weddings, man. Yeah, my anxiety, <laughs> my anxiety is too bad for that. Uh, <laughs> I hear you on that one. It's a, it's a tough, I, it's a tough road, but it, yeah. Cause, I mean, I had years where I was doing like 63 weddings a year. So it was like, uh, yeah. I was like, basically, uh, I, I looked forward to like November, December. It was like, yes, I can sleep now. <laughs> yeah. Good money, though, mess, that's for sure. I just don't want to mess yeah, up the yeah. bride. I don't want to mess up her, her day. I don't want to mess up the bride's day, man. That's just, man, <laughs> that's tough. That's tough. See, now, the seniors, what I do is they'll give you maybe, I don't know if it's it's if, if it's good marketing plan or not. It works halfway decent. Is like now I'm doing um, basically like for the prom pictures, you know, I do where if you bring in a large uh, bag of non-perishable food, then I just give you the digital image. Okay. And basically, it kind of it. Then I find that networks into other things, uh, not necessarily the weddings, but the uh, senior pictures, um, headshots, like their moms, I'm maybe a real estate agent, so. Networking through that, I end up getting headshots for all the real estate agents, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I that's that's good, man. I like that. I like that approach. Yeah. Real like quick, that. I put up a poll uh, in the okay. chat. I believe it's up there, um, where uh, I'm asking, uh, how how fast do you think it would take the Z8 to sell out? Someone asked, uh, who who is it that I want to credit that person for asking me to ask that question? Here we go, Hank. Hank, that's thanks for that. Uh, poll question there okay three days, three days. damn yeah, that's, that's gonna sell out pretty I quick i think it'll be man. definitely within a yeah. week for sure yeah I, I think so too i think three yeah, actually yeah, within a week i just hope well, to get in <laughs> yeah y'all nikon y'all nikon uh man, are, are are vicious y'all y'all will wait a whole two days outside in the cold for that <laughs> listen we are starving okay it's been a while <laughs> okay. we, we can't we can't all afford that big z9 it not, nor do i want it it's too big for me but i love it it's a beautiful camera it's just i need the z8 i, I need the z8 i've been waiting for three years uh i've been waiting for that d850 equivalent or there better, you go there you go or better or better you know i've been waiting a very long time and i um so i even went to canon because i thought the the Z72 was just not what I thought. So I, yeah, mm. so I have a Canon R5 and a Nikon Z62, and I love I love them both. I really do. I love them both, man. Um, I like the fact that I can talk about both without anybody questioning me on it because I have experience with both. But, yeah, right, you know, right. but I'm shooting this on the Z62, as you can see these nice colors coming through. Even though <laughs> nice colors coming through. I, I will say this real quick on on just on the uh, on the Canon Nikon thing real quick. My experience with it is the, the Nikon, I love it for the colors. The colors are amazing. Hands down, the colors for skin tones are very good. Now, if you're getting into more like landscapes, uh, cityscapes and stuff like that, I give the Canon a slight edge. The colors are slightly better for that. But on the portrait side, it, it's, it's Nikon all the way. Maybe yeah. with Fuji, with Fuji edging it out just a little bit. I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but Fuji edges it out just a little bit, in my opinion, in color. Just a little bit. Wow. Yep. It's that glass, it's the Fuji glass, because I can yeah. put an a adaptive lens on it, and uh, and it actually doesn't shoot as well. I think it's a glass that they have on it. Um, so you shoot Fuji? I didn't know that. You shoot Fuji? Yeah, I shoot Fuji. I, I started out with the X-T1. 
and I moved uh, up up the ladder from from that. I actually s- traded traded my uh, D810 uh, <gasps> the, the XT1. Oh, and I was like, oh, I don't know how it's gonna be because it was mirrorless. I just it into a, into a mirrorless. I was like, oh my goodness, uh, what is this gonna do? And it turned out good. I love it. I love Fuji since then. It's 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 been amazing experience. Um, I know someone, a friend of mine, that has that. And I don't know the. Forgive me. I don't know the um the nomenclatures, the names for the Fuji, but I know it's the one that has a hundred megapixels. Uh, GFX yeah. 100. Oh, 100. Yes. Man, he pulled up a picture, a portrait. Man, I swear, I mm-hmm. saw through that woman's soul. I saw through her soul <laughs> at about 300, <laughs> about 300 times. Like, and it wasn't even cracking yet. <laughs> it was just starting. It. I swear that GFX 100 just gets the closer you get, the clearer it gets. Yeah, yeah it I don't want no part of it because I think it's gonna tell all my secrets that I have in my life. That's how sharp it is. It's just like, <laughs> my in <laughs> like I don't need it. Man. But it's, it's, I'm it's telling nice you, it's the, nice. it's the lenses too. It's not just the sensor. Like the the lenses that they have, the native lenses are really really sharp. Imagine what they could do with a crop sensor uh, camera with the lenses oh they put on there. They oh compete with full frame cameras. Well, Fuji people understand the Nikon people's pain. Nikon is trying to get better with the autofocus, but I think Fuji wow. struggles there too, right? With the autofocus. Yeah, uh, the, the autofocus is kind of uh, kind yeah. of pissed me off uh, just a little bit, but it's okay. <laughs> real quick, uh, what did it right? Real- study? Oh, <laughs> so yeah, I don't he touched that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna hit this a few times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, hold on, hold on. Yeah, he, he knocked that one out, okay? Sorry yeah, to say, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, they're like, oh, such great work. Yeah, God's great work. Hello. Right, so, right. So, uh, uh, a team, a rebel, oh, a rebel, a rebel could do good with that. But uh, how important is beautiful? It's very important. I've seen, like, honestly, not to be uh, like I'm somebody absolutely amazing. Ugly is not a good living, But I've seen work, <laughs> but I've seen work that gets tons of credibility and i look at the photography for the technical aspect and i'm like it's the beautiful model that they're oh yeah they're hitting a like for etc yep. and um anybody could shoot wide open and blow out the background and yeah. uh they're like, great work fantastic work oh my god and i'm like you sure it's not her butt you're looking at right, and, right, uh, right. <laughs> so but that's no, just it's, me it's also though you know you're right um you can't really go wrong <laughs> shoot somebody beautiful now but but it's like can you can't do you understand what a person's facial features look like uh, let me put it this way a full a full faced person or a woman right full face you know do you understand that you probably shouldn't shoot her broad like mm. <laughs> do you understand you might want to carve her out a little bit in a little bit of paramount carve those cheeks off she got cheeks or maybe shoot her in a little bit of short light Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It, it, you you got to you know those things. On the face, you know? you got to know those things, man. People yeah. just throw cameras. They just throw the light up, and, and and just put the light on them. But you got a person with a skinny face that you probably should be broad lighting and make her face fuller. Mm. But you're shooting her short light, and you're shooting with the ghoul lighting. For that's my favorite. The ones that do the clamshells and got the uh, the light that's down low, just matching the key light. Yeah. <laughs> and, they like they're telling a scary story, like a spooky movie, right? But yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah. it's easy to shoot beautiful, but can you make that beautiful like person it. even flattering? Can you make a flattering? You can be beautiful, but can you make a flattering too? You know. Mm. So let, let me yeah. do a good yeah, so. job of that, Rob. You do a good job of that. That that one set with the young lady with the tattoos on her sleeve, the sleeve tattoo, the one you did with the natural light. She was amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You better yeah. not forget her, Rob. You're going to get in trouble. Tiffany. This is live. That's my homie. No, no, no. Yeah. That's my homie. Yeah. She's, yeah, she's really cool. Tiffany's awesome. But um, the way you set the lighting she, up and took a friend into the shade, uh, the shadows, did, like, was nice. Of you and her. Huh? What was Robert, that? You should have done like one where. You, uh, well, Derek you know, took it behind the scenes. And oh, yeah. I got a few photos of that. Yeah. yeah. I got a few photos of that. He should have actually threw it up there. Hold up. That is you. 
What are you talking about? That is Derek, the kind of cat. That is your guy, right? I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. I, <laughs> like, I mean, wait a minute. Like, wait. Robert's got a good physique. She had a good physique. You'd have him take his shirt off. You have her uh, leg. No, 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 no. The no, next thing you know, we got GQ, you know? Oh, oh boy. Man, we could have that the salt, bath, the salt <laughs> bath over there. Uh, it was kind of cold out there. Ah. Uh, it, it, it was great. Right right Hey, it was Robert, hard to stay warm. <laughs> yeah, to... hey, Robert, I, I want to point out something that's going on right now. It, it's fantastic. This is what's great about live streams. I mean, over here, the sidebar that's going on over here in your chat with why Rye, he's wanting to know what camera he should get. And this is one of the great things about live streams is you got so many knowledgeable people that are just in the chat that's and they're it. over there helping this guy out. And I think it's a wonderful thing that goes on. You can't do this on a video because there's no instant feedback if somebody were to ask that question. Only mm -hmm. in a live stream are they going to have an opportunity to get answers. And That's everybody's so over there helping the guy out. That's what live streaming also brings to, to the table. Right. I'm just not seeing these messages over here. These are, it is a good conversation going there. Yeah, I see. I, I, I'm trying desperate to keep up. Trust me. And yeah, uh, honey, She's in the house, awesome. though. He, yeah. Hopefully he, he'd be uh, good to come on the panel. Who? Who? John Ishi. Yeah. John, I, we, I thought we. Wayne, that's a good show. What is that? Um, he said he was. I, I want to uh, think is it Hasselblad or is GFX 100? I forgot which one it was. This is John Ishi's photo. He took this Wayne. one. Oh, nice. Oh, John, is that the 100? Is that the uh, the Hasselblad uh, X2D? With the, uh, no, it wasn't X2D. It was an older one, 907, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. The. Uh, the uh, the little the small one with the tilt up back. Yeah, because he had a bunch of them when we did the interview, and he was shooting afterwards. So I don't remember if the, if the GFX or it was the Hasselblad, because he was mm -hmm. shooting different ones while we were there. But I think it's probably the Hasselblad. I think uh, Matt Granger had a, a video with him kind of like going over the difference between the, the Hasselblad X One D and the Fuji GFX Fifty, mm -hmm. uh, and those those were comparable as far as like uh like quality, quality wise but the color is different obviously because yeah. you know everybody has their own color uh science so but those are they those are pretty good uh photos i like those photos from the house of black it's just too expensive oh, yeah. for me. <laughs> uh, there's something i do want to say hold on guys real quick first Vahagen, uh Vahagen comes in thank you very much we're trying and it's all because of your guys support so thank you mm -hmm. chuck and everybody else uh and and uh wayne for his emails uh he knows what i'm talking about thank you all for helping to support the uh the movement that we're all creating together hank says makeup will do the cover-up honestly <clears throat> makeup does do some things but understanding good lighting when to accentuate the highlights and also post-production it's like it all works together I've mm -hmm. saved a lot of my photos just because of good pro post processing. So I recommend as much as we, uh, this is just me, but I concentrate on learning proper lighting and how to learn how to manipulate the lighting and everything. Also the post processing. So I spent a lot of hours, uh, improving my post processing mm -hmm. and, um, and what you see is the final result of concentrating on both, um, endeavors, if you will. Hold on, everyone. We have a literally a living legend. It, 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 isn't it funny that every person I come on says it, I'm calling them a living legend because you all are in your own way. But we do have a living legend, a living legend, folks, over from AP Studios. And, uh -oh. you know, I have to go all out for this one. OK, <laughs> welcome to the panel, John. Ishii's in the house. All right. All right. There he is. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> mic check. Mic check. There you go. You got, you got the music intro. Yeah. 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 Looks like your nice brother. The guy sitting next to me just split. So I'm on. <laughs> oh, yeah. He doesn't want to hear split Or did you push him on along his way? I don't know. Lady was eating some bagel or something, didn't she? <laughs> <Check it off. laughs> that's all right. We were we were here in the Amazon rainforest earlier in the stream, so yeah, that's right. We had monkeys oh, and peacocks over at main spot. It was we had a kitty cat running around. No. Yeah. 
Not the bagel. Oh. That's it. <laughs> Not the bagel. Not the bagel. Hey, everybody know who John is. John is a retired photojournalist. So wow. he is he is the man. I mean, literally the man. <laughs> John, can you take a second, please? Um and share a little bit of your background. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. Uh, I'm a former uh, wire photographer. Um, I shot for um, AFP, which is the French news agency, and for uh, freelance for Associated Press and um, for Dow Jones Publications, and uh, shot mostly. Uh, Hard news, international news, and then from there I did a lot of editorial work uh, on assignments for uh, business magazines and for travel. In-flight, you know, those in-flight magazines that you get in the airplane? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, you pick it out and you got nothing else to look at. Uh, I did some of that and then uh, some commercial work, but m most of it's news. Um, I, I've done a lot of news. So, um, a lot of my work is like for the U.S. publications, CNN, uh, Wall Street Journal, Washington Post, Miami Herald, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm not a very good artistic photographer. I don't do weddings. I, I'm terrible at that. Definitely not a very good nature photographer. But um, you give me a story and I'll get you the shot. Mm -hmm. That's what's awesome. Up. Thank you very much for sharing that. We oh, have, to Chuck's point earlier, an extremely diverse panel going on right now. And I believe I'm full to the gill. Um, Manila Martin asked, does anyone have merch? You know, that's a great... I was actually going to start doing more of my shirts. I've had yeah. people ask. Uh, but no, no that. merch. But... I think Chuck, you, Chuck does. Don't Chuck, you, you got merch? Not yet, not yet. All right, not well, yet. the t-shirt, the t-shirt you keep hanging up all the time. Uh, the oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, no, that's my wife got that for me. There you go. <laughs> my yeah, shameless plug to wear around everywhere I go. <laughs> well, there you go. That's <laughs> a way. Yeah, Chuck. Oh, yeah. That's oh, that's oh, hilarious. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the wow. shameless plug I can wear. Don't worry, I'm about to plug you right now, sir. So here we go. Um, we don't have merch, but we do all have channels, okay? There are two other live stream shows that go on uh, in the community, and that's subscribe to AP Studios and Vahography on YouTube, like right now, folks. Okay, go check them out. And then also, I, I am also, um, I got you, uh, don't worry, I got you, Chuck. Uh, and I also am hosting a one-night special for likes, shares, and subscribes. Tonight only, it is free 99 to like, <laughs> share, and subscribe to my channel, okay? Uh, you go ahead and press that button, all right? Give me a Mario coin for once, okay? Uh, hey, 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 Robert, can I have just a second? Yes, can sir. John Ishii. I'm going to I'm going to yes, make sir. it happen right here. John Ishi is going to start either a discord or a uh, subscription for his channel for learning photojournalism and all his experience and all the years that he's been doing has done it. So uh, I'm, I'm forcing the issue now, John. There is no oh, reason boy. why you shouldn't do that, brother. Oh, boy. I think I that deserves an atomic drop right now. That's big news right there. That's big news. So I mean, John, he, yeah. with all of his experience, he's got a lot to share. And there are always people asking, how do I get into photo photojournalism? Or, oh, oh really? Know. People, people yes. ask you that? Yes, okay. and they asked you that when we were when you were on the channel the first time. So oh, absolutely, right. man. I think I think you're sitting on a gold mine there of information, and there are a lot of people that would like to partake in that. So John oh, yeah. has a channel. A lot of tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> get, get yeah, the the up. There's a demand going on, so you got to give the people what they want here. Come on. That's right. Absolutely. Uh, John White I just call it Chuck. I just subscribe to you. Hey, oh, thank you very much. 
The crazy part is I thought I was already I thought I was already subscribed to you. That's crazy. Well, everybody tells me you need to say it anyway because people forget. Mm. You know what? My thought is if you like it and you want to subscribe, you will. <laughs> We're in the house now. We're in the house. With uh, love from Detroit. There you go. All right, man. Uh, thanks. Hank says John's wife does the cooking. John gets the shots. So there you go. Uh, yeah. I think I think it's opposite, right, Chuck? <laughs> Yeah, oh. exactly. Exactly. That role yeah. is dropped. His wife is a phenomenal photographer. Yeah, yeah she's getting stuff shown right now in New York. A recognized Ever? photographer, by the way. Oh, yeah, Robert, I, fine got you, I got a screenshot of your. You, you get. You know, it's not everybody in live stream that gets the full house, and you got it. Wow! Buddy. Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! Oh, yeah! Holy cow! You know what? I'm have. Oh. I have to give you a, a SpongeBob. Here we go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh. Not everybody gets a SpongeBob, so. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you, Chuck. Uh, wow, we, our our chat's going is screaming here. Uh, oh, Chuck, yeah, uh, Vahagen goes twenty seven in here. Yes, this is a world. Finally, finally. Oh my goodness, <laughs> you don't understand. Well, Chuck understands and. Wayne and everybody. I guess you all understand. This is a hard. This is a big day. I want to say thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And because of you tuning in, I'm going to offer you a special for tuning in. That's right. <laughs> I'm offering free 99 to press that like to that share. All right, folks, go ahead and do that. Support the movement. All right. Anyway, I'm sh shameless. Absolutely shameless. All right, folks. <laughs> Thanks, Vaughn. Hey, uh, Robert, I want to welcome you to the community. Thank you, sir. The community that we are continuing to build, and it's built on channels just like yours. Awesome. You know, where everybody can get together, everybody can talk, doesn't matter what you shoot, and I'm going to keep preaching that. So, uh, I feel welcomed, and, 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 and um, I, I just love being a part of what's going on. I have this, you know, we share the same passion. It's great to be among people, uh, brethren, if you will, who who talk the same talk, walk the same walk, and we're all in the trenches enjoying photography. And um, I, I love it. Honestly, this is like literally what I want to do. And um, again, if we all do what we can to somehow get a few bucks from what we have a passion for, it's a pretty good life. So I think we're all pretty lucky in our own little ways. So I'm glad to be a part of it. Thanks, Chuck. Who says we should stop playing with toys after we grow up? That's right. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. right. Uh, Golden State is up 30. Damn, what? That's crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's crazy. Uh, sorry, LA Laker uh, fans. You know, it is what it is. Here we go. <laughs> Work harder. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, Mahogan. I know he's down here in LA and uh, Maz Man, too, I believe. So, shots fired. Sorry. Well, um, for those of you that were tracking him, Maz Man has made it to DFW, so he'll be onward bound to LA here soon. Oh, very oh. cool. That's awesome to hear. Uh, oh, hey, so yes, she does art. That's to um, John's wife. John, yeah. John has the Leica Museum. You have a Leica museum? <laughs> He's got a double cameras. He's, uh, he's like Roy Mixby for Leicas. Uh, no, no, I'm not even close uh, I was like, what? That's crazy. I, like, um, what they, uh, I can only handle uh, a drive back and forth from LA every, I say, decade. Once a decade. Really? That's a long drive. That's a that's a crazy <laughs> long drive. Oh, it's a drive. We say it's a fly. Uh, that's oh, it's, it's no yeah. fun. We're just flying. <laughs> I drove from uh, Virginia to Arizona when I moved out there. Three hmm. days. Wow. Wow. Really yeah. Oh my God. I, I drove from that. San Francisco <laughs> Bay Area to Dallas, Texas, and back. Oof. Yeah. That's a all around the country. Who did all around the country? Oh, I, I, I drive everywhere. <laughs> oh, my God. 
My longest my longest day was was Houston to Phoenix. It was twenty two hours. Twenty four. Wow, I did that when I was in the army. I remember we drove from Kansas to New York nonstop. It took twenty four hours getting there because we're trying to avoid cops and whatnot. It was eighteen hours going. <laughs> what? You forgot where the cops were? You like pedal to metal. Telegram Ways is the best app for seeing where cops are. What is it? Well, yeah, nowadays, you know, when I was 18, 19 years old, we had none of those things. Oh, <laughs> but okay. Like Army days. Hmm. That's many, We're many from, uh... Oh, he says, uh, Hank says, we're from New York, Robert. You'll have to pay for prime time. There you go. Well, I'm from New York, too. I, I, I uh, bo born in uh, Brooklyn and raised in oh, Long really? Island. Yeah. I love, I love New York, man. Yeah. Uh, I left Long Island when I was 18, but my dad still lives in Long Island, so I check it um, every year. I'm going to uh, check in on him, you know, make sure he's good to go. And uh, he's retired. And um, so, yeah, I love New York. If I, if I could, I'd be in Brooklyn. But I yeah. love Cali weather, so I don't care what anybody says. You can't beat the weather. Dude, I like Brooklyn I too. The Dumbo. Is it the Dumbo area? Oh, Dumbo, yeah. yeah. Dumbo, yeah. the Dumbo is Gumbo. Dumbo. Right? D Dumbo with the D, right? Yeah, Dumbo. Man, I love that. I love that area. Yeah, it's great I, the craziest sure. thing though, and you just you just kind of went counter to what I was about to say, Rob. Is uh -oh. that for some reason I like going to New York in the in the winter. Especially, it's the best place at Christmas time, man. It's the best feeling in the world in New York around Christmas time. I'll let you, Macy's, I'll let you have that. I'll let, I'll let the, you, oh, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> I would you know, take it, Rob. I liked it when I was ten. It was cool, yeah. F.E.O. Schwartz and whatnot. But uh, mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. now, nah, give me the heat. I, I want the spring and the summer. Hold on, folks. <laughs> We're, we have something, a big announcement right now. Okay. Bring somebody else in. No, uh, but <laughs> uh, but I want to say I want to give a big shout out to. Okay, hold on. I gotta get my buttons ready. Bahography. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> That Kelly test on seven dollars of that of that wow. drink. Uh, you know what? He's like, have a drink on me, but but you know what, sir? It's gonna go to my coffee fund because I gotta keep grinding. So I keep go. those as good as yours and Chuck's, and then we're all rocking and rolling. The grind doesn't yeah. stop. <laughs> and um, hey, Hank said he's from the Bronx. I, I I went to school up in the Bronx. I used to live in New York myself. Do oh, okay. nice Wayne, you from New York too, Wayne? Well, not I'm Jamaican originally, but I went when I was 15. So most of my life I spent up in New York. I left when I was about 29, 30, DC for five years for one month and never left DC after that. Mm -hmm. And I, I moving out of that area was about three years ago when I went to Arizona during the pandemic for work. And then yeah. Another place any, that I like Scott. Any of you guys from uh any of you guys from uh Seattle area, Pacific Northwest? That's what I you, John. In, uh I lived up in Clarkston for seven years. Clarkston, the other side of the state. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If you the are out the here, drier side, me I yeah, I'm. I'm originally from Seattle, old Seattle boy. I always yeah. wanted to check out up there because I love hiking. So, uh, the north, the north was it northwest area. Yeah, and yeah. Um, yeah, I would love to just go on a hiking binge up that way. That'd be nice. I yeah. man, I've always I've always wanted to go out that way. They uh sometimes I just like getting out in nature and where my cell phone is no longer connected and just vibing out with a camera and a buddy or something and it's just like just get away and a bear and, uh, and just shoot, you know. The Bay Area definitely has some great spots, right, Derek? And uh I've taken them on some stuff. So um but it's great when you don't have cell phone connection sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Derek, are you from there? Are you from uh, the Bay Area too, Derek? Are you out west? Are you out west as well? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm actually originated from the Bay Area. I'm actually born. I was born in, in San Francisco, so okay. I'm a native native of the Bay Area. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm to get out west. I've been out here all my pretty much all my life. I, I live. 
uh, a good portion of my my life in Alabama. Uh, but I also, you know, love mm-hmm. it out here. So I had to come back. Man, out you went from slow to <laughs> yeah, from Alabama where it's slow to freaking California where it's just. I've had some ups and downs in my life for sure. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm sure. <laughs> that, that, nice that shot, is. Wayne. Yeah. Man, that's that's, that's Mongolia. In two weeks, Mongolia. Wow, Mongolia. Yeah. Mongolia. And what you did you shoot that with? Two years? That's a Z6. Man, that's solid. A Z62, I should say. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful place. John's been there multiple times, but John usually goes in the cold and go out either west or east where you can see wow. like the reindeers and stuff. Mongolia, I've been there four times and I'm just addicted to Mongolia. It is unbelievable. It's the way the world should be. Wow. No fences. <laughs> can you imagine going to a place that has no fences? Wow. <laughs> yeah. There's no farming. It's just everyone, they're all nomads. They've been doing this for a thousands of years and it's uh i, I can't uh begin to describe the beauty of it yeah, uh, this was like taking out from the train this wasn't like me yeah. on the road someplace i was on a train when i was taking these there's no walmarts there's no costcos no what no highway no best <laughs> buy I hope there's no McDonald's out there either. There's yeah. no McDonald's. No, I mean, nothing. We're struggling, man. We're struggling. There, we're struggling. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Um, real yeah. quick, gentlemen. Yeah. 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 Folks, yeah. folks, I have another big announcement. Okay. okay. Thank you. I want to give a big thanks to Greg Corker with the 499 super hey. chat. Oh my God. Big Greg. Big Greg, oh, yo. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Greg. Really, yeah, Greg. really appreciate it. Oh my God, you guys don't understand how how um, the smallest of things really help keep pushing. And I'm learning as I'm growing, taking advice from folks, and um, this all really helps to uh, make this a reality for me. And I'm not at retirement age, but I know what I what I've dedicated for the past 12 years is something I can never change, which is to be a photographer and to share. And uh, thank you all. This is really means a lot to me. It really does. Um, so if anybody ever needs anything, just like inbox me on Instagram. That I'm very responsive there. You could always just, you know, hit me up or email me like Wayne or something. <laughs> That's fine, too. Uh Greg, oh, look at it. In the house. There you go. Uh, oh, look at Vahagan. He goes, welcome to the photo stream clubhouse. Oh, oh that's a cool. <laughs> oh, wow. Take it, take, it to, take it to clubhouse, Mr. Silver. Take it to clubhouse. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get to the clubhouse. A, oh, well, hold yeah. on now. Oh, hold come on. on. There we go. <laughs> wow. If you still hook you up, there you go. I need more sound effects. What's going on around here? <laughs> Let's give a big round of applause to the OG himself. Hey, Please pay Hagen, him his Hagen, respect. Hey, Vahagan got it rolling, and that's what it's supposed to do. So congrats yeah. on the full house tonight, Robert. Thank you. Well, you know, honestly, you watching your both your streams, right, um, really motivated me believe it or not sometimes i could only just say hi you know i'd watch while cooking dinner or something uh but it does motivate me and inspire me and that's the good thing about having good people in your circle right folks yep and um even if it's two people (laughs) right Derek knows Derek knows like i don't i have a very small circle uh and you guys are honestly more than i have like here because i just don't relate to a lot of people i like what i like and um photography is one of those things that is part of who i am so without it i wouldn't have met all of you and it was really you know what's really cool about it It what's really cool about it is just 20 years ago we couldn't do this that's right oh we we couldn't do that from people all over the world like we wouldn't be able to do this 100 percent 
I'm not going to tell you how old I am because we used to have party lines and, and chat lines on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, oh, I remember that. Him. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, Mahogany says, I just want to give Hi, I'm Susan. I enjoy oh. long walks on the beach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's right. I don't think that's, I don't think that's the Susan, case. Susan uh, says she's a size two, but she was a size 50. Way <laughs> off. Uh, you want to hear more? Chuck, more thin, thin, by the way. More thin. You want to hear more? Add more time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I remember that. <laughs> But oh Chuck, you do, you do. Um, I do have to give you your flowers. You are the, and what I meant by OG is like, yes, you know, you're you you do have a, um, how can I say, a presence about you in terms of, um, you deserve the respect that you give others, and yes. you do keep a, uh, how can I say, you know, you're kind of like, you know, you 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 you, you keep us, you know focused in order i don't know how to say it but you do have a great place and um your contribution is noted and felt yoda of the group right here yeah, I was going to say no, Obi Wan, no. Obi Wan, Obi Wan. You know what I mean? Uh, that I mean, that part looks like Obi Wan or whatever, but uh, or well, Yoda. Me, or... I'm the stream. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. anyway, but it is true though. You you are impactful, and we appreciate you. Oh, biography says you're the Godfather. Wow, mm -hmm. I can't play that. Uh, uh, did biography just uh, come up with a name? <laughs> I like the Obi Wan because he is kind of like you know. <laughs> All right, now, now, now I'm embarrassed. So uh... <laughs> now, yeah, he's getting a little red. Don't you call on, guys? But uh, Roy says he drives the photo community. Yeah, this uh, this is, and that that's something to be said and to be and to be grateful for. Absolutely. But you know what also drives it though? You know what also drives it? Everybody who contributes, watches, presses, likes. Yes. Um, speaks up, joins our panels. Yes. All of you, uh, Kevin, yeah. RBJ, all of you guys, like we've just connected our, uh, uh, through each other's streams. And I can honestly say, John and Wayne, when I go to Thailand, uh, hopefully we can share a drink <laughs> somewhere. And um, and it would be like just old buddies catching up. And Wayne, you're from Jamaica. My, my grandfather's from um, St. Martin. So, you know. Ah, it's a, yeah. I and love St. Martin. Yeah, he went from uh, uh to, from the south, then to Brooklyn. Met my grandmother, mm -hmm. and then that's how that all. Anyway, that side. Um, all right. Anyway, hey, well, I got a question. Hey. I got a. I got a, actually. Hey, yeah, go ahead. Do your thing, Robert. Real quick. I'm sorry, Kevin. If you do, you need. To oh, you're good, bro. You're good. Okay. You're good, bro. Copy that. All right. So let's get right to it. You already know what time it is. Hey, -o. wow! Hey, look yeah. at that. That's yeah, right. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. And a SpongeBob. Hold on. Thank you for your patronage. Yes, thank you, Hank. We really appreciate it. I got like the most dullest SpongeBob uh, sound bite. That was crazy. I remember early in the stream, Robert? We're loving you, baby. When uh, Chuck was saying, you got to do for more than two hours, three hours, four hours. You're at three and a half right now. Look what happened. That, that's why at five o'clock. That's what I. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, and it'll be all right. So, uh, I, just I'm, watching, I'm taking notes at everybody, and it, it, believe it or not, whether I immediately act on something, I listen. I'm I'm listening. I listen. I watch, and uh, so I'm seeing it. Kevin, did you have to? You just want to say something? Thank you, Hank. I really appreciate it. Oh, oh yeah, I just no, I just was uh, gonna ask the, for the guys on the panel that have a live stream, oh. and for those that are in the chat that have a live stream. Mm. Would you? I, I've been thinking on and off about starting one myself, um, but my question would be: if I did that, would it be better to just start a new channel for that, or just start on my current channel, just kind of have the live stream mixed in with the content that I'm, I've been doing for the last two years? Like, what would be your guys' recommendation for that? Well, well, you have name recognition on your channel. I mean, that would be a reason to do it there. However, yeah. and I don't know this algorithm crap. I don't follow it. I don't right. care right. or whatever. Right. Well, yeah, for sure. But there are people that say stream uh, live streams uh, hurt your 
I don't know. You, your I algorithm. Know. Right. I don't um, know either. I'm just saying that I, I would check that out. But you already have name recognition. If you just start it, you already have a whole passel of people yeah. that follow yeah. you that will immediately yeah. gravitate to it. <laughs> I agree, Robert. Yeah, then it, then I'll just have to find time to watch your damn stream during the week too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And that's what it is. And not only that, but now I'm you know for all of you, everybody here, anybody, and all the other people, I feel obligated now throughout the week. I'm constantly trying to keep up with all the videos everybody's dropping because I want to support the channel. And I will I, I, I will be transparent. There are some times that I just have my uh, ear pod in. I put your video on and I just listen to it all the way through. Uh, <laughs> unless there's, you say something that I, Oh, I need to see this or whatever, but uh, that's, that's the only way I can keep up with everybody. Uh, I feel the same way, Chuck. When I see you or Bahagan on, I'm like, let me at least just say hi, smash the like, Hey guys, I'm here, you know? And um, because it, honestly, let's, let's, let's think about this. Uh, everyone. It's the least we can do. It costs us nothing to press the like, to say hi, you know. That that's a that's the minimum. And um, three ninety nine. Uh, Wayne, right. Wayne, I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to add something here because I invited Malcolm in. Malcolm does live stream, but he's a Sony guy. I invited him on here. So when he's doing his thing, I think we should all visit so we can help his channel grow as well. Yep. Let's have a moment of silence for the Sony guy. Let's just treat him well in here. Everybody <laughs> play well. Everybody play nicely. Sony. Hey, hey, you, none of you would have these nice Nikon cameras. Sony exactly. <laughs> exactly. We need to play nice with Sony so they don't up the game anymore because we know how slow it takes Nikon to catch up. So we need to be nice with Sony. Yeah. Slow them down. <laughs> I have an answer for that. Yeah. Crickets. Crickets. Yeah, there you go. Uh, no, uh, biography is Chuck. Uh, you want to tell a little something about yourself? You want to go ahead and uh, share a little something about yourself? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. There's, there's nothing to tell. I, I mean, go, go, to my, no. go to my channel for that. Go to my unless, channel and you'll find out. Uh, unless he's talking about why I started my channel, and I don't know, other people may be tired of hearing it, but you know, I started it because I had nobody to talk photography with. You know, the only time I got to talk photography is if maybe there was a live stream, which there weren't really. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I said, OK, the best way to do that is to start a, a channel and start a live stream. Mm. So that prompted the whole live stream thing, you know. And the other thing about it was I kept thinking about how many times have I commented on a video and nobody would answer me. You know, who, well, who am I? Why would they? Right. But I thought, you know, I ask questions, serious questions. Uh oh, uh, now I'm in trouble. Hang on, no worries. Let me let me finish this real quick. Anyway, uh -oh. that prompted me to do the stream. My first two live streams, I had zero participants. Zero. Wow. I had one person I could see was watching, and you know, you have the little indicator ones watching. No comments, no anything. But uh, this is where I say consistency. I stuck with it. It didn't bother me. I talked to myself for a, uh, a couple of weeks, and all of a sudden, people started showing up. I actually contacted Vahagan because I saw him uh, uh, actually do the interview with somebody. It wasn't with Fro. It was another interview. And I said, hey, I'd like to be on the show. Well, that was pretty bold, wasn't it? <laughs> Who are you? Why should I? Is what I expected to hear. But anyway, he he, he was very obligatory. He let me come on the show, and, and it just took off, man. It, it, it's just consistency. Consistency. Maybe well, I'm the only thing on at night, you know, on TV at night, and and that that got it going. But I was just gonna say, if you want to get into this live stream gig, it's getting pretty packed. You're going to have to find a time slot because we are filling up the weekdays pretty right. quick here. Friday. So, Friday. Yep. Friday, I think, is, is uh, Kevin because I'm Thursday evening. Chuck? Uh, yeah, I've got, I've got Wednesday and Saturday night Saturday. covered. Okay. And Morgan's I think got Tuesday. But Morgan's got impromptu. He'll throw in there anywhere in the week, too. Yeah. I uh, thought, I thought, um, I thought uh, Z Wade had Fridays. Z Wade is. Or did he kind of just stop doing it? Yeah, he he's well. He's trying to figure out which way he wants to go with that. But that's cool. It, it, yeah, it's that's available. Cool. 
Um, and, and again, you know, that, that's what you just find you a slot somewhere and go for it. However, yeah, because it's not, it's not necessarily like, a, like you were talking about, Chuck, about the views, man, like yeah. I said, that's, I don't really care about that because anybody who's had, had a channel starting off, you pretty much have no views when you start off. So, right. you know, if I'm you have a there. developed channel already, you, you already know the ropes of it. So. I really don't care about that. It'd be more or less trying to find a right day, time. RBJ that, that, photography. That All right, I got to go, guys. Sorry. All right, All right Chuck. All right, All right. All right Chuck. Yep. Thank, Thank you, you sir. Chuck. Okay, see you Sunday, Chuck. Uh, real quick, this is a great suggestion. Hank says, bring in the girls, and he'll pay 30 bucks for a seat. What the? Hello. Whoa. Um, <laughs> but a lot, need a lot of Mario coins for that one. <laughs> for real. Um, <laughs> I don't know what Chuck was going to say, but I think he said my name for a minute, and he is gone. I don't know what he's going to say, though. Yeah, he's, he said RBJ, then that phone started going off. He had to step yeah. out. Hope I didn't get uh, him in trouble. Maybe I so will try to maximize people. <laughs> Robert, what's the max amount of people you got tonight? Uh, viewers? Yeah. I think I, I think I hit 28. I know I hit yep. 28. Yep, um, so we're try I want to try to hit that 30 again, try to hit 30. So if we, we can do thumbs that. up, so people been coming in and going out. So that's a good thing. That's yeah, good we got 28 thing. likes. So that's that's the best for sure. Thank you, everybody. Um, I'm seeing I'm, 30. 30 I'm likes. 30 likes. Oh, thir oh, oh, clearly my phone is back. Uh, is slowing. Okay, let me refresh this. That's what I was asking. I thought maybe more people had come in because if people cycle through, people are giving thumbs up. So we had 30, but I didn't see 30 people actively watching. So I figured. Some people already dropped off and come in, so that's good. Okay. Chuck is usually sign up at 30. You've been to get up to this level tonight. You have full house. That's one I like man. that. This is this is what I want. This is what I always wanted. Um, it was just trying to find us like a particular lane, right? I wanted to be unique, I didn't want to copycat anybody's um set up obviously I, I i know i'm the one going crazy with the sound effects that's my that's like a <laughs> signature usual, of my man. show you know, that's, that's, your, that's your thing man it makes you Thank unique you, yeah. are you, by the way speaking of that are you using the road the Procaster or whatever it is that? yeah the Rodecaster 2 the pro 2 oh the, the second one or the, okay right. yeah I, I immediately stole the other one to get this one and yeah yeah magnificent difference but they have the smaller one now so if you just need two channels, this one has four channels. Um, get that new one. It's like only four ninety nine versus like six fifty. Is it? Yeah. 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 It's same amp, same everything. If that was available, I would have bought that because I don't need four mic inputs unless I'm doing right, a studio right. thing, you know. Yeah. Um, but I love it. It's it's fun, and I just you know go quick. I could send you, um, Kevin, if you want. I'll send you the website. You could download all these sound effects for free. Right. Okay, that's cool. Because I, so, I I use. I already use uh I don't know if you uh StreamYard, I have StreamYard and I pay for that. I don't know if that's who you use. Yeah, yeah I use StreamYard right now, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's that's who I uh I currently use, but they wanted like another they want fifty dollars a month just for the ten eighty P and I'm like, Dang, that's expensive for ten eighty P. I'm like, geez. You know what? I, I pay that. Um and the so I appreciate everybody's donation because that helps me to pay this darn thing. But the yeah, it's, um, not cheap. it's not cheap. But when I did an important interview, I download each show. Like when we're done, I immediately download it and archive it. Um, so it does make a difference if you want to repurpose it, turning it into a vertical video later. You know, now right. you're now you're at least taking from 1080 from 720. And I did 720 for like four months. But then when I had like Matthew Matthew Jordan Smith on, I couldn't get like cheap video. I want the best video I could afford. Oh, for sure, yeah. yeah. You know, and then I just kept your life. Got to be right. And you get more people to be on your show at once. You get more people yeah. on. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. So find your footing. I did the $25 thing for like four to five months, and then I just switched it, and I haven't looked back just because okay. I like the 1080. Well, I have a question for all you experienced guys out here with the uh, streaming and whatnot. This is, my, this is the most difficult thing for me, so maybe you could give me some pointers. If you guys are watching me right now, you'll notice that my eyes are looking like all the, I don't know how you guys train yourself to look up at this lens, but I can't look at this lens. I find it hard because I can't see you guys. When I look at this lens, I can't see you. So I'm always yeah, yeah. looking down. So yeah, how do I, do I need to put my, do I need to put my ninja up there? My Atomos ninja up there? Um, so I, I wouldn't. What do I okay. do? I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Uh, 
I've gotten used to it because I just make the videos all the time, so I'm used to staring at the thing, you know. Um, but I do have a seven inch monitor right above it on a hot shoot, and uh, that's just to make sure I understand how the framing, lighting, etc. But I just talk, and you just get used to it, man. You know what I mean? You just get used to it. I mean, when you do video, what do you? What yeah. does everybody like, else think? When I'm talking to you guys, I look up at the camera before. The FX30 is on the tripod back there. And when I went off, I switched it to the um, A7R5, which is sitting right above the monitor screen. So if I do this, there's a laptop. It's right there. So I moved it down where I, so it can be closer. So if I'm looking down as I'm looking at you guys, then I can look up a little bit. Sometimes mm. I use the Shinobi monitor back there so I can look out there with the camera as well. So it's just a matter of which way to do. But like when I know I'm going to talk, I look directly to the camera. If I'm just right. watching, maybe sitting here looking at you guys talking, I can just look down. Mm-hmm. Talking to you guys is here. Thank you. you used to that. Yeah, I think overall in the in the, in oh. the whole panel, it's we lost somebody. We lost John. Um, we, we hit thirty watchers right now. Thank you, yeah. everybody. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm talking about. about. Thank I don't you, know everybody. About you guys. I don't know about you guys, but I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear anything Wayne said after he said FX3 and R5. I was like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I went deaf. I went, I went absolutely. I went deaf. I'm sorry, God. I went deaf. I heard so he's not too loud. Loud. Um, this is for Kevin, I'm sure, for having his own time slot. Um, uh, but Hank says it'll cost you, so be prepared. Um, ah. uh, pony up. No, <laughs> pony up. No, I want to uh, pay how much <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, you chuck until the girls arrive. Hey, that's what I'm um, hey. It won't be. Uh, it won't let me press the like more than once. Can you fix that? I'm on it, brother. Let me tell you, I'm on it. Okay, hey, I like hey, Rob. Them. You know that. You know the strangest thing, Rob. Is that you probably don't know my my first name is Robert. So when I keep hearing people say Robert, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I remember yeah, you yeah. telling me that, and uh, <laughs> but I was like, that's why I keep saying RBJ just to keep it like. You uh, right, right. Today. Yeah, well, I'm not even talking to the most important Robert. Though. They're talking about Mr. Nah, Silver. They're nah, not talking nah, about I'm just, me. I'm just a <laughs> <Robert, man. laughs> regular dude who decided to go full time and shoot myself financially in the face. Let me stop. Uh, Do what you love. Uh, the, okay. one you, the one thing you put in our face is all these nice little um, locations. Oh, it's a beautiful day out here to shoot today. I'm seeing palm trees and sun and everything. I'm like, then I look out my window in Michigan, me 40 degrees into today. Right, we get, right. We got back yeah. to, the, to the rip for some hot, some heat, but I'm like, okay, Rob, keep it up. Okay, it up, hey, you Rob. know what? You know what's funny though? Um, it was remember Derek. It was windier than hell. I mean, bro, it was crazy. It was, I did see the wind. I did see the wind. I did see the trees flapping, but still, mm-hmm. it was still green, green, and good weather. You know, we had we had uh, about four or five months of rain. That's why it's green. <laughs> it got yeah, over water. <laughs> Just the downpour, like for months. And man, we just now it just started again. Uh oh, it started again. And um, yeah, it, that's California. But that's all we really get is the uh, is the wet, you know. And we've had a drought forever and ever and ever. And um, so I'm kind of glad for the when I go hike when it, when when it's time to go hiking. Oh, it's about to be on a cracking. It's about to be on a crack because we're gonna. We have some waterfalls and beautiful trails. Everything's great. I just cannot wait for what the, when this rain stops. Are you are you taking us with you? Honestly, you over, with you? I'm honestly so overcast and raining weather is like perfect weather for you know going on trails and uh, for waterfall photography. Where it's uh, more overcast and it's not like the sun is just so strong on, on it. Oh, he knows he's in Seattle, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, Rob, you gonna, take, you gonna take us on those hikes? Uh, you, you sir, I I used to do hikes. I started uh, yeah. making them tough. Uh, thanks, John, for joining us. FYI, if he can see this, I hope he does. I really appreciate you joining <laughs> our our uh, discussion. Um, I used I actually have a thing called hashtag photo hike where I invite photographers because I I love hiking, but I never had anybody to go hiking with. So I I was like, why don't I start this thing called photo hashtag photo hike? And invite photographers who just want to get out of the studio, get out of the city, and just go hiking. And we t- do exactly what we're doing and hike. Uh, but I start ratcheting it up. It went from like a mile and a half, three miles, <laughs> six miles. Then 
I took Derek on like a 12 mile. I mean, I was just killing people. But <laughs> Derek, <thank> you, Derek. <laughs> I was, How far I was, is this? Dang. <laughs> yeah. But I was like, it's worth But t- Derek, you already know the locations were worth it, right? Yeah, the they, they were definitely were oh, worth yeah. it. If you, you, if you like walk on your, uh, really? walking all the way down to your knee or your ankles. Yeah, Derek showed up in like some straight up Nike walking shoes. I was like, bro, that is, I have like combat, like straight up, like, yeah, I was ready to go. And this, and this dude ready. showed up in some Nike walking sh- small shoes. I said, I bro, ready. that is not going to oh, work. Oh. And uh, he, I How got long did you laugh? How long did you laugh, Derek? Uh, I I had to make it. I had to make it. He's gonna leave me. He's gonna make it. I was carrying him. I wasn't gonna carry him. So <laughs> Robert was just going down. Robert was just going active. down. No, we we're like, oh, where's the exit? That way. Let's go. And yeah, uh, but yeah, he, yeah, go. <laughs> tell him about your feet, man. Tell him about your feet. What happened to oh, those man, feet? I had blisters like crazy. <laughs> down my feet. Just walking oh, up and down wow. the hill. The hills were, uh, they weren't too bad, but when they start getting bad and, you know. There you go, Kevin. You know, it is what it is. It wow. is what it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, that was, I knew that, that, me, I'm too, I, I, I overthink, when it comes to hiking, I'm like, okay, I'm going to be, I'm not trying to be hurt myself. I get the socks and the whole bit. Um, Ryan says, Mrs. Silver, great portfolio. Thank you very much. I just heard about you today from watching the Happy Vahographers live stream. Oh, man, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you, Vahography, for uh, for sharing. Sharing is Karen. That's what's so... Honestly, I do have to say this. <clears throat> that's what's been so amazing the past two months, I'm going to say. I think it's about two months, at least a month and a half, with this whole blow up of the community like really fast all the stuff that's going on vahography yesterday hit a hundred watchers right, right way and i believe he hit a hundred yesterday and exactly. like everybody's hitting milestones super quick when you hit your thousand sub i hit my five thousand sub and hit, what, 11 or something yeah he has 12 now 12 now yeah yeah, yeah he's over 12 so it's like all this i mean it's honestly kevin as soon as you start, you already have like a room full of people that are immediately going to smash the right. sub, smash the like. You know what I mean? And um, the t- we're Hank is having fun with the time slot thing, but that's what allows me to better support my fellow community members here because right, we're not right, stepping right. on each other's toes. You see what I'm right. saying? I used to do marketing Monday, how to make your bit your photography business profitable on Mondays and then Thursdays. I cut out Monday, stick to Thursday. I create content and then I just do the live stream to connect with all of you. And it hasn't hurt my numbers at all. Um I don't know I've seen strategies where like, oh a live stream channel, upload channel, but I haven't seen it hurt my numbers at all. Matter of fact, my analytics literally said, oh you're getting more subs because you're posting more content. Hello. That's a right, win. Right. Exactly. Yeah, you're, 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 you do short, uh, long form regular videos as well as these live streams together on the same channel. So I would imagine that it's, you know, you're kind of used to it. So. And, and, um, okay. Yes, absolutely. And I do shorts. I'll make sure. Oh, short, do you? Okay. Yes. Yeah. I def- Cause that the shorts, believe it or not, um, you won't get paid anything from them, <laughs> but you yeah. will get more subs. You do. Mm-hmm. I, I get sub counts. That's what I, use that for and then the long form people will retain it come back it's a slower but more um uh there's longevity in the long form videos right uh talking about your wildlife and you know all the stuff you do because yeah, people yeah. do want to know and then live just like chuck says and wayne says this is when we get to connect and talk to sh- you know what i mean right 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 break right, bread right. and yeah Cause I've, I've always i've always to tell you the truth like i i enjoy making like I do, I love photography first. I mean, that's my bread and butter. That's what I love doing. Not so much for other people, but for myself. And, but I've always loved this, this type of, this type of format where it's just like, mm. you, I'm not stressed out about, you know, making sure I got two or three, you know, different types of batteries on the field. I'm, just, I'm worried. I'm like concentrating on so many other things because trying to do video and photo at the same time is actually very difficult. It's not easy to do. It doesn't come natural. You know what I mean? 
to where Boy. doing these live streams type things where we can all get together as a community, talk photography. It doesn't matter what kind of brand camera you shoot, niche of photography you shoot. You're just, you're just here. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. And either that doesn't matter. And I really love that kind of a format because it's almost like an escape away from the normal type of content, which can be, you know, um, I, I, I love doing it, but it can be almost like a job almost because it's like, I'm, I'm trying to grow a community in that aspect, but it, this is more like an unwinding thing where we can all like get together, chill, ha, you know, I'm a, virtually and just shoot the shit. You know what I mean? And just yes. have, have a fun time doing it. You know what I mean? It, so, yeah, it's like where I wanted to start my, my live. And I, you know, said I, I had set it up for Thursdays at nine. Uh, okay. Uh, Central, which, uh, doesn't work out for this one. So I'm going to have to figure out a new, uh, new slot for myself because, uh, it, it, I've only done a few of them and a couple of them haven't been saved or been kept, but I've had some activity in them and that's been, been enjoyable to have that connection with somebody or have at least a conversation with them or help answer questions. And right. I, I want to continue it on as well as my regular uploads. And, and my biggest problem is finding the time in the day or the week to get a regular upload up and get that edit out because yeah that's that's how mine is right now because i do my regular content throughout the week right um, when my wife gets off of work uh because i work from home and then the like the weekend i want to be careful because that's my family time with my wife and my kids and i right. don't you know that that's pri that's priority you know what i mean so yeah absolutely yeah. <clears throat> yeah and that's where it is for me because because i've got uh, you know, I've got a full time day job, and then I, I come right, home at right. night and with the kids. And then when the kids go to bed, that's when I usually get time to come into the office and right. you know, work on edits or work on a video or record something. And then, you know, I started, I decided I'm going to start doing a live stream just to see what it does. And it's, it's like you said, it's you're watching a, a count of zero on the screen for a while, and but eventually somebody will, will land in there. And I've been sticking it for about an hour on those. And then before Wayne said, Hey, come over and check these guys out, so that's where I'm here with you guys well, now. You Right. You also have to remember when you're doing a live stream, even though you don't see anybody coming in, like there's people that are going to be on the replay. They're going to watch that on the replay. Yeah, absolutely. You know I mean? Yeah. So yeah, you got to remember that, that there's still going to be people. always have something to talk about and try to engage them when they come in on the replay. And that's, that's a tough, right. tough thing to do. It is. It is. Yeah. And and you always just see like, you're just talking to yourself for a while, but it, that's just part of the, the learning process of this. Yeah. Live that's part of the and, learning process for sure. You know, I did I, that for I, a long I love time. This format of being able to communicate with you guys and, mm -hmm have this interaction because it's it is a, it's a great community you guys you guys have built up and mm -hmm. you know I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here and i'm glad you guys are having me here and uh it, it works well i think so rob, yeah, uh, let's figure RB, out a new night our rob this is for you by the way about what he was saying boom uh and then uh john's saying thanks everybody what well, thanks me thanks everybody really i'm sure i think chuck uh, goes Chuck, yeah, it's, that's all right. It's either his cat or his bride. So uh, right, every time right. I check back in here, Chuck's MIA, M and M resupply, hundred percent. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Like, let me get my uh, M and M bag going. He has like the monster. Oh, there it is, right there. You can see it, lower right here corner. The M and M's in his in his. Yeah, uh, he's got his bag in there. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Bahagafer and Chuck are the two most unselfish, supportive YouTube photogs should channels i follow and it's not close i follow about 57 50 to 70 photog youtubers wow that's, quite a bit. Yeah. that's crazy well i hope you could add me to that list brother so um but that's okay we just met <laughs> uh thank you right there you go you deserve it man and tony's in the house awesome thanks man uh I'll, okay. he, he's a uh, fellow portrait photographer out in the bay area as well We've known there each other. I, I used to work at Mike's camera and he used to come in. We used to just, you know, share war stories and stuff. Uh, I'll get out on one of those hikes one of these days. Awesome. Please do. I want to do them again, but I won't do the 12 miles and kill everybody. I promise. Yeah, please okay. don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> it was, I'm not going to lie. It was, was it was beautiful. Man. It's great. Um, I what can't I enjoy do? it if I'm tired, man. <laughs> <laughs> Planet Fitness is 10 bucks, brothers. Come on, let's get to it. 
Okay. It got to a point where we were trying to beat the sun. Man. Like, it was yeah, dark. it got bad. It got bad. Yeah. And there was a canopy too. So it was just super creepy I, and dark. I, I kind of get this feeling that Rob is like like uber competitive and like to really get out and just really go hard at it 100%. No, for sure. So it, it's, 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 um, competitive. Go hard or go home. home. You know? Oh my God. Uh, but it, it is fun. But unfortunately, like I had, oh my, let me tell you this quick story. I had a photo hike uh, over in by Marin up there. Anyway, but the point is, I was like, all right, we're going to start here. And then we're at one beach and we're going to end at, at another beach. But we're going to hug the coast. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we had this one lady. She's aw She was great, sweetheart, everything. And, um, yeah, she had to Uber the way back. Okay. So, you know, she, she was down for the count. Okay. Hey, uh, Rob, the lady was 70 years old, Rob. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> 50 something, 60 something, but she said she, she was ready. Uh, you know, yeah. I, put, dude, I put the details in the description section on the meetup. Hey, it says rugged or whatever the thing does, you know, but you know, she, she had to Uber it back. I said, Oh my goodness. I hope I didn't kill her. So. Rob was like, get her an Uber. Everybody else keep moving forward. <laughs> it, was, it was cool. She came back for another one, though. Um, oh, hello man. to all. Tommy from Detroit. Nice, open discussion. Robert, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I really do. Yeah, Tommy from Detroit. Welcome. Yeah, that, there's a homie right there. Awesome. Yep. Detroit in the house. Detroit in the house. And then uh, Wayne says he's uh, ba back to the phone. There you go. Yeah. We understand, you know. Uh, where's yeah. Maz, man? Maz, man. I, I'm going to have to uh, tap out, guys. But uh, it was okay. nice being up here. I got to get yeah. up in the morning. But uh, yes, I sir. keep the YouTube right, flowing, though. So thank you, guys. Thank you Detroit. very much. Appreciate out. that. Really it appreciate right. it. <laughs> yeah, take it easy. Mean, you too, guys. Take have a good one. All right, you too. Yep. Uh, I wish Ro Maz would be here. That would be cool if he was. Um, the fire screen behind Kevin is very Ken Wheeler. There you go. <laughs> well, yeah, I thought about just throwing everything around and messing it all up and then hitting record. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You know, Actually, I, I hey, real like quick, though, real, yeah. real quick to address why I kind of had to, because this is actually my garage. I'm I, am I my, am I my oh. one car garage. Yeah. And I think I would, I mean, I guess it would still look okay, but behind this, this uh, drape right here is my garage door. So. <laughs> Wow, that's crazy. Well, I kind of, like yeah, I, yeah. So I kind of, I didn't want to just be in some empty, dark, cold garage. So I kind of mm. turned it into a studio. Nice. Yeah, the lighting, everything. No, it works. I would yeah, unless you, yeah. unless you said something, I wouldn't have known. I, I don't, yeah. you know, until works. until I can take great. one of my daughter's bedrooms when they move out. So I got a while. So. <laughs> hey, that, life goals. There you go, brother. Hey, exactly. how old are they? How old are they? Uh, Eleven and fourteen. So Come. I still got a while. Yeah, you got some. Okay. We'll see you next week on Thursday at five o'clock. Okay. No. <laughs> Same place. As they get into their teenage years where they don't want to be around daddy. So oh shoot, brother. Hey, that happened. Uh my daughter, um, she's in college now, but I I, I had mine when I was 21. And um, it was around eleven or twelve, where like all she wanted to know is how much can she spend to go shopping? I was like, oh boy, right, is, right. you know, and, and can you drive me? You know what I mean? And yeah. don't give opinions. Uh, so yeah, it, it was a cute, it's cute, but it's like, you wish they would stay six forever. You know what I mean? So. Right. I guess it's selfish to say, I mean, like I've always wanted a son to pass my, my name, but having three girls, I'm like, eh, I mean, I love my other two girls, love them to death, but I'm at the point where I'm like, you know, I, I'll, I'll be, 40 almost 50 i'll be 50 when my oldest one graduates so i'm mm. I, or my youngest one graduates so i'll be happy to kind of get my marriage back and yeah go to be like hey you want hey you want to travel out of state tomorrow sure go ahead you know you know what i mean like have yeah. that that ability again so uh, uh i think because i had my daughter earlier i was able to commit so much into photography and sacrifice so much because to be a full-time photographer in the Bay Area, like you, you have to be nuts or nuts. And um, oh, for sure, yeah. So, so if I did, if I was in your situation, I couldn't. I that, it would be a hobby, but because I'm able yeah. to, you know, I I eat lean. You know what I mean? Like it's just me. So, 
I can eat rice and be just as happy as long as I got the Wi-Fi oh, going. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. So I understand what you mean by that. But enjoy it while it lasts, brother, because it goes so It damn flies long. by. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Cooley. I think he's knocked out. I think the force knocked the force was with him. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can wake him up. I guess not. There you go. <laughs> but nonetheless, the uh uh but it it's it, it was a, I love being a dad. It was so you get to be a kid and like be cool oh, yeah, at the same yeah. time. So that's super awesome. That's why I, I we used to watch so much SpongeBob together. It was nuts. Anyway. Um back to photography. Right. We have a lot of Chuck's back. There you go. Thanks, Chuck. Yeah, man. I had to talk to my bride. There you go. There you you go. were looking at your M and M's, trying to grab some. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> Midnight. I'm eating M and M's and drinking coffee. <laughs> Whoa, that's a combination right there. Uh, hey, Money Tit wanted the. Uh, he wanted the link. Oh, okay. Oh, he wants to come. There you go. Yeah, he wants to yeah. come on. This is this is how it works. Now, now you got a live stream going, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Right. Absolutely. Oh, we hit, we went up to, I believe, 35. So oh, okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. Yeah. It was All right. So now, now everybody's going to bug you. You got to beat the record. You got to beat your own record. That's how you get locked in for hours. <laughs> is that what, uh, is that what motivates you sometimes? Yep. Yep. He said, yep. Yep. <laughs> I, I'll be honest. Uh, on Chuck's 10 hour stream, when I left, uh, probably six hours into it. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I, I I went to I fell asleep, came back. He was still going, and he looked like a zombie. But it was, really, <laughs> it, was nice. it was really cool to watch, though. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. uh, money, you can go ahead and press that link. We have space. We have uh, at least three to four more spaces left. Uh, Wayne says later. All adios, See you, Wayne. Man. Thanks Take for joining in. Man. He says he has to go hang with the wife. There you go. There you go. You've got duties, man. I got to get to bed soon. I got to get up in the morning to watch Gray's live stream. Oh, man. And uh, yeah, he says we hit 33. I thought we hit 35, but yeah, for sure, 33. Anyway, I'll see it later. But thank you all. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is um, quite amazing. Oh, Wayne said we had 32 likes. Great work hitting hitting the four hour mark. You are officially on board now. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's exactly what Chuck said. Now it's sixty. You have to do. I'm like, oh my goodness. But you know what? This is fun. I came prepared this time. I good. Prepared. Yeah. I ate a good dinner right before we logged in. You know what I mean? Did the whole whole thing. Um. So Kevin, you, you so you're already seeing some of the uh, characteristics to make this happen right before you're on. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, and, and all, uh, all the sh all the shenanigans that can happen, uh, uh, you know, the whole everything can kind of, you know, the Internet can go down for a second and all the all these other things that can happen during a live stream for sure. Oh, man. Uh, That's what makes it live. It's not. It is. Perfect. It is. It, yeah, it's not. Per and who wants it to be perfect anyway? You know I mean? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's what makes it real. Yep. It, literally, somebody said that earlier. Oh, it was. um. Uh, from your channel, Chuck, it was Ryan Luna. You know Ryan? Yeah. He says he, he came over because he from your – let me see if I can find that thing. But either way, yeah, he said the same thing. He likes that this kind of pers person uh, – how personable this live stream is and everything. And uh, he says uh, – oh, he found he found this channel through Vahography. That's what he did. Mm. So, so the community is working with each other, helping each other out, which is awesome. Uh, I did post a link, so if Money TTT wants to jump on, you most certainly can. And anybody else that wants to jump on, feel free to jump on on. And uh, is there a limit? Is there a limit for a live stream or no? Ten for the plan that I have, I believe, is ten people for the fifty dollars. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, like oh. hour wise. There is if you don't buy the paid plan. Oh, like for the free the free plan you're talking about? Then there's yeah, a limit the, how long you yeah. can stream. Well, not how long; it's how many hours in a month you can stream. So, oh, okay, okay. But I mean, you know, I would eat half of it up just, you know, last Saturday. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Sorry, folks, we're out of hours. Can't stream. <laughs> <All right. anymore. laughs> I'll see you guys in three weeks. 
you know, uh, <laughs> three and a half I weeks. Think, I think this plan has 50. Um, I know the $25 has okay. 50. And, um, but what wow. I do is I download it. I, I pay the. Done. Okay. Yeah. Cause I, I pay the $50 one. I pay what you do, the, the top, the, the 10 for okay. the 1080p. Copy. Okay. Yeah. Then, then, um, after the show, download it, erase it. Boom. There you go. You got your hours yeah. back. Okay. You know? yep. cool. That's what I do. Uh, Ryan comes in and says, do any of your day job bosses question your commitment to the job knowing your time spent on YouTube land. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's why you don't uh, tell your boss you're on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a boss, uh, but um, I do I do feel the pinch though. The first time I w did a four hour stream with Chuck and Vahagen, because um, I get up at 5 a.m. to hit the gym. That th I did feel that I'm not gonna lie. That was a that was a long five out five five a.m. I was like, should I get out of this bed? And um, <laughs> I felt it. That's why I, I want to do it a little bit earlier. But what about all of you? Uh, do they know what you do? Come out here and play with um, us like this. I just got off the oh. phone with my boss. Oh, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I j I'm jumped out of the corp uh, out of the uh, private sector, and uh, I actually. Um, work from home for, uh, with Amazon. So I don't really do too much outside of, uh, off of a computer at, from home. Uh, when I was in the corporate world, when I started my YouTube channel in 2019, 2020, right when the pandemic hit, mm. um, I was still for the first year and a half to two years doing YouTube on the side and then, uh, yeah, working and I kept it hush hush. I didn't tell a single person. I didn't tell any family. Uh, wow. and it just kind of, I started, I, I started getting people from my YouTube channel who would see me out in public and they'd be like, Hey man, I, I love you. You know, I love what you're doing and shooting your photography and you're doing take, you know, taking pictures of the ducks. I'm like, uh, Oh, that's cool. And he's like, Oh, you also work at so-and-so. And I'm like, yeah. Oh. And so kind of word, you know how it spreads like wildfire in a company that's where right. you're doing something. Yeah. So it just kind of got out and. And uh, luckily, most people were supportive. But my boss at the time, uh, he started. He followed me, and luckily, I was kind of cool. With, I, I was uh, cool with him to a point, and uh, he knew I was going to put my two weeks in because I medically retired uh, mm. from the job. Uh, and uh, that's when I started working for a Amazon online, and then just kind of took off. I've been doing the YouTube now full time with Amazon, uh, twenty hours a week doing that, and then twenty thirty hours a week doing YouTube. And uh, it's just kind of snowballing over time. And now that I'm making the the profitable twenty dollars a month from YouTube ads, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, it, it can, wow, you're yeah. a heavy hitter, man. <laughs> <laughs> it can snowball in about ten years. So you're on your way, brother. Yeah, but it's fun. <laughs> no, I don't do it for the money. Obviously, you can't you can't do it for the money, you know, because it's it's pennies. Uh, but it's fun to build a community of like minded individuals who love photography. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I just enjoy it. But my, my going back to the employer side of it, my boss, he was cool about it, but he was, he was almost like, you didn't tell me you'd had a YouTube channel. I'm like, I kind of didn't want you to know, <laughs> you know? So, Hey, hey Robert, but, I just hey, subbed to Kevin's channel. Kevin, I just subbed to your channel, by the way. Oh, thanks, man. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize you are doing Hey, Robert. Stuff. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You need to put you need to put Cooley on full screen and do a screen grab. Is he sleeping? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, <laughs> oh, that. That's commitment right there, gentlemen. I already sh I shot it. <laughs> Are you sure he's just not? It's not froze. Nah, nah. <laughs> that's not <laughs> very <laughs> that's, not that's great, dude. Oh, you that's, that's, that's gold. Let me try one more time. Nope. Okay. Well, I also have this. Okay. Nope. Nope. That doesn't work. No. 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 Okay. Well, I also do have this. No. 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 Bro. Bro. I don't know what to say. That was like World War Z going on right there. Nothing shook him. Wow. That's impressive. That is in tears, man. That's impressive. That's that's dedication right there. Absolutely. Oh my He's gonna God. wake up and be like, 
what you guys talking about? <laughs> we're you all, know, when he, the, we're the, all the next live stream, stream you do, and the, when he comes on, before he comes on, you can flash that up there. Welcome, <laughs> Cooley. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Absolutely. That would be hilarious. Mm, you guys are giving me too many, too many ideas around here. Okay. Man, I guess, I guess we're really that boring. Dang. Like, Crickets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, clearly. That's what he's thinking. No. Crickets, um, crickets woke he, him up. Crickets woke him up, man. Uh, oh, oh, my God. No way. No way. <laughs> Yo, Chuck. We that, have bombs going oh off and everything, bro. The crickets woke up. Holy. <laughs> Cooley, 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 check this out, bro. Um, I, I did gunshots, rifles. Bombs, uh, horns, everything. As soon as I pressed the cricket sound, you woke up. That was it. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, anyway, that was. Uh, this is making this four-hour stream. That was epic. That was that's that's right underneath Chuck's ten-hour stream right there. That would because yeah. we were sounding it off coolly. We were exploding. We were doing everything. Uh, <laughs> That was cool. And then I did a little chirping of the crickets. You woke up like, huh? <laughs> so uh, hey, wh where uh, are you at, Cooley? Like, wh where where are you at and what time is it over there? It is now 11 o'clock and it's the lovely town of Hobart, Indiana. There you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. The cultural hub. He over here America. laughing too. <laughs> how, uh, how far is that away from Indy? Uh... How about three hours? Three hours? Okay. Yeah. Greg I, uh, took a uh, trip out to Indy and uh, for <laughs> other job that I had, and they had the uh, five hundred, uh, the large track. Yeah. Uh, that was pretty cool. Oh, it out there. But, man, Look at this! Look at this! Need the thirty-three Raptor ignition sound of a super heavy at liftoff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were just having some fun, Cooley man. Um. And then he goes, asleep on duty? Ew. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, Ryan says, thank you for the feedback, Kevin, by the way. Uh, did you get? Did you respond to one of it? Maybe you did earlier. Yeah, right? on the, on the what do, you, do your bosses, uh, the oh, question. Oh, oh, that's oh right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. And by the way, Vahagan says, if you pay, it's unlimited. For the um, oh the plan or for the streaming? Yeah, I believe for the streaming. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna honestly say you know I don't like having to pay another fifty bucks a month on something, but I do get what I like out of it. Yeah, uh, if, you get, what you, if you get enough out of it, yeah. Yeah, if you got us now, you got to stream. <laughs> Just because yeah. if you do it four times a month, that's like eleven dollars a stream or twelve dollars. You know what I mean? So well, I think eventually as the, you know, as time goes on, they'll drop the tiers. You know what I mean? They'll, they'll move some of the stuff that's in the pro plan down, you know, and, and like the right now, I think for the $25 plan a month, it's, you only get the 720 P. Mm. I mean, I think that's crazy. I mean, like I said, I think it should be at least 1080 standard. Mm. Uh, but you know, cause for 50 uh, bucks a month, just for the 1080 P I think is ridiculous. I know I'm, just, I'm, I'm actually thinking about adding a second camera. Cause if, if I'm paying for it, you know, at the $50 level, yeah, um, you want to get the most out of it. I want to get a second camera. And what I'm thinking is having a product photography table, right? Yep. So when I do my product highlights, boom, we could do live unboxings. How, how would you guys like that? Right. Yep. And that'd be kind of cool. And just have a top down lay flat kind of a situation. Boom. Camera B. That'd be kind of cool. Yep. So. Let me let me give myself a air horn. <laughs> anyway, that's just something I'm thinking about because you pay for the two camera setup. So, mm -hmm. and I don't. Yeah. Anyway, I don't think they had in mind people were using uh, their uh, three thousand dollar camera to do live streams. I think they just figure like, hey, you can have regular, you know, webcam on your your laptop or your computer because or else right. they would have went to like four K. You know, YouTube plays 4K, at least. Mm. Yeah. No, you're right about that. You're right about that. Vahography just said, Maz is boarding. 
There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hold on. Let me give. Let me. I have. Some, there we go. Four <laughs> maws, man. He doesn't need GPS. He has Vahagen on on deck here. Yep. <laughs> He's boarding. He's got two bags. Yeah, one's a carry on. You know, <laughs> he's over there, play by play by play over there. Uh, uh, wow, a six hour six hour delay. Mm. Oh, we yeah. had. Oh, yeah, that's that's. Oh, that's right. There's big storms in the Midwest right now going on. Mm. I forgot about that. That may have a lot to do with it. Mm. Oh, I didn't even think about that because we have rain, but it's not really that bad here today. I can't. It's it's an interesting time with all this weather. I'll tell you that. It's yep. Really um, it's messing up my time. I want to get outside and shoot with these new lenses coming. I want to get outside. Right. <laughs> yeah. Use the sixteen to twenty eight. That's not a studio situation. I mean, I could do something cool with it, but it's not my intention. Um, I want to do some street stuff. Walk through Chinatown a bit. Um, walk by the Golden Gate Bridge. You there know, you exactly. You know, bring a tripod out. <clears throat> and um, watch I'm out for these for weather out here. What was that? I want, I want to find the weather out here to shoot. How I mean, is it? Well, if we get some storms, it's epic. I mean, the I, the lightning, oh. and the, the storms out here are epic. But we've been really patchy this week. We finally got some in. Haven't been able to go out and shoot them, but been waiting for just a big storm cell to come through that I can go drive out and it's so flat you can get out far away from it and just capture the whole thing coming at you. Wow. Oh, nice. Like a storm chaser. Really situation. cool lightning shots you can get out of them. Dang. Okay. Well, keep me po tag me in that. I'd like to see if you ever do something like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah one on my channel that has it, has it on there. On your YouTube? Yeah. I got a video out there. Oh, no, but... no. Hmm. So, Malcolm Walker. What's your channel called? Malcolm Walker. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Wise guy. No, <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. Cool. All right. Just subbed. Cool. Gee whiz. I walked right into that one. <laughs> hey, what's your name? <laughs> hey, Robert. I'm going to get out of here, too. I got to get up in the morning. Got to watch Gray's. See how Not much that. John complains about the Z8. Well, you know, it's always... I, I just want to see what he has to say. I, it's oh. not the camera he wanted, I think. But anyway... Man, thanks for letting me uh, come in here, and uh, I hope I didn't aggravate you or everybody else. But, uh, yeah, you, you're up and running, man. This is it. Thank this you. is the start to bigger numbers and everything else. Derek, you, it's so nice to meet you, man. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, you're ever traveling through Connecticut and going to be here for six or seven months, uh, you know. <laughs> six or seven <laughs> months. Yeah, let me see. Yeah. Oh, time. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'll be right there. No, yeah, yeah, I, can, right, I can carry a lot of stuff. I got, I got, I got the weight on me. I got the. <laughs> well, no, I wasn't even thinking about that. Just, just sitting in here, uh, you know, be, being a, a sidekick uh, makes it so much easier. Mm -hmm. um, I'm surprised Robert hadn't said, you know, uh, Derek, rather than uh, stream from home, why don't you come over here? Uh, he doesn't live as. Uh, Trust me, I have a lot of ideas, and Derek knows. Like we talked about a lot of things, and um, but right now he's what? How many minutes away? Forty? About forty-five minutes away. Yeah. Yeah, okay. not terrible, but definitely not like oh, I'll see yeah. you in five minutes. You know what I mean? That's, yeah, it's not a leave at midnight after the stream and drive home kind of distance. You're right. All right. No, no. All right. You'd be hearing that, you know, so. just beaming in your face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and that, I, that's what I'm seeing right now. I'm seeing stars. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Um, we we I still have 27 people in here, and uh, can't go anywhere. You're locked, man. You can't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm noticing that. I'm think I'm starting to hear 10 out. No, let me stop. <laughs> I'm starting to hear. 10 hours. <laughs> but Chuck, what? thank you very much for uh stopping by. Of course, yeah, your man. contribution is always welcome. I'll see you on your stream, <laughs> uh, Saturday. Saturday. What the heck am I doing Saturday? I can't remember if I have a shoot. But either way, Saturday evening, right? Is that Saturday? Yeah, evening? yeah. Just look. Just just show up when you can or you want to. Really, uh, no big deal there. Uh, but I, I appreciate anybody that stops by. You can stay as long or as short as you want, man. It doesn't matter because it's kind of a rotating table, and we just 
keep the keep the chat going. That's all it's what it's about over there, at least on my channel. Good to see you in here, Kevin, man. Uh, oh, good you know, to see you too, Chuck, man. Kevin, been kind of busy lately, and last that's why I haven't been on your stream in about a couple, like week or two weeks. It's been no, busy. No, no, uh, no explanation necessary, man. We all have lives. Life comes first, and I tell people that all the time. And Cooley and Malcolm, man, you 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 gotta, and you've had who? John Ishy, uh, yep. the Hog, I mean, got Wayne, uh, Greg yeah, Wayne. Corker. Wayne, um, uh, RBJ, uh, yeah. I mean, man, Brian, it's great, man. Brian see, Luna, wherever he's at, I think he's see, still here. And all these folks are going to go talk about it and they're going to bring more folks. So get ready. So all what right. I'm telling you is it's going to be harder and harder to get out of a live stream once you get it going. Uh, <laughs> I, I thought about that, especially with this coming Thursday. I'm like, all right, I'm going to have to leave a little early so I can get back here. I'll set up the night before. So as soon as I get home, I just turn it on, you know, there you That's go. I set the night before. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do exactly that. Um, and, but we're going to, it's going to be uh, that when that entire week, we're going to be on, how can I say firing off on all cylinders. Yeah. For after that Z8. So, yeah. yeah. So get Shoot. your right, Chuck, <laughs> man. Yeah. Because yeah, you're right. Next week is going to be a barn burner. Hundred percent. So we got six days, seven days, something uh, like that. five days, eight hours, five thirty-four days? minutes, thirty-three <laughs> minutes. Oh, <laughs> Lord, I'll tell man, you. right down to the. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah. crazy. Okay, well, it can't come fast enough because I'll be quite honest. I can't wait to be, you know, sh shut up with these rumors and talk about what's what it is for sure. Then you know, we start fighting about what it is. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> right. You know. Yeah. This is what this is it. This is, this is it. And then it's like, <laughs> I don't want that. Yeah, like, yeah. Always yep. someone. So yep. that's like uh, the NFL draft. Have you seen you watch the drafts? No. The drafts? Oh yeah. Yeah. It was like, yeah, oh, it, I want this player. You know, and all of a sudden they get somebody else and I want like, this about it. Yeah, I want this player. It does so many frames a second. What? I want this player. It does this many megapixels, you know. Yeah. It, it's getting to be that that ridiculous for sure. Uh, well, you'll, you'll you can't please everybody, and you're always going to have at least one troll. I mean, every time I'm not uh, on the panel in Chuck's stream, there's always this one person that's just always got to start something, and it's just like, really, <laughs> really? Is it, same, is it the same person every time? <laughs> it's the same person every time. Uh, yeah. Oh god. Uh, Which I think most of it, most of everybody just ignores him. So it, it's who cares? But there's always with that one person. Hey Ryan, uh, Z Wade is uh, again. He's he's fine tuning his channel. Uh, he dropped a couple of videos today. Uh, I think that's what he's uh, concentrating on and trying to figure out where he would go with a, a live stream. So uh, hopefully we'll see him real soon live. Yeah. He, he still he still drops in on the live streams, but you know he he's concentrating. He's doing his thing, and uh, you know if, if something doesn't align with his schedule, then that's just something you know that isn't going to happen. So, but yeah, love Zach. He's a good guy. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm looking forward to meeting him one time, and um, looking forward to just seeing where all this goes. Quite honestly, I'm very excited. Um, I want to do the YouTube thing. Like my part of my goal is to go full time. Yeah, and just go hard in the paint, and um, so this is part of it. I've already transitioned my time schedule to. That's why I've been way more consistent with uploads plus streaming. And uh, to your point, Chuck, the consistency. That's it. And just well, one foot in front of the other. Yep, yeah, you can almost say I'm full time now, but I don't want to be full time. But it just somehow is happening that way. But maybe it'll slow down a little bit here in a couple of weeks. I don't know, but I'm enjoying it. And that's it for me, period. There you go. If I don't enjoy it anymore, it doesn't matter. You know, I, I'm, I'm done because, you know, I'm not going to let this control my life emotionally, that is. Yeah, you have to enjoy what you do. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Craig. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Craig's and, a great uh, guy, too. Awesome. Thank you very much. And, uh, and any support helps, let me tell you. And it's not taken for granted. Um, to your point, Kevin, what you said earlier, 
dude, like when you start this, as as you know, you know, you guys have a thousand subs. So same with you, uh, Malcolm. It's like the work it takes to do this. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah, it, it, it's it becomes, a lot. Totally, it becomes a little a little fun project to full time overnight. Mm. Yeah, you know, I, with the don't do upload videos. Those take forever. Like you have to edit it, shoot it, come up with the script. What are you gonna do? And da 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 da. Set up a photo shoot with the model. Then you schedule the. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot. It like is, I've, I've, I've I had to talk with somebody about this before, and he 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 um. He brought it up to me before. He's like, uh, he wanted me to like do more traveling for my videos. And I normally shoot within an hour of my home. And I brought it up to him. I'm like, dude, you got to understand something. Like, I first of all, I have other priorities. I have a wife and two kids, one and two. For a, uh, a talking head, like if I make a video where it's a talking head just like this, I can shoot, edit it, and upload it. If it's just a pre-recorded video and not yeah. a live stream, I can do it within an hour or two. But the ones where I actually go out into the field and plan from planning it to traveling to filming to editing to all that stuff, it takes like 20 hours just for a 15 minute video. So it's yeah. it's a lot. It, and people don't see that. I started out was just making you know, the videos that spend the whole week on them and, and, and what little free time there is. And then you right. edit it for 20 hours and it's just it, you put right. so much effort into it in the beginning. And it's yeah. I, I, and then for the for, for most YouTubers, for the first year to two years, you're doing it with for not even a penny. You're doing it for free. I, you're, yeah, you're not I mean, making I, anything off of until it. You, until I've been, you I've been at it for four years. Yeah. I've been plugging away at it just slowly four years. And, you know, just it seems like this this last couple of months, it's it's I wouldn't say the pace has increased on my channel necessarily, but I've been trying to be more consistent in the platform. Yeah. And, and that's why you should, that's why anybody, cause you'll always have the very, you know, slim minority, the 1% that just blow up within six months or something right. like that. But for the vast majority of creators, that's why you got, you can't do it for the money. You can't do it. You can, you, you can only do it because you enjoy making videos because you enjoy oh. photography. You enjoy right. share, sharing something, sharing a message. That's yeah. why you got to yeah. do it. Yeah. The passion has to be there. That's a hundred percent. Right. Exactly. That's what yeah. feeds your belly, not the food or the money. It's the passion behind it. Um, right. You know, clearly Chuck, you know, you can hear his passion. Everybody here, honestly. And um, Derek, you know, I understand right. your grind, you know. So, yeah, it's all about a passion. And uh, that helps you get through the the lonely nights of right. why am I not monetized yet? You know, well, and, to, to be honest, to make any kind of to make any kind of money as a full time YouTuber, it's it's not you have to have multiple sources of income you can't just do it on ads in order no. to make youtube oh, yeah. a full-time gig just from adsense you have to be getting like a hundred thousand views per video like oh, that's 100%. the only way to do it yeah the money doesn't come getting, from adsense it comes from no, sponsors no. and sponsors and, yep Patreon, right right uh, also, ad, right yeah. Yeah. Is, and, you know we make fun of people all the time for their presets and things like that you know the filters presets but, you know, that right. is another source of income within YouTube, and that's why people do it. I'm yeah. not going to, you know, we, we may laugh sometimes or whatever, but the bottom line is it's their channel, and they're making it work, right. and there right. you have right. it. I'm not mad. You know, yep. you know who inspired me to do my own shirts just to self-brand myself better? It was freaking Jared mm -hmm. Poland. Shout out to him. Mm -hmm. I got my, yeah. this, you know, this is my merch. I got merch. I saw it on my, on my channel. Yeah. yeah, so it's like. I see what works. I like what I do. Be, uh, God forbid I can actually eat off of doing this. Why not go for it? And yeah. I'm not mad at people. I have presets too. I, oh, should, uh, yeah. So it's like, I, you know, this is the, the infrastructure is created for us to be able to benefit and win. And if we're doing it in a way in which we're trying to inspire help, and honestly, authentically help others, I say win, baby, win, you know? Well, that was as long as you're, as long as you're doing it for the right reasons, and you're you're doing some, you're you're making content ethically and morally, and just being a good person, and and like yeah. not like being being transparent with your audience and the people you're engaging with. That's the most important thing because yeah. what's what's the point? What's the point of having a YouTube channel? And, and if you're never if you're gonna be somebody you're not, you know what I mean? Nobody, no people can see right through that shit. Well, you know what I mean, like people can, can, and that's can why see. that's why those people don't have live streams and don't go on live streams, right? Because people can see right point. through you. Yes, yeah, you you, you are going to sh show up in a live stream, and it may not be the you that you portray in your videos. 
Right. And again, you're going to find that you're going to have a lot of people that are going to talk about that. You know, Mm -hmm. are you, is he really this nice guy that I see on, they don't care until you go live and then you're going to show yourself, but it makes a big difference. You're exactly who I expected you to be, blah, blah, blah. And and you just got to be honest all the time because it'll come back to bite you if you're not, you know, there are no, there are no edits. I mean, yeah, you can edit this, but uh, the bottom line is really there are no edits. You say it, <clears throat> it's there. It's there for posterity. So you, you just got to be careful what you say and uh, be honest with everybody. And yeah. it shows, you know, yeah, it does. the real you comes through in, in life. I, strugg- I struggled with that in the very beginning of YouTube when I was just trying to figure out who I was. Uh, and now it's just be- it's becoming more natural to talk. But like I said, the editing, you have to, you have to, because in the very beginning when social media, everybody knows when social media first rolled out, it's just like, it's so, I don't know. It's so surface level types. You know what I mean? It's like, it, now you shouldn't like just go out and like air your dirty. Well, nobody does that. Nobody should air your dirty laundry on social media. Like no. you should, most of the, tell you, most people should keep their private life off of social media. I would that's, agree. That's my opinion. But you shouldn't, there's some things that you just shouldn't say. Mm-hmm. And but to be genuine doesn't necessarily mean you have to do those things. It just right. means be different, be different, be unique, be yourself. And, yeah. you know, that's how you'll grow. You know, Ryan Luna said, I, th- uh, I think that 95 percent of YouTube photogs do it. Uh, well, you put it up there. I don't even have to yeah. read it. Go for it. No, go for <laughs> I, it. Right I, now. No, I, I, <laughs> I, agree. I, <clears throat> I agree with you, Ryan. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that either. It becomes another source of income, possibly. Plus, right, right. it's marketing yourself for whatever you're offering. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, well see, that, that comes out. Hey, Ryan. Well, Ryan, really quick. I just wanted to like people. That's the problem, though. Is like it's not even a problem. If you're right, I think 95 percent of YouTuber photographers do it for marketing themselves, not to or not make money directly from YouTube. And Chuck makes a good point that there shouldn't be anything wrong with that. You know what I mean? Like oh. people, people want to bash people and call them sellouts because they're marketing themselves. But ah. if they're doing it like, like in an ethical and morally right way, who cares? Like everybody oh, wants they- to, everybody wants to make money doing what they love. And if it's what they love doing, who are you to say anything otherwise? You know what I mean? So, yeah. 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 I mean, again, back to the point that I said is a God forbid they can make money off of what they enjoy doing. Yeah. And, yeah. And who, uh, who wouldn't who wouldn't do that? Doesn't mean you have to be a YouTuber, but who wouldn't want to make money doing what they love and not have a boss? Not have yeah. to wake up and go to a job you hate, to a boss I'm, you can't stand in life, gentlemen, to gentlemen, coworkers you can't stand. Nobody totally. wants to do that. Imagine all six of us right now actually get paid, lights stay on to do exactly what we're doing this very moment. <laughs> okay. You know, how many how many bags of M&Ms would Chuck have in the background? You know what I mean? Like we'd be really I mean, come on, like let's be we'd be naive to say we wouldn't want that. Uh, And it's go for it. I'm sorry. No, so true. You're absolutely right. And, you know, like uh, I say, look, I'm not out to make money on YouTube, but, uh, you know, it's nice that there may be some pennies or some dollars to uh, to gain from YouTube. But. In all honesty, I mean, for somebody like me, I'm just putting it right back into the channel. And people ask, well, how, is, how do you put it back into the channel? Well, Restream costs $500 a year, you know? Uh, so, so month, I, do the math. Yeah, yeah wow. so I, I'm not complaining. I mean, but uh, the whole point is, is that it's nice when some of that burden is taken off your shoulders. So, oh, sure. you, yeah. you know, I mean, it, we, we live we live in such a the day of the, or the technology era that we live in, dude, it's, it's, it's so mind blowing. Like 20 years ago, we couldn't do this to 10 years ago. Well, 10 years ago, maybe, yeah, we could, but like, there's no other era right now mm. to where you can literally make 30, $40,000 a year sitting in your pajamas in your home mm. online, yep. online. You know straight, what I mean? Yeah, I know. Or more. Like, Some people do we, li- we live in yeah. such a, yeah. With like, some people like people, people who just dish diss that are just jealous. That's just my opinion. hundred percent hating. And look, this is a good example. McKinnon is really good at keeping his private life out of his content. He's a different yeah. level guy uh, and, and natural, but yes, you could totally balance the two. Me. I want to do more traveling. Uh, mm-hmm. I definitely don't think by the time I can retire and 
unfortunately America would be affordable to retire. So I have to, you know, I'm thinking about like, can I do this and be elsewhere and live more? I have no, I live in a small spot. Oh, hold on. My, um, let me change my battery. See what you guys are doing. Way to go. I know. Can you believe it? Look at my face though. Wow. Uh, give me a second. But yeah, that's just going, what, what I was just saying is that I just think people, if you want to start a YouTube channel, if you want to start, you know, trying to dip into making any kind of money, not saying that you should do it for that reason, but like now is the time to do it. Like, it's like now is the time to get in and, and, and give a, give a message, you know, sure. say something that find something, a passion you enjoy doing and then share that passion because down the road, you don't know what it could lead to. You don't know, you know, and that's why I tell my kids, like my oldest is like 14, she's 14 and she sees me the last two years doing this YouTube thing. <laughs> she's like, dad, that's so cool. Like, I would love to do that. I'm like, eh, you know, finish school. That's, that's first, you know, do your school yeah, thing. Yeah. If you want to start a YouTube channel, you know, I think it's, I think the youngest is 16. You can do it. I think it's by oh. YouTube standards or the, uh, the what is there's that kid that makes millions of dollars. He, all he does is open up. Yeah. But he doesn't have authority over his income or anything. That's his parents. Like, I think it's oh. to start a YouTube channel. I think you had to be 16 to start oh. an account, but I, I don't know either oh. way. Um, I think it's good. I think there's a there should be a balance because every, everybody should be able to do it. Yeah, they but he doesn't have money. that's authority over his income or anything. His parents, like I think uh, it's Wayne. We got feet. We got a. We got a. We got a YouTube. Okay, okay. Got I'm back. Hey, hey Vahagan just brought up a good point too. Talking about uh, you know if you want to get uh, if you want to get people fast and you want to start really political uh, channels. Yeah, uh, yeah you, you start a political <laughs> yeah. channel or a dating uh, or finance. Finance but, too. but uh i mean but there are consequences to that because man do you want to live under the gun like that uh because no matter which side of the fence you're on as far as a political channel you're gonna have haters like there's no tomorrow right. and if and you have go after you personally your bank yes account, yes and yes. yes. you'll get flagged half the time you're gonna get flagged uh copy oh i don't even want to get started well, but there, I mean, yeah. it, it, I would say getting onto YouTube right now is is there seems like a lot of the, the creators have been doing it for say four or five years successfully. They're 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 starting to backpedal. They're starting to come come off the platform a little bit, mm. and and slow down, and that's opening I up doors for trying. a lot of a lot of you know channels that are much lower subscriber counts to to step up. Yeah. Well, the algorithm, not you know, for people who most people, you shouldn't really care too much about the algorithm, but the algorithm is always changing. And now it doesn't. It used to be in the very beginning, it mattered about your subscriber count. Like the higher, the more subscribers you you have, the more it's going to push your content to those subscribers. So if you got thirty thousand subscribers, it mattered because you were getting closer to thirty thousand people watching your videos. Now it's different. Now you got people who have five hundred subscribers getting the same, you know, 10,000 views on a video. Like it doesn't matter about your subscriber count anymore. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. all about the views. Yeah. yeah. You know, the views. That's where they, that's what you get paid. The, uh, got, uh, yeah. AdSense looks at views and that's it. They don't care about the subscriber count. So hundred percent. Again, You know, AdSense isn't going to add up until you're, you know, we were talking about that earlier. Oh so yeah. Like a hundred thousand views per video. Yeah. You, you got, yeah. you got a million. You have views to be getting that per month. Or something, you know. Yeah, I'm saying that's, that's why I said it has to be multiple streams of income. Why we said about the political and financial channel? Yeah, people watch those things, and and there's a couple of people I've seen a channel. They don't post a lot of videos. One in a couple of weeks or so, and it's so many views on that stuff. The political stuff, you know. I said if anybody want to do that, you can be out of the country and do that, so people can't hunt you down. Because there are some crazy folks who there are. try to back check you and figure out where you live and all that kind of stuff. So, so, yeah. so, so what we're doing here is we're trying to tap into that type of, uh, uh, phenomena, you know, people go to those channels to vent. I mean, that's what they go there for. They've got somebody yeah. that shares their opinion and they can go on there and just vent, 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 oh, vent, vent. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's what we're looking for in this community, not the venting, but to be able to go on to anywhere in this community and talk and actually be able to talk, not just be talked to. So, yeah. And, yeah. I think, anyway. I, I guess that goes back to what you used to say, Chuck, about it's a, it's a 
curse at the it's a curse too to have you know to grow too large because yep. then it becomes less about the community yep. you know what i mean because then you're you're you know you, you're swamped and you're swimming and you're getting lost in a sea of hundreds of thousands of like uh comments and like there's there's no way of really having that formal you know talk that you know you're so used to having as a as a small channel so there is a core yeah, of folks that, 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 that are consistently yeah. it, watching my streams and i mean i can't tell you how happy i am and you know that, that and that's awesome seeing the same people yeah and uh so that's where that uh, comment comes from is i don't know how yeah i know i know where i not laughed earlier when i saw it man <laughs> what is it about a live stream i can't let go man <laughs> um you're having a good time there's nothing wrong with that yeah exactly yeah. man uh but you 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 have these people that are constantly uh in your streams you enjoy them being there they have you know so much to contribute in the chat and everything else that's going on and what what happens when you have five or six hundred viewers you know watching your stream yeah. how do you pay yeah. attention to the people well, it's like that, that, that it's like photography you. It's like Vahography just said, though, those bigger YouTubers, all they're doing is taking the super chat questions. They're not, you know, that they're, yeah, they, that's, that's all that time they got to do is uh, super uh, chat questions. And some of them are so big, they Everything. only take super chats above a certain amount. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. And I, I, I can't do that. It, it, it still no, no, me. Be, it still humbles me to get a super chat. It, it honestly well, does. Absolutely. Yeah. So right. When it blows up, if, you will. Huh? Because I said, when you blow up, you will because you won't be able to answer all the questions so you have to start sitting tears and yeah saying, i know I I, I I i struggle with that not even you know having an idea of how to handle that uh because again it, the great thing about it is just like right here you got a core panel of people i mean and, and you're going to see a lot of these faces coming back and back and back but what, what if you have 500 people that are watching your stream and they want to be on the panel as well if you're still doing this this way Wow. which I will be, I don't know yeah. how, I don't know how to answer that. I mean, how do you be fair? Because somebody's going to feel slighted. You know what I mean? Right. And well, I don't want anybody. Majority, to be, right. Because I you can only some, have so many people, uh, you know, on a panel and you can only, you know, you'd have to have to start having moderators in there to, to moderate and everything. Like it, it'll become a very big uh, machine. Production. You know what I mean? Production yeah. Yeah. at yeah. that point, you know, to where it becomes have, less personal screen time yeah because yeah. you sometimes i said you know if i'm going to be on here if other people want to come in i'll pop up so other people can come because that's the only way we can do it if we yeah. put a full screen and people are asking questions but sometimes the questions get lost in the mix but well, have you ever end, have you ever been in it have i because i like there's been a couple times where i've been in a live stream of a like a very large youtuber and like you go to time you'll know, comment something and then within seconds your comments gone out of it yes. like you're it's out of there <laughs> Like, yeah. you know, so it's just like it gets lost That's in a sea those, of comments. Look at this here. The things that they pay attention to. Look at this. The Raiders chat sports group with I mean, 20 to 40K a stream. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Yeah, mm. yeah there cool. are. Thanks, Roy. I think it is, too. Um, but, you know, now it's out of control. I mean, I don't mean out of control. It's out of my hands. It's could be what it's going to be. Um I guess I could go tick off a bunch of people. <laughs> <laughs> Knock it out. But Chuck, you hit over a hundred, right? You hit over a hundred or. Yeah. I, I, on one or two streams, only one or two. Okay. Uh, well, and cool, and I got to tell you, I am always behind in the chat. And, and if it wasn't for, you know, Jeffrey, Jeffrey's in here constantly with me or anybody else. Um, the, I, I'd be lost because they're telling me, hey, man, uh, so-and-so said this, so-and-so right. said that. And I feel bad having to skip comments. I really do. But I want to give everybody some attention, you know, uh, again. You know, they have they have a right to, you know, speak their mind and get their comment uh, either read or whatever. So, anyway. Right. Yeah, Take it I easy, don't Ryan. There we go. Craig says $50 right, uh, uh, to join a panel. That's what I'm talking about. No. <laughs> So that's one way for you, uh, Chuck, to manage your, your 500 viewers. Yeah, yeah. I can't even imagine asking somebody to do that. If that goes back oh. to, I might as well go listen to the other channels and just add comments after the fact that never get answered. 
<laughs> well, it's also humbling to see even like the the bigger guys take notice. Like I wouldn't say bigger I'm YouTubers. Trying. Like, well, like uh, you got Peter Gregg that's coming in now, and you got ordinary filmmaker Simon over Thanks, there. Like, Ryan. You know, I'm like we're we're having a like the community is just growing. You know what I mean? And and people are noticing it, and that's what's really cool. And uh, you know, we all have well, different uh, backgrounds, places all over the world we're coming to just to talk photography. I'll share this one little tidbit and backstory. You know, no secret that Vahagan and I talk quite often. I mean, you know, on the phone with each other. Um, and we were talking about that and I was telling him, you know, I, I'm not going to go chasing anybody. Uh, there's nothing oh, wrong no, with that, yeah. but I'm not, well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm not going to do it because I set out to prove a point to a few people that told me live streaming will never work. You're, you're not going to do anything with that and blah, blah, blah. You got to make videos. You got to do this. Uh, and, and from people that are successful, uh, even my stepson and I, and I said, well, I'm going to do it my way. You know, uh, I want to have fun. I got to do it my way. And let's see what happens. And I mean, right now, I think I'm on the bubble of showing that you can do this just live streaming. I'm not suggesting anybody goes and does that, mind you. Right, right. Um, but I'm not going to go chase people. I feel no. like I really honestly feel like there is coming that moment. It's not going to happen next week or next month or maybe not even next year. But eventually, because of the community, not because of me, I'm just the host, but because no, of the community, a, people yeah. are going to want to come to the channel for mm -hmm. the exposure in the community. I see that happening. I really do, you know, and uh, at least that's my that that's my dream. And I'm, I'm going to sit back and wait. I can wait. I'm in no hurry. Uh, I'm having fun again. Back to I'm having fun. And if I'm not if I'm not having fun, I'm done. I, I can that's I can, you know. Yeah, I'm not having fun. I'm done. There um, you go. Uh, I, I shoot I, JPEG. That's already <laughs> happening. Uh, I think that's already happening. Like I noticed that just like what just happened earlier. Like, oh, Kevin, you got a channel. Let me go subscribe to there. Oh, Malcolm, you got a channel. Let me subscribe to that. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, it's, it's it's almost automatic. You notice that? Like it's almost yeah. automatic. Yeah, I think I think I think uh, long form content, like the whole thing with short form, like. You know, with, with YouTube trying to compete with TikTok, that was a thing. Mm -hmm. It still kind of is a thing, but I think it's starting to slow down. I think, thankfully, because I'm not a big short form guy. I don't. I really don't like shorts. I don't like TikTok. I don't like any of that stuff. Not that there's nothing wrong with it. People like that. They like it. But I think going forward, I think people. We've had the last five years of short form content, and I think <laughs> we're gonna want a point where people want to be. They they want something real. They want to. They want to communicate better with other people you know what i mean they they yeah. want long form and i think this whole transition to uh live streaming live streaming is going to be a big thing i think in the next coming like yeah. going forward i think live streaming is just going to get bigger and bigger I agree with that. Yeah. Well, I, it is and you know why because again it shows the authenticity of the people that they're yes, actually watching definitely. and uh and more and more people are, are going to see they're they're sitting back watching right now and with the hopes that they can swoop in when this becomes even bigger and just grab everybody for their own stream. I, that, that's the way I see it. But you know what? That's fine, too, if that happens. Again, oh, it, yeah. was, it, it was meant to be, but I'm going to have fun until we get to that point, if we ever That's all you can do. Yep. Absolutely. Right. Well, that said, I am going to get out of here, and I am going to get out of here this time. Derek, I, I love you, man. I, I love you. It, you. You got a great friend there, uh, Robert. Oh, <laughs> I think it's fantastic. I mean, uh, Wayne, great friend, yes, but a virtual friend. I, I, you know, I can't shake his hand or whatever. I would love to have, you know, somebody that lived right next to me. Actually, I do. Daryl, who lives. I got to link up with him. All right. So I just caught myself go. in something. I got to make that happen. <laughs> All right. Man. All right, Chuck, you're going to be on for another hour, bro. I know. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to be on for another hour. Yeah, I know. All right. Well, I, I love all you guys. I love everybody that's in the chat. Uh, and, uh, you know, I can't wait to see you, you know, beat 100 in the uh, viewers, man. It's coming. Um, it's coming. Um, yeah. That's I mean, yeah, I was base energized. All we got to do, man, you just got to advertise yourself and tell, hey, people, if you like me, come over to my live stream. Yeah, uh, absolutely. <laughs> Go, we're, we're, I'm going to be checking it on Saturday for you. And yeah. then um, again, everybody, you want to make sure you're following all of us on YouTube. Okay. 
And uh, because next week is going to be magnanimous. It's going to be ridiculous. You're going to want to tune in uh, to find out what the heck that word means, but also about the news we're going to be sharing with after the launch of the Nikon Z8. So thank you, Chuck. Yes, sir. uh, I will see you next time. Thank you very much for the super chat and your support. Continue Take it easy, Chuck. Yes, yeah, sir. Thank you very much, man. Okay. I really appreciate it. Hey, and nice we got to help each other out. No big YouTubers coming to my stream and dropping me a super chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll, yeah, I went for Jared. Jared shows up and yeah, that's yeah, right. Jared shows yeah. up and drops me a super chat. Photos, photo. Here's $30. <laughs> Hey, Derek, hold his feet to the fire, make him uh, plug himself in his videos or whatever so that this becomes something big as well. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I'm going to start mine soon for sure. Derek doesn't have a YouTube channel? I don't have a YouTube channel just yet. I think I, in about a couple of weeks, it's going to get started going. I'm going to jump right in like Kevin said. Yeah, jump right in, man. There you go. Jump right in. Look at this, Chuck. Less than 30 minutes, Chuck is free to leave. Yes. Yes. There you go. That was my goal on the 10 hour stream get down to 30 viewers. Got to 31, and, and before I could say anything, it went right back up to 45. I mean, oh man, that's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 10 o'clock will be five hours. So I think 10 o'clock might be my my time. I, I have a photo shoot at 9 a.m. So I really All right. Can't. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you fight that battle. You're on your own. <laughs> All right, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chuck, buddy. AP Studios. Yeah. Thank Thanks, you, everybody. Chuck. I got it. it. All right. Take care, everybody. All right. Take care. Right. Wow. Look at that. Um. Oh, look at that. He says Chuck has to prepare for his uh ten. for breaking his <laughs> ten and a half hour record. Yes. Hey, you need recharge recharging is a must with this uh this streaming live streaming isn't it like how how many people can go back to back streams of just like seven eight hours well we're hitting five hours right now yeah. so i mean if if it was back like no what i'm saying is like <laughs> if if i didn't start at 5 p.m but i started at 12 p.m Okay. You see how much easier it might be able to because my biological clock now, normally I'm in bed by now, right? Yeah. Um, so that's that's the that's the thing I'm fighting, quite honestly. But I think if I did a 12 p.m., maybe, but I I, I don't want to look forward to it. I'm just telling you all right now. <laughs> Ten hours at all. Uh oh, oh, his three daughters loves it when he says, see ya. Yeah, right at the end. You know, you have to give it to him. Um, I respect him. A lot, yeah. quite honestly. Yeah, I disagree I mean, with some of the stuff, but overall, yeah, I, res I respect what I mean, he does his, for sure. His branding, super consistent, yeah. very tough, disciplined, um, awesome production on his quality mm -hmm. videos. I mean, you know what? You know, I'm I'm from New York, so I get how his confidence could come off a little abrasive for some folks. But he, uh, I'm not gonna lie, he's done his thing, you know. He he yeah, remember he yeah. used to he did live streaming before it became as popular as it was. It was called Raw Talk, remember? He did the Raw yeah. Talk panel and I liked it. Um I thought it was fun. Uh I watched it all, but it wasn't giving him the views he wanted, but I thought it was fun. Well, um, it just it just goes to show that those individuals that jumped into YouTube early, you know, 2010, 2012, 2014, like they 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 made their way. I mean, everybody starts at zero. You know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. Everybody starts at zero. Video. I saw yeah. his first video. Yeah, his first oh, video man. was woo wee. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Bahagavi says, yeah, he did his for two hours today. Yes, I was on for. An, I meant to be on for thirty minutes. I stayed on for an hour, and. Yeah, uh, yeah Bahagavi, I'll have to. I'll have to get on your live stream one of these days. I'd like to come over and hang on. To, hang out on everybody's live stream, really. Oh, she's three years old and she knows what he says with Jared Pollan. Wow. Um, was it live? Raw Talk was not live. It was actually pre-recorded, which means he actually edited the heck out. Oh, gee. wait, was it edited? Hmm. I can't remember if it was live. I swear it was live and then he would just, you know, keep it. But... It was a great show. I really liked it. But, of course, the good stuff doesn't get the views, like an uploaded about a Canon R5 or something review, and then, therefore, he cut it out. 
and I think one of his producer Chuck um, had to do filming because he's a filmmaker, and then so things kind of fell apart from there. But he does his podcast with it now. But I watch way more live stream shows on YouTube than I listen to podcasts. I'm like, That's so two thousand. Like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Right, so. Right. I think he if he went back to some live stream, I would watch it because because he's it he is entertaining. Um, Grace of W. I didn't, I didn't even know he did live streams in the beginning. He did. It was called okay. Raw Talk was a live show. You know, you guys are. Let me go check this thing out. Okay, um, you guys, I'm gonna jump out and get to bed. Copy that. Yeah, I'm about to. All right, bro. Thanks. Yeah, we're about to call you too. We'll see you in the next one. Have fun, right, guys. Bro. Yeah. All right, thank you, Cooley. All right, man. I appreciate your support, bro. Dude. No problem. All the time. Later. All right. Later. Okay. Take it easy. Cool. Cooley's been there from day one. Like, the, I mean, he showed up today to the stream 45 minutes before the stream. I mean, wow. Um, yeah, he's like, I'm here first. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay, trust me, bro. You're first. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Raw uh, I'm trying to find out when. What was it? Jared. Jared Poland. Now I'm just curious. I'm just. What's his show called now? Is it the Photo Photo News Fix or something like that? He has Photo News Fix, which is like a 10 minute, you know, photo news or stuff. Clips, clips, yeah, he, uh, yeah. But he had. Let me see what they're. Yeah, they used to be called Raw Talk. Yeah, it was a live show. It's underneath his live videos, and uh, he did. Um. Yeah, there were talks. There were just panels of three of him, him, uh, Steven, his videographer, and then his, and um, Chuck was like the funny guy that that was the producer. He hit the buttons and everything. Right, right. And that was called Raw Talk. And uh, I really like those shows, quite honestly. Let me just uh, pull this up so you can see what the heck I'm saying. But I'm just saying he was doing it before we were all making something out of it, if that makes any sense. You know what I mean? Right. So I have to give him. I have to give him his flowers for that. See, see what I mean. So these were all his live ones, but that was before now, where it's now it's like kind of a regular thing. Like to Chuck's point, he can just do that as his entire channel, and many people do that. Many people mm -hmm. just do live streams mm -hmm. all the time, uh, mostly like political or social. Financial folks or whatnot. Yeah, it's like what Vahography was saying. You want to you want to grow fast. You jump into the political spectrum or the the finance spectrum. <laughs> Hundred percent or, or or dating, you know. Yeah, yeah, you get a bunch of you know relationship advice and yeah. all that stuff. And, yeah, and yeah. they'll just throw tons of freaking money. You'll get a bunch of yeah. You'll get a bunch of you know uh, guys that are you know struggling to. Love figure out what, you, what's we, what's weird is some of those will be the opposite sex like so a woman will be giving advice to boy, to men on yeah. how to get women i'm like uh, i don't know you just like come on man that's like that's like you know women asking men advice for relationship advice i don't know i guess there's some nuggets there but uh, yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't be getting relationship advice from a from a woman and no that's not that's not sex, I'm, just, I'm just saying i wouldn't because we're we're different, you know what I mean. We're just 100%. different. And yeah. they can give it from the point of view of what a woman yeah. likes, but I think at the grand scheme of thing, it doesn't. Every woman doesn't like the same thing. There's certain things that they're right, okay right. With. So right, she can give you her point of view of what works for her and some people she knows, but it doesn't work for right. everybody. You have to get that right. not right. one person. Or like even there's camp like camping in the camping niche. You'll get the half naked women on their thumbnail, and it'll get like a million freaking views. Yeah. <laughs> like what the? I showed my wife something the other day. This one is an exercise in in leotards, and her it's ridiculous. This is like printed yeah. out. I bet you the majority of the people in here are men, and I went through the list, and everybody oh, yeah. was, was responding back that it's all men. And I, I, I said, wow. this is what it is? I told a friend of mine, she's cute. And I said, you can do some style discussions in yoga. I see this on the set of the camera where you don't show your head. You can use some fake name when you sign up on the YouTube channel. Men will come in and they'll do it. If that's all you're looking for is making some quick money, you'll get views a lot. You make money. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Vahography said, was it a chat plan panel? I, I, I'm not sure. I think he took. Oh, no. He had an answering. Um, I think he had an answering thing and people would leave questions and he would answer it live. 
You know, uh, he had some unique way, but again, he was doing it when no one else was doing it. We're talking four years ago. No one was doing it like live streaming is mainstream right now. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, so he was doing it back then. Uh, uh, that's why I think if he did it now, he would probably do it uh, because if it was now because he could monetize it. Instead of AdSense, people would send him super chats, etc. You know what I mean? He has a million plus subs. You know, he'd make a killing. But I don't think it, you know, it's just not what he wants to do. But he was doing it when no one else was at that time, which means he was he it wasn't financially f feasible. I remember when he, he said, oh, I'm going to stop doing it. And I was like, damn, I, I was the one who watched it front to back because it was cool. Because um, you wouldn't, he would, to like what Chuck said, he would talk. And it wasn't that 10 minute, um, you know, his his he uses the um, what do you call it? The, when you could watch the words and whatnot, you know, it wasn't a teleprompter. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't yeah, yeah, he yeah. wasn't doing his shtick. And it was just more more BS talking, kind of like what yeah. we do. So it was kind of fresh. Peter McKinnon was one of the first ones to jump into early on in YouTube. Oh, with the live, too. Or just think, YouTube? no, just in general. I don't I don't think oh, he did yeah. lives. Yeah, yeah. okay, he yeah. Lives. Yeah, he, he got in when it was good. Um, yeah, if you got in good early, it's pretty much smooth sailing, you know. Yeah, as long as you stuck with it, you 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 yeah, you'd be yeah, if you got you as long as you stuck down. with it and you jumped in early, like 2010, 12, 14, mm -hmm. yeah, you're 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 at the top. You're golden. I was and wondering, then, I was yeah. wondering, is there like a uh from from what you guys see? Good night, like, Greg. Appreciate it. Uh, YouTube like that all the time, but is there like a threshold? Say you get like a certain amount of subscribers, uh, it doubles your your uh, the uh, the heel doubles each time uh, you get a subscriber amount. Is it like okay? I'm here at five thousand. Say I'm at I'm at five thousand. I'm getting double the amount of subscribers now uh, because. I have more subscribers and I have more uh, videos out. Does it, does that, does that, uh, you, the subscriber amount, is that like used as a multiplier? Does that multiply is the amount? Well, of like the subscriber, see the subscriber, just because of how I brought up earlier, that the, the algorithm doesn't matter or doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't push, it doesn't push your channel for subscribers anymore. So, mm -hmm. like I said, you could start, but you could start right now, Derek, you could start a YouTube channel today or tomorrow. And your first video could get 10,000 views. Your very first video. That's why I'm very upset. And, you know what I mean? It just, it just all depends. It, it, a lot of it depends on your title, your topic you're talking about, your mm -hmm. engagement of how you hold the audience. Those are the metrics that determine how, how your and channel thumbnail. is going to go forward. And it has thumbnail. nothing to do with your subscriber count and the thumbnail. Yeah. Okay. Cause in the old days it did. And you could expect that like, uh, camera laptop or something comes out and the big channel right, to get right. it first. they already have the video set right. and you come on and put something out and you're never going to get the same amount of views as they did but your channel probably wouldn't even get pushed to the top i did right, a right. video on my mac when i first bought it and i was the only person who had gotten a 24 core machine at the time mm -hmm. and i did a video on it and i think i got like fourteen thousand, like combined because the first video I was like out of town and people kept saying, hey, the background music is too loud and so on and so forth. So I killed that one. I didn't want to pay attention to the views. And then later on, I look, I'm like, holy crap, that video hit like 7,000 views already, or whatever the number was. And the oh. second one also did, but when I, you know, changed the, the, the volume on it. And even a couple of the channels, like, you know, they featured me in there, you know, here's a small channel I got it and, and did a review on it. And I think that also helped push some of the people over to mine. I was like, right, right. What just happened? You know, I'm used to getting 80, maybe 35, 36 views, right. and then you went up to like thousands in like a day. It's right. crazy. Now, and, I understand, and that's why even, about, and that's why ahead. even like when you're when you're monetized, it's not the algorithm still doesn't work for you. It's not like once you, it's not like the first thousand. It's not like the first the, on your way to the first thousand, you're struggling, you're struggling, and then all of a sudden, as soon as you get a thousand and you get the it's four thousand up. hours of watch time, and you get monetized. Now yeah. all of a sudden the algorithm is going to just throw you into the big dogs. Like it's not how it works. Like totally. it has nothing to do with that. Like I, like I told you, your, your first, it's rare that your first video could pop off, but it could. 
just because of the way the algorithm works now. It doesn't favor subscribers at all. That's why you see sometimes channels that have a million subscribers and they're only pumping out some of some of them are only getting 10, 10 20, 30,000 views yeah. per per video. And they got a million subscribers to where some channel got 13,000 subscribers and he's getting 20,000 views I saw, of what the million subscriber guy is getting, you know? Yeah, I saw a, a channel yesterday. It had 1.3 mil and they only had 473 people on their live stream. I'm like, how the hell is that? What the heck? Yeah. And yeah. Um, I think some people just don't stay on. You know, they subscribe and they don't unsubscribe, but they're still in there. But they're not interested enough to come to live streams and stuff like that. Well, I, th I think mo I think everybody like I think that's true. I think the vast majority of your subscribers are dead subscribers, and I don't mean it like in they don't they're not dead, but it's just like no. people un forget to unsubscribe. You know, what I mean, it's cool if you unsubscribe. You know, you don't have to stay subscribed to a channel. I mm -hmm. I unsubscribe to channels all the you know not all the time, but sometimes because I just. Mm -hmm grow tired of what they're doing and there's nothing wrong with that but yeah, there's yeah. i think that the vast majority of people that subscribe to you 80 to 90 percent of them don't watch your videos they just forget to <laughs> unsubscribe you know yeah well that just just keep forgetting to un to not unsubscribe okay it's like like i'm not getting a, i have i have 18 people. i have 1800 subscribers i'm approaching mm -hmm. 2000 and i'm not getting 2000 views per video you know, I'm yeah, averaging yeah. 500 to 1,000 per video. Yeah. So it's not like, you know, I, I might get one that pop one out of 20 videos that pops off and gets like 10 to 30,000 views. But that's mm -hmm. like one out of 20 videos I make to mm -hmm. where the vast majority of them are only averaging like 500, 500 to 1,000 views. Yeah, I have that same situation. Bahagavi says some 50K subs have 10 people on a live stream. What? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, exactly. Exactly. That, that, uh, the is algorithm, no yeah, it's always changing. I, yeah. I'm subscribed to 147 people or Ooh. channel. God, I don't, sure I can't believe more than that. I can't, so Derek, if that's any, Derek, if that's any kind of motivation for you to start a channel, just know that. <sighs> it doesn't it doesn't favor your subscribers anymore like it used to 10 years ago like you want to start it, it'll be an, it is a struggle it's it, it takes a lot of hard work and and dedication but you could you, you could literally grow to a thousand subscribers within a year if not sooner you know what i mean oh, some people do it shoot. sooner some uh, people look do at it wayne. later but some wait remember you put the apb out and like within a week but <laughs> you topped over the thousand you know what i mean uh um, yeah, yeah. And that you know, that one video that I put out before that stream, I think it was 80 something subscribers. I mean, if I hadn't come onto the stream and got a few people from that one, that one video, I was like, what the heck just happened? Because the last yeah. time I saw yeah. that was last May when I did a video on Singapore. And the majority of the people from the Singapore video were sick from Singaporeans and they were just like, oh. subscribe, subscribe. And I think it was 120 something subscribers with, uh, what was it? 120 something so 100 subscribers with 26,000 views. Wow. Most of your views like don't even come from your subscribers either. That's true. You know, yeah. the vast majority of people who see your videos, they're not subscribed to your channel. That is you true. And that's why when I, I looked at something the other day and I said, you know, guys, I'm looking at this thing, only like 3% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed. Yeah, yeah. 3%. I'm like, yep. wow. And the other day after all this stuff happened, it went to four percent. It was like ninety-six unsubscribe, four percent subscribe. I'm like, okay, can I get like ten percent more? You know, I go with that. Yeah. Yep. It is Just funny. It, here. it is funny. It's a roller, it's a roller coaster. It's a roller coaster, but it's fun to do. Like, you know, if you you like photography, Derek, and whatever you what do you what do you shoot? Like what, what do you shoot? Fuji. No, no, no. I'm not talking about camera, but like what kind of no. photography oh, do you shoot? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, I'm a fine art photographer. Okay. Really? Yeah, just start a fine art photography channel, you know what I mean? And, you know, just, I don't know, that that's just, just a start. And, you know, I'm sure there's uh, other fine art photographers uh, within that niche that you can kind of uh, grow a community with. And, uh, you know, not saying that pe I hate when people spam. Don't spam comments of people's channels because that's a bad way to grow. But you're an Instagram you as well, right? I, I, I'm, I'm yeah. going to start a YouTube uh, uh channel of it's going to be called struggle shooting struggle and shooting. Gonna, yeah and it's gonna uh, it's gonna be about uh i'm gonna have reactions to different uh 
videos of photographers trying to shoot mm. in different areas. That'd and be I'm cool. Gonna, That'd like, be cool. React be cool. to it. And so people okay. people can kind of see my uh my opinion about things and they can also have a laugh because uh some of the things that we do and what we have to go through is funny. So you know, there's a lot yeah. of funny True. Yeah. I was gonna tell you the two I uh, subscribe to um John Ishii's wife, Diana Ishii on um Instagram. You can see some of the stuff that she does. It's like some awesome stuff. Yeah, that, she is a she's a know. phenomenal photographer. Dude. Oh, we yeah. were all together in up on um, Victoria Speak in Hong Kong and taking pictures of different stuff. And she posted her thing. I was like, okay, so that's the side of the building. I would have never seen it in that light to take that kind of photograph. Check out her side. She just she sees things in, in a way that we, every, we see these things every day. She just took pictures of stairs, people walking the stairs, and it just looks like a whole other look, you know? And I saw that the picture look, I'm like, oh, there's some stairs. And it's like, I was saw this thing is like, this is someplace I've never seen before. And no, it's the Apple store right. in Hong Kong. Where what what's her Instagram called? Diana Ishii. I S H I I. Oh, and the funny thing is, what? oh yeah. John All says, right. you know, he Basically, got her a camera. I have one of his friends taught her how to shoot. Yep, that's her. Okay, I just started following her. Yeah, look at the pictures that she has there. You can see that. Oh, yeah. Ooh, jeez. I'd like to um, Crazy. start a, um, like a, like, well, there's, there's parts of me that when I, when I do a live stream, like, I would like to start it and talk about, I mean, obviously gear, but at the same time, I'm like, I shoot because I shoot Canon and I don't want to just have my live stream just about Canon. I mean, I like, I, I would like how you guys are doing it to where it's just everybody who Jim. is different and shoots different. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, at the same time, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just don't know what I would talk about. You know what I mean? I mean, I know you guys all kind of talk. Yeah. We, we talk about whatever. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I, we're all in the same place in Hong Kong shooting the other day. My, you probably seen my first Hong Kong video. I was another one I'm working on. We put we were in this area, and we were okay. shooting in the same area. But when you look at her stuff, it's like, how, how did I not see that? She That's times funny. it. She was waiting for stuff. That's what we yeah. talk about when we out. Uh, uh, we talk about like, oh, because me and Robert, we shoot same models. You know, sometimes same location, and it turns mm -hmm. out different. Yeah, and after we keep talk, we talk about like the reason why AI can never replace us because we have different perspectives. We always yeah. have different perspectives. Yeah, uh, AI. Yeah, that's, that's, different that's, different that's that's one of the that's one of the biggest things I worry about when I if I were to start a live stream is like I don't know really what to talk because like I jump on your guys' streams and I don't shoot Nikon. I honestly don't follow really Nikon. I mean, I watch Ordinary Filmmaker for the releases and I get a little bit of nuggets of you know what's kind of going oh, on in the computer in the camera market but mm -hmm, i don't yeah. really follow nike i just like to tell you the truth, i jump on the streams because i enjoy with you i enjoy the company with you guys i enjoy the community so yeah you know. look can i can i share something with you kevin yeah i every week i'm like what in the f am i going to talk about this week <laughs> all the time um Derek, sometimes I call Derek, Derek, what the hell should I be talking about? And I'll, I'll read blogs, I'll read all sorts of forums, and then something will pop up, or someone asked a question somewhere, and I'm like, oh, that's a great topic, let's talk about that. And, um, but I, I actually broke it down, like, when I, because I used to have a podcast, so we had segments, like a radio show, like, during this mm -hmm. time, this 10 minutes, you do this, you know? So I took that same format, and I brought it over to the show. So my first part is all my commercial stuff. You know, follow me. Go check this out. I'm over here. Yada, yada, yada. And then I have the um, product highlight, right? Then I right. say, hey, this week I'm going to talk about this. And then I have my photo news. I talk about some articles. And then I have the main subject. And then we open it up. So it's like that. So you helps almost bullet, like bullet point, kind of almost like a bullet point thing before you go into it? Yeah, hundred percent. Like, oh, okay. So now that I have my segments, let's say my five segments, right? Uh, my intro ads, which is like, follow me, go check this out. This is what I have going on. You know about me. Then I have right after that segment. Then it's um, product highlight. Oh, this week this this show is brought to you by Think Tank Photo or this freaking battery. Hey guys, look, this mm -hmm. battery is pretty cool. 
and I talk about that. And then my next segment is photo news. And then so the night before, I scour all my emails looking for the latest news to talk about that's relevant to the audience. And then I put that aside. I'm like, cool. So I'll talk to two to three articles about it like I did today. And then after photo news, then I, I welcome my guest, right? But if it's an open panel guest, then I open them right before photo news so we could talk about the news. You see, I have a whole structure going that right. supports, like, because my vision for this is big. One day, I want to be able to have where I have it open online, but I also have a studio where guests could come in locally as well. Yeah, right, so, like, right. I'm, thinking, I'm thinking, like, what? I don't yeah, think yeah. Folks understand. Like I'm trying to go big with this. Right, right, and right. So I have the structure. Now that I have that, and then once the main thing goes, the main topic, then I open it up to all of you, and then wherever it goes, it goes. Wherever it goes, it goes from that. But point. Yeah. at least there's a structure. So when my week is ready to go, um, I'm good to go. Right, and um, I already know what I should be doing. I know I go on at five. I need this. I need this. I need this. And it builds the confidence to stick it out for another five freaking hours. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm and, a people watching right now. So, and some of that. And you know what I noticed? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so what I noticed is the more uh, little baby steps you're making in progress towards your vision, the more. Either you get the haters, but you also get a lot of positive input. Like yeah. if I wasn't doing what I was doing, Wayne wouldn't have hit me up with like five emails yesterday talking about, hey, try this. <laughs> let's try that. Let's try this. Like, why would he take his time out? He's retired living in a freaking island. Like what the, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it just doesn't make sense <laughs> mathematically. So, um, so that goes to show that you're doing the right things. Um, Chuck wouldn't be help uh, shouting me out. Vahagan too. And all right, this stuff. Right. Vahagrafer, Vahagrafer was um, someone I would watch as a young YouTuber with mm -hmm. a thousand th subs or t 2000. I was like, oh my God, I like his style. I like that he, he was so different, his rock and roll approach, all that. I just like that mm -hmm. he was, he just seemed authentic to me. Yeah. So but now we're colleagues. You see where we're going with this, Kevin? Right, right. Your colleagues right, no, for sure. yeah, yeah. Your colleague, yeah, you see where this is all going. Right. right. And um yeah. yeah, celebrate our small I think success. I just I just need to I just think I need to figure out like a structure on how to do it because like the last thing I want to do is because I have the structure how I do my regular videos and pre recorded, you know, to where I I, I, I there's a structure to doing that where I don't want to just get on, hit record and have a lot mm. of moments of silence. You know what I mean? That's the one, that's my biggest, like I can be myself on your guys' streams because it's just like, I just sit back and you, you know, you're, you guys are kind of, you know, the structure that you're doing to yeah. where trying to figure out, okay, this is my stream. I need to make sure that this doesn't go completely off rail and have a lot of dead space to where, you know, nobody really wants to watch. You know what I mean? So um, here's one thing. Um, I understand what you mean. Ironically, when I opened up the panel, the more viewers I got. When I, when yeah, I, I think this is, I think this is how like newscasters learn. You know what I mean? Like hmm. before they go on live television and stuff, like they have to learn how to talk it because it's different. I mean, it's channel. No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's so YouTube. cool. Yeah, let me see your YouTube channel. It's so cool going live because it does break that mold of it trying to be like try, the, the breaking Proper. the mold of getting out of com, you know being comfortable you know what i mean mm. it gets you out of your shell to be un uncomfortable and that's a good that's a good thing that's a good thing i think you're right and also um it's more relaxing i mean oh it is we, 100%. We would, wait yeah. like everybody if we were all at the bar we would be doing exactly right now you know mm -hmm. in terms of what we're talking what we'd say and yeah, yeah. um and to your point kevin um like the pressure when I invite people on, oh, oh, I let you guys ramble for a couple minutes. I'm just like looking at this. It's got to look at the comments. You know what I mean? Like it's because oh. I see a lot of the people, a lot, of, a lot of the people. Because I did a poll on my uh -huh. channel once okay. about do you would you to my community, uh, to the to the individuals that always show up to my channel, uh, for my content. Would you like to see live streams? Uh, and a lot of them didn't want to do it. So, wow. and I know that, that I need to do what I, what makes me happy. And that, cause like I said, I, I'm not, too, I'm new, but I'm not too new to the game of YouTube. 
you know, to where I realized that you got to be authentic. You got to be yourself. You can't do this for anybody else, you know, and, and have fun. Uh, but at the same time, like, like the people, the right people, I want the right people to, you know, to, to come together and, and, and as a community, I don't want to attract the wrong type of people. You know what I mean? And the only, I guess the only way to do that is just jump in, be yourself and ha have Enjoy. something to share, have something to share. To totally. Um, there's always something to share. That's for sure. Um, yeah, yeah. And again, I think having the structure and then learning when to just let the structure go. Like today I had a structure, I had a topic. We talked mm -hmm. about it for five whole minutes, probably. And then we just went <laughs> yeah, crazy. Veered off, right? Yeah. Right. And, and which is but fine. cool, though. You know, that's great. cool. Yeah. You know, but the structure allowed me uh, a safety net in case this discussion went whatever. And we're like, okay, let's bring it back to uh, planet, you know, to, to the ground level. Like, oh, okay, we're going a little too much. Let's bring it back to today's topic, guys. What are we about? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, what I did is I Googled radio station uh, broadcast, like, st structuring or whatnot or something along those mm -hmm. lines to see how they structure their shows. And then that's how I created my podcast off that. Oh, segments. Oh, that's what. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then as I educated, then I brought it over to the live show. It, so maybe right. that might help. At least it might conjure yeah. up some. I'll look into. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, just, I need to strike up a, uh, you know, do some brainstorming and figure out exactly, you know, how I want to jump into it because I do, I do, I really do. I think it brings a, a unique side of the creator. You know what I mean? To where mm. you can, you know, they they know you more on a personal level. Like you know, because ever since I, because I, I was I, when I first started coming out, I was I was about six months ago, I think it was, or a couple months back when I first started going on Chuck's stream, I was in the chat for a while. I never showed, I know I was like, I always th thought to myself, Kevin, you've had a YouTube channel for two years. You got over a thousand subscribers. What, what, why are you so afraid to go live? Like what, what's, now? what, what is so, what's so afraid? You know, what, you know, you're afraid people are going to judge you. Well, guess what? People are going to do that anyways, you know? Yeah. So <laughs> it's just a matter of just jumping into it. So I just like, I liked Chuck. I thought he, I think he's a great dude. I'm like, I can, I don't shoot. I don't shoot, you know, uh, um, I shoot Canon. I don't shoot Nikon, but we have a common, a, a common theme and that's photography. And I thought to myself, it'd be cool to kind of be part of the discussion and show, you know, put a face to, you know, my name in the chat. And so yeah. I think, I think it's good to do that. I think it's really good to do that to get it, get out of that comfort zone. Totally. And I really want to start a live stream to, to do what you guys are doing to kind of, you, you can know, man. broaden, I'll, I'll broaden tune the in. horizon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, remember, uh, like when you jumped on, one of the first comments was like, Oh, I think it was Chuck said it to you. He's like, Oh, it's great to put a face to yeah, your, yeah, your, your yeah. profile. So yeah, I was yeah. like, so, that's a sign right there, brother. Like start it, fire it up, fire it. Up. And, and to tell you the truth, it all comes, it all comes. The reason why we're so hesitant in the very beginning, to, because mm -hmm. we are, it all comes down to, you're afraid of what people are going to think. You know what I mean? It all comes down to that. And you can't do that. Let, let me say something. Okay. When yeah. Chuck invited me, he told me that he watched my uh, videos and he checked out my photography channel. I mean, I haven't shot, any kind of professional or I, I, it's really has been hobbyist. Somebody wants something to happen and I pay me for a gig, but I still have the right, paid right. setups up there. So he said he looked at these things and you know, I should come on his live stream. The very first time I came on, I was on camera. I, you know, he sent me the link to the thing and I was on there. So while you guys are in the chat, you know, I thought it was like a, a normal thing where it would come on, you know, all the other guys are, I'm like, Oh, uh, okay. So now that I'm here with you guys and all these different things, it's not uncomfortable for me. Yeah. And people are like, oh, to speak, I'm like, yeah. yeah, I did this thing like years ago. I was I, I was an <laughs> IT tech. Photographer was my side gig. Yeah, it's get paid from certain things. But, you know, when I look at you guys who are doing this on a regular basis, you know, you, I, I like, you, you guys are the man. What I did in my <laughs> days and learning all these things of different stuff. But it wasn't uncomfortable for me because I thought, oh, he just invited me to the stream and I'm just getting on there. Right. So every time I keep playing. Everybody in the chat, I can get off, make some space. You guys can be here. But I see you're yawning, really cool. Robert. I think we should we, we should wrap. Yes, I'm sorry. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, four and a half. We're creeping. To, we're about four and a half right now. Oh yeah, so dude. It's yeah. five and a half. 
Oh, five, five minutes. Minute. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> I haven't eaten anything. Yeah. I need to grab something. My brain is <laughs> melting. Four, five, six, seven. I don't know. Um, yeah. <laughs> I do want to say, everybody who is watching, I see, I think folks are dropping to. Yeah, this is a good time. Um, thank you all. This was really, it's actually kind of therapeutic for me. Um, this, this, this kinship, if you will. And uh, thanks, Derek, for tuning in. And uh, Kevin, everybody, thank you, everybody, for super chats for those who sent it. Thanks for the likes, everything else. Um, real quick, one by one, Derek, where can they find you at on Instagram? Go, uh, Derek Ben Photography. It's right there, there you go, Kevin. Where can they find you at? Uh, you can find me on YouTube at my name, Kevin Nordstrom, and you can also follow me on Instagram at Kevin Nordstrom One. That's awesome. And Wayne, where can they best find you at? I'm on YouTube, Wayne Nomadics. Same thing on Instagram, at WayneRM002 on both. Fantastic. And folks, you already know, you can find me almost everywhere, okay? I'm really <laughs> yeah. fine. I'm on Facebook, Robert Silver Photography. I'm on Instagram, Robert Silver Photography. I'm on Tickety Talk. And my, no, no dancing, but I am on there, Robert Silver Photography, and on Twitter. And yes, feel free to go check out my latest video. My favorite features of the Lumix S5 Mark II. <laughs> yes, it is up there live right now. And uh, make sure you go ahead and check me out um, every Thursday for another episode of Let's Talk Photography. I will be having another panel of guests. And next week, it's going to be big because we're going to be talking about that Nikon Z8. Oh, my God. That's right. After Nikon's launch on May 10th. So make sure you go check me out. Uh, outside of that, thank you all for watching. And all the guests, thank you so much for your support. I'm Robert. Whoop. Here we go. I'm Robert Silver, your host. And until next time, keep shooting. Stay creative. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Sarah.